All right, what's happening, what's happening, what's happening, man? Let's get it, let's get it. It is draft season. Y'all know I'm excited. Y'all know if anybody's excited, it is me as in street scores, man. This is like my favorite time of the year. So it's time to get busy, man. I'm so excited. Hey, man, I hope we do something crazy today. I hope we go crazy. Of course, we will be doing mock drafts leading all the way up to the actual draft. We're going to um have some fun together. Uh, the draft doesn't start till 8 p.m. I'm starting the stream at 6 30 because we have so much to talk about. We have so much to look at. I got the entire Commanders 75 man depth chart ready if y'all need it. If y'all want to look at us beating the Eagles on the all 22, I got that. I got the list of all of the 125 prospects the Commanders are interested in. I got that. You know what I'm saying? And again, we're going to be doing mock drafts together as well, leading all the way up to the draft. And and then, of course, I'm going to be breaking down every single pick. Y'all know me, man. I'm a Commanders fan first, but I love football. So I'm here. I'm here to break down and predict every pick. I'm going to be on Twitter. You know, I'm one of them people. I'm trying to stay ahead and things like that. Let me know if you don't want me to spoil the picks or anything. But I will be ahead on Twitter. Got to be, man. I'm just one of those guys. What's good? N1 was good. Caleb was happening. Much love to you, too. Was happening. I'm ready as well. Was good. Richard was good. Joseph. Was good, Zelik? Was hanging everybody? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I think Washington trades back twice this year's draft. I can see it. That's very rare, but it, it this is if there were a draft to do it, it's this one. I hope next in 2024, the new owners change the ridiculous nickname, the Red Wolves. I would love that, but I highly doubt it. Was good, James. Was good, Zulu. Was happening. Was happening. He said Robinson and Robinson. Okay, okay. I already know there's that crap. That's what's really fun about this draft, too. If you ask 30 people who they want for us to, to take a 16 or trade back or whatever, another pick, you'll probably get 30 different answers. That's what's making this draft a little bit more fun than other ones. It's, of course, a, um, more fun in a different way when we have a higher pick, like top five, top 10, then you're like, oh, man. But this one, we're not too far back. We're at 16. We're right in the middle. And we can go so many different ways. We could trade back. I doubt we trade up, but you never know. There's so many players we can get. Is, is this is going to be fun, man. What's good, Billy? What's good, Ken? Of course, I'm going to be here all night. I'm not leaving until the draft is finished, just to let y'all know. Like, I'm live streaming round one all the way through, rounds two and three all the way through, and I'm live streaming at the very least round four and I believe five on Saturday. So we're here all day with it. Again, I got the depth chart ready. Until we start doing something, I could just have the commanders beating the Eagles just to be petty on the screen real quick um nothing more than that no real science or logic behind it other than just being petty um are we pumped up for tonight kofa was good jack was good it's good king sean was good captain was good lyric was happening was good richard was good flamori was good was good aj was good marvin was good was good colin oh boy about four hours away before the commander's pick yes yeah, it's, it's gonna be a minute you know, the first round goes by extremely slow, man. It, extremely slow. It's about to be real slow, but it's going to be funny, and I'm going to enjoy every second of it because, again, I'm curious about who everybody's drafting. I'm not just here for the commanders. That's why I'm live streaming an hour and 30 minutes before the draft. That's why I'm going to live stream the entire draft. Even after we pick at 16, I'm probably going to, I'm probably more than likely going to keep going um, because I just really love, I may, maybe I'll take a break to record and talk about the guy that we picked maybe um but i will definitely come back if i do but even then i probably won't i'll probably just live stream all the way through we'll see when we get there tackling cornerback is best option to go for i agree was good was good uh bacon was good ivan i think we will trade down we all got in the first round i'm really hoping it's darnell right me personally if we leave this draft with both of the Darnells, that's dream case scenario for me. And I don't even care what happens with the rest of the draft. That's an A+. Plus. We leave with both of the Darnells, Darnell Wright and Darnell Washington. I am personally in heaven. But we'll see. We'll see. Reggie Reg was good. Monte was good. Mark was good. Randy was good. Tommy T was good. What's good, everybody, man? 
Hope I don't miss any comments. Will Butler was good. Jay was happening, was happening. Daryl was good. Charlie was good. Jay Rib, yes, sir. Let him know. Hit the like button, please. If we take Hinder Hooker, I'm losing it. Oh, yeah, we better not first round. Fred Smooth had the absolute perfect mock draft. We trade back, get Darno right, and get Darno Washington with the luck. Oh, yeah, I like the way Fred Smooth thinks. I love the way Fred Smooth thinks. The only problem is Darno Wright is not making it if we trade back. I'm worried about him making it to 16. Could be wrong. You never know. That's just based off of what I'm seeing and hearing around the NFL so far. Um, but I'm not an extreme insider. I'm in my room in Atlanta. I'm not over there with the draft. So who knows? I'm not Adam Schefter. I'm not Ian Rappaport. But everything, from all the information I know so far, I don't think, I'm, I'm afraid that Darnell Wright might, may not even be there at 16, let alone if we trade back. But whatever, however we got to do it, we walk away from this draft with both of the Darnells. It's an A-plus for me off rip. That's just how I feel about that situation. What's good? Rich was having about to tweet out my guys list soon. Okay. Humble King was good. Was good, Mr. Black. J-Mon was good. Was good. I feel like I'm letting my boy J-Mon down, too, because I haven't been on the game in China. I really want to get to it. Probably in this down period, like maybe like two weeks after the draft, I'll probably get back on that. But I just ha I haven't even been playing video games a lot like a lot like i used to like i mean i, sh I do want to just go ahead and stream while i'm doing it but i'm gonna get back to it man i'm gonna get we gonna get back to it jaymon every time i see a name i'm like man i got stream what's on the plate tonight i got some wings lemon pepper wet oh yeah oh yeah oh speaking of that shouts out to mommy i got the honey lemon pepper from american deli got the honey lemon pepper steppers already ate some you know what i mean and then we went to JJ's and got the crack sauce, got the crack seasoning. So we got the fried chicken with the uh, corn fritters, the fries, the fried shrimp, bro. We, nah, we going crazy. All my mom's idea and everything, too. Thank you, mommy, for that. Um, so I'm well fed. I'm good. I'm ready to go break down everything. You think we'll move our tight ends coach to O-line? We'll see. I think we'll probably just end up promoting our assistant offensive lines coach. And maybe they already like kind of did it, but just haven't announced it to us. But it is really weird to me that we do not officially have an offensive lines coach entering the draft, going all the way through free agency. That's like really crazy. That's unheard of, but the commanders never do anything normal, so I'm not surprised. Um, quarterback taking, uh, a cor commanders taking Tennessee quarterback. What's good, Danny? I doubt it. Um, just because... I've been hearing that we want him, but we're not we're not willing to take him with our first round pick. And he's probably going, I'm hearing top 20 now. What's good, mommy? What's good, Mr. A? What's good, Pat? What's good, Lawrence? John Wick? Sheldon was good. Was happening, everybody was happening, was happening, was happening, man. I appreciate y'all. Thank you, Richard. I'm trying, man. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm having fun though. I'm here for the fun of it. Um, but I'm super excited, man. What's happening, everybody? I know it's starting to fill up in here. I'm excited, man. We're all excited. Um, we're going to start doing some mock drafts together, of course. Like I said, for those of y'all who are just pulling up, what's good, Luke? We, I'm gonna have, we're going to have some mock drafts going with Pro Football Focus. Right now, I just have the Eagles Commanders game just to be petty because we beat the Eagles. Uh, I got our depth chart up. If you ever, So just let me know. Request whatever you want to see, whatever you want to do at any given time. Then, of course, I also have the list. Oh, let me put this PDF to the list. Is it, uh, if I don't have it in here, let me go get it. Hold on. Let me get the PDF for the list and put it in the pin as a pin comment for the live stream. Because if y'all don't have that, I need to go ahead and get that for you. Where's my pin comment? Excuse me, move out the way. Here we go. The link is safe. Thanks for telling me that. All right, copy. Let me, I'll put the comment in here myself. Paste. The link to this PDF that I have right here, all 125 players that the commanders have confirmed interest in, I'm going to make it the pinned message. So make sure y'all go get that PDF, have it up to the side while you're in here in the live stream. You got the draft up, you got me up, and then you got this, uh, this list of all of the 125 players that the commanders are interested in. Use it as a reference. We about to have some fun, man. About to have some fun. I'm super excited, man. This that man draft season is the season for me, man. I love the regular season, of course, too. But I'm a team builder at heart. I've always been this. Yeah, to the streets tonight, man. I'm about to, boy. Y'all know I'm about to be Twitter heavy, man. I'm one of them that's gonna be five picks ahead. Maybe not first round, cause first round's a little different. But when we get to that second, third round, fourth round, I am one of those people that's like a lot of picks ahead. That's just who I am. I gotta be. 
I just sent out the tweet. I'm, I'm geeked. What's good, Herb? What's happening to all my channel members? Of course, man. Shouts out to all of the channel members, as always, man. I really appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. He said, J-Mon said, I'm good. We need banks. You talking about Deontay? Man, there's so many ways we can go. Again, again, my dream case scenario right now is uh, getting both rights. I have no idea. No idea how we can pull it off. Absolutely none. But if we can find a way to get both of the, uh, I mean, my fault, not both of the rights, both of the Darnells, that's an A-plus draft off rip. I don't even care what we do in the third round and beyond. I mean, of course I care, but... You get Dar you get Darnell Wright and Darnell Washington. This offense is has a certain floor to it. Like you, you can't not score. You can't not you can't not run the ball. You there's just no way. Don't spoil the picks. Just look at the pick and go poker face. I got you. I got you. Okay. I know that's how most people were last year. Thoughts about Kincaid? I don't think Kincaid fits us extremely well. Um, I think he's gonna go somewhere and be a better Zach Ertz. And you can argue every team needs a Zach Ertz, but I just feel like offensive tackle, cornerback, um, technically linebacker, but we should not go linebacker in the first round at all. But offensive tackle, interior offensive lineman, and cornerback make the most sense. Um, don't even tell us you know the pick. Okay. <laughs> uh, make the most sense. So I think Dalton Kincaid is going to go somewhere and become a Pro Bowl a tight end easily I'm, I'm really high on Kincaid I'm just not necessarily extremely high on him here um and it's a mix of a lot of things again I feel like we have bigger needs also I'm still a believer in Armani Rogers and I think if Eric Bieniemy can get his hands on uh Armani Rogers and get the most out of him I truly do see uh um what's his name uh uh can't forget his name right now uh Waller from the well used to be on the Raiders now the Giants I see Waller level potential in him um, so, man, my brain is all the way draft right now. I can't even think of Pro Bowl NFL players right now. My name, is, my brain is so draft. So, but yeah, um, I, I think Armani really has it in him. Just extremely raw, but not as raw as Sam is Reyes. Um, and then just as athletic, just as smooth. You saw that one time we gave him the ball out of the backfield. He turned it into like a 20-something yard run early in the season. And then Scott Turner was like, well, that was a great idea. Let's never do it again. So I'm hoping Eric Bieniemy saw that on the tape and knows let's do that again. Let's keep spamming that. I mean, Armani Rogers just moved to tight end for the first time in his life at the East-West Shrine Bowl. And by the time his first preseason game started, he was getting open against starting Panthers corners. Like, come on now. If that isn't some talent that we can tap into, the Eric Bieniemy, with him being the genius that a lot of us think he can be, um, if, if we can't tap into that, then I don't know who can. And I think I think he has it in him, man. I really, I'm a big believer in Armani Rodgers. I think Kincaid is going to be great. I think he's going to go somewhere and be a fantastic tight end. I just think we have more important needs. But if you trade back and still end up getting them, I, I'm not complaining at all. Uh, ATL Commanders fans, Maryland in the house. Impressive work on the Commanders. Rico, appreciate that, Bill. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, man, I'm so excited, man. I'm just, man, it's so much going on. And I've been, I've been flip-flopped, been back and forth between recruiting for my Georgia Bulldogs and, you know, the draft for my commanders. I've been going back and forth, but this past week has been straight draft. Now, maybe a week after the draft, I'll dive back into recruiting, see what's going on with Dylan Rayola and KJ Bolden and Dylan Stewart and all of those guys. I'm already looking at the 2025 recruiting class as well because, when you in the recruiting heavy, you got to. We're already looking at 2026 as well. My boy Julian Lewis over there in the outskirts of Georgia. Supposed to be like the best Georgia quarterback of all time. Even better than Trevor Lawrence and Deshaun Watson and Justin Fields. Especially at the age that he's at. So, I, I'm going to get back to recruiting. But right now, it's draft. It's straight draft. It's commanders. It's everybody. I'm excited about what the... With the, um, with the Panthers are going to do number one overall. Are the Texans taking quarterback number two overall? Or are they going to trade back and try to get a quarterback later, depending on where they trade back to? Is CJ, is CJ Stroud an automatic lock at two? I'm not sure anymore. I thought so weeks ago, but lately it's been seeming like maybe it's not. And there could be a scenario where it's Bri Bryce Young and Will Anderson back to back to make it two Alabama players in a row, which as a Georgia Bulldog fan, I hope does not happen because that's another recruiting pitch right there that uh, Nick Saban, as a Georgia Bulldog fan, nobody respect, respects Nick Saban uh, more than us, man. I I think they're still a sleeping giant, so I don't want to give Alabama any more ammo than they need. I'm not one of those people that believes Alabama has fallen off. Um, we'll see about their quarterback situation, but 
Hey, man, that, that Bryce Young, Will Anderson back-to-back -back is looking quite possible. Very possible, as a matter of fact. So I'm, I'm a little afraid of that. I ain't going to lie. Um, Please take Forbes at 16. I know a lot of people like Emmanuel Forbes. We can run down the list right now if y'all want to. Matter of fact, we can run down this list right now. We can, we can literally run down of who potentially we may end up getting. I mean, a lot of these guys are out of reach. It would be lovely if Christian Gonzalez can fall, but he's not um jameer gibbs i can see why they have him as their sixth overall player i have him in my top 20 a lot of people are really sleep on jameer gibbs it's really interesting that he finally got the hype that he deserved late in the draft process devon witherspoon is one of my dream picks to fall to us as well but i highly doubt it i actually think he'll be the first corner to go even before christian gonzalez because you can plug devon witherspoon into any system he's gonna ball out i kind of feel the same way with christian gonzalez but christian gonzalez is the tools devon witherspoon is the tape and Devon Witherspoon helps against the run. Love Christian Gonzalez, but I, I mean, he hasn't shown much against the run. He has the size to help against the run, but he just hasn't shown much um, on tape. Whereas Devon Witherspoon does everything right. Does everything you can ask a corner to do um, on tape. He's just that guy. So Devon Witherspoon somehow makes it to us at 16. You're sprinting to the podium to get him. Other than that, other than Devon Witherspoon and Christian Gonzalez falling, I'm personally take tackle. Darno Wright's my dream tackle, but I would love Broderick Jones, Anton Harrison, or Paris Johnson Jr. Those are my top four, probably in that order. Um, I'm really excited, man. Either way, though, even if Paris Johnson Jr. is technically my fourth tackle, we would be lucky to get him at 16 because that's how high I am on these tackles. I know a lot of people here when I say Paris Johnson's my fourth tackle that, you know, I'm thinking that he should go late 20s. No, I think all of these guys should ultimately talent-wise go before 16, but I'm hoping somebody falls to us. But I just, I'm that high on this tackle class. I love Darnell Wright that much. I believe in Broderick Jones' ceiling that much. I think Anton Harrison is a sleeping giant. And I can see why a lot of people I trust, uh, whose, whose opinions I trust, have them as has him as their number one tackle. I can see the appeal with Anton Harrison. Um, so I, I'm really excited, man. I just hope one of those corners, Devon Witherspoon, Christian Gonzalez falls to us or one of the tackles. Um... And I saw a question earlier. We're going to trade Sweater Young. I mean, I don't think we're going to trade either, just mostly because teams are lowballing us right now. Um, Louis T and I were talking about this on this channel a couple of nights ago. I mean, it's just like, what can you even get for Chase Young for it to even be worth moving him right now? Like, right now, you would be selling extremely low. I think at best you would get is probably like a fifth-round pick. And I've seen people say, well, why give him away for a fifth-round pick if you can at least get a third-round pick for him as a compensatory pick? You would only get that third-round compensatory pick if he goes somewhere and gets a huge contract. Just because he's a second overall pick does not mean we would get a really good compensatory pick from him. I'm thinking somewhere probably maybe fourth round, somewhere in between the third round compensatory pick we got for Brandon Sheriff and the fifth we got for Tim Settle. I think as of today, if Chase Young doesn't ball out this upcoming season, if we were to trade, if he would have for some reason be ready for his next contract today and he would be on another team as a like left in free agency, which is completely unrealistic, of course, but I think he would be maybe worth a fourth round compensatory pick just based on what contract he would get as of today. I'm hoping he balls out and we end up paying him big money, though. Um, but between the two, I think Chase Young is more tradable just because of that fifth year option. You have until May 2nd, which is after the draft. Today's April 27th um, to pick up his fifth year option. And so technically, if you're trading Chase Young, he still has two years on his contract in a way. Whereas Montez Sweat, you're getting him on a one-year rental and you got to pay him immediately. So I think Chase Young is more tradable, but I really hope we end up keeping both. And somehow, best case scenario, everything works out. We'll see, though. I'm really surprised they have Peter Skaronsky this low. I don't think he's making it out of the top 10. I really don't. If you need guard or tackle, he's your guy. Arguably one of the best players in this draft, period. Um, I have... I have to say you are classic. That's my boy. You learned something, but you're really smart. I can't wait for the job. Appreciate that, Khalil, man. Appreciate all of the love in the chat, man. Make sure y'all like up the stream if you haven't already. You really want to be petty. Show that week 18 win against the Cowgirls. Hey, man, say less. Say no more. Say no more. Y'all going to see me go to it, too. Yes, sir. Cowboys fans in the building. Any Cowboys fans in the building? Let's bring it up. Let's bring it up. Let's be petty. Let's see what that boy Sam Howell was looking like week 18. Yes, sir. I got you, man. Don't even worry about it. I agree, Pat. It's so many good, it's so many good corners. Take one in a second. 
there's a there's a drop off after the first five or six tackles in this draft in my opinion so you take one of them in the first and then you address corner in the second maybe even third because the class is that good and, and, and that deep man it's, it's serious uh these coin this cornerback class is insane this isn't usual this isn't normal what about emmanuel forbes i like him a lot but i'm not a take emmanuel forbes at 16 guy i like deontay banks a little bit more but i'm also not a deontay banks at 16 guy i wouldn't be mad let me try to like put these in categories emmanuel forbes and deontay banks at 16 i'm not mad but i just feel like it would be better to you know wait to wait to get corner until the second unless it's devon witherspoon or christian gonzalez i think it's smarter to take tackle just to, just like the talent pool wise the way the draft is shaping up corner is a bigger need than tackle obviously but there's a there's a drop there's a big jump off a big dip after the first five or six tackles after the first five or six corners they're they're pretty much all the same really really after devon witherspoon and christian gonzalez is more about fit and need and how you know how you would use them i mean take a look at woolen over there for the seahawks you know like after christian gonzalez and devon witherspoon in my opinion is really based on how that the person fits on your defense the best so if that's deontay banks is that's emmanuel forbes is that joey porter if it maybe is julius brintz that you can potentially get in the second or third round so that's why I just feel like corner, you can wait till after the first because tackle is imperative. If you plan on taking tackle, you take that guy in the first. If not, you might as well just go ahead and wait till we get to like the fifth or sixth round and you're drafting a guy with tools that's raw. Other than that, like this, that second round to fifth just doesn't even make sense uh, for tackle for me. Whereas corner, second and third round is the sweet spot. Tight end is really interesting because I feel like tight end is like a weird position where. I think everybody's going to go between our first and second round pick. Like, you can argue taking any of the tight ends at 16 is a little too high, but you can also easily argue that taking a tight uh, any of those good tight ends, making it to us at 47 is almost impossible. So it's just like trade back tight end makes a lot of sense, but at 16, I'm not sure. And I love Dalton Kincaid. Like I said, Darnell Wright and Darnell Washington, if the commanders leave with both of the Darnells, that's a dream case scenario for me. Um, but any of those tight ends, honestly, it, it's, I don't really see many of them. Maybe Dalton Kincaid or Michael Mayer goes before our pick at 16, but I wouldn't be surprised if all of them went after 16, but none of them, including Darnell Wright, I, I mean, Darnell Washington, I believe are making it to our 47. So we're like in a weird spot. We're like the bookends of where that, the, the best tight ends in this class can end up going. We're like too high in the first round and we're too low in the second round for the tight end class. So, yeah, I mean, it just depends on how much the commanders want to prioritize it. What's good, Derek? What's up, Rico? Hey, man, we should trade down to get more draft capital. I'm thinking so as well. What about your boy, Ringo? I love Ringo. I would love to take Ringo in the second round for sure. Or if we trade back extremely late first, like late 20s, early 30s. Um, I would take a chance on him. I'm higher on Ringo than most, but I do admit, even as a Georgia Bulldog fan, you have to hide him with the scheme. You're going to have to run a lot of like cover three, which Jack the Rio can do. He does like to do. You're going to have to basically turn him into like a faster Richard Sherman. It's going to be, and that's a, a, a lot of that is what Jack the Rio wants to do. We have the scheme for it, but it's not like Devon Witherspoon or, or Christian Gonzalez. You put them in here, you can ask them to run man press man press bell um all kind match coverage like you can't ask you can't you can't ask keely ringo to do that and not worry about him getting cooked out there you're gonna have to hide keely ringo with the scheme even as a georgia bulldog fan i can admit the scheme is going to have to hide his weaknesses you're gonna have to baby him you're gonna have to basically run defensive plays that put him in bubble wrap and don't ask him to do too much in my opinion um, so I would love to get Keely Ringo again. I'm higher on him than most, but I do admit that, you know, he's not scheme diverse at all. Not even a little bit. Um, oh, okay. This is, uh, Shae calling right now. Hold on, hold on. He might pull up to the, uh, draft. Hold on.
right, I'm back, y'all. That was Shay. He said he's uh, probably going to pull up at some point. So, um... Was just talking to him. We're gonna get Shay in here at some point. I know, thank you, Darren Waller. That's what I was talking about earlier. Um, did y'all want me to open up the phone lines for people to call in? We can go ahead and do that. Appreciate y'all letting me know that my uh mic was off. Yeah, that was just Shay calling in, letting me know he'll uh probably pull up later. So I know y'all like Shay. You know, he plays the villain, Patriots fan, and all of that. So I know y'all, I know y'all miss Shay. So we um we're gonna get Shay into the uh into the stream at some point, probably. Um, that would be way later though. That'll probably like you know maybe like after eight after the draft has already started or something like that. For now, uh, for this next hour leading up to the draft, um, I want to do some mock drafts. Do y'all want me to open up the phone lines? We can easily open up the phone lines for people to call in. We can get stuff started, man. We got. I mean, what y'all what y'all want to do? We got mock draft simulators. We got the Commanders depth chart, all seventy five players. We got the Cowboys versus Commanders. Uh, dub that we got week 18 sam how balled out we got the list of all of the players which is the pinned comment in the chat if you want to uh, access this pdf it's free for everybody so make sure y'all go get this pdf have it up to the side while we're watching the draft together have me up the draft and that list and then we also have the draft network's big board that we can cycle through so man we got everything we need today man i don't think you trade young man eric bellamy Unlock Armani Rogers. Oh, Eric. <laughs> yeah, how did you, Eric Bellamy too, boy? You must be on the phone. Yo, yo, autocorrect going crazy today. Working overtime. Um, Sam Howell is already better QB than Mac Jones. Hey, man, I ain't gonna lie. You might. He's no longer the villain. You're not winning no more. They don't have Tom Brady. Oh, he's gonna find a way. Ain't no way you gonna doubt my boy Shae like that. You know he gonna find a way, Derek. It's good, Captain. What's good? What's good, everybody? I agree with corner. I, I think Gonzalez with the phone banks and JPJ are franchise corner. Everyone after that are just good corners. I can see the argument for that. I can see it. I just know for me, especially, I know for a fact. I mean, I, I mean, nothing's 100% set in stone. But if I had to put money on it, Christian Gonzalez and Devon Witherspoon can go to any team, any defense, any scheme, and they're going to ball out. Whereas I feel like Deontay Banks and um, a few of these other guys – you know, it's it's fairly scheme dependent. Not as bad as Keely Ringo. Even as a Georgia Bulldog fan, I can admit, Deontay Banks is definitely a better pick at 16 than Keely Ringo. But I feel like they're all to a certain extent scheme dependent. Um, whereas Witherspoon, Gonzalez, boy, you anybody, anybody, any way, ball out. I I that's me personally though. Where but there's also levels to scheme dependency. And Keely Ringo is one of the more scheme dependent guys. Whereas Deontay Banks is less scheme dependent, but um but I do feel like he's you know, it's still a little bit there. You can't just plug Deontay Banks into any every defense and he's gonna ball out. Um uh, but I mean cornerback, a lot of it is scheme, just like quarterback, a lot of it is completely dependent on where you go. Cause Woolen, I mean, where he went in the draft and then the way the Seahawks got that uh, that amazing season out of them compared to Derek Stingley who's obviously more talented faster quicker stronger everything you would ask for physically better than Woolen but Derek Stingley the Texans took him and asked him to do things he didn't do at LSU Seahawks took Woolen and asked him to do exactly what he did in college and hit him with the scheme didn't ask him to do more than he doesn't want to do um, and, and that's why the Patriots were successful for so long. I mean, Tom Brady, your franchise quarterback taking pay cuts so you can pay your team is, is a huge part of it as well. But they only ask guys to do one, two, or three things that they're great at. Not everything in the world. Do what you're best at. If you're elite at one or two things, we're only going to ask you to do those things. That's what you should do with corners. And so I think fit matters more than anything else. I like Joey Porter, but I prefer Deontay Banks because of the fit. I think Joey Porter, you can argue – is a better man cover corner and depending on where you you know what defensive scheme you have i can see why you would prefer joey porter but for the commanders and what jack the rio wants to do i feel like deontay banks is easily the better corner in my opinion um but i can see why you would have joey porter over deontay banks in your big board but scheme fit matters so much for corner man it is it's, it's crazy and yeah, my boy Derek, man, we're going we're gonna to chop it up. We're going to chop it up. i just been super busy, and this draft is not going to make it any easier. But after after things calm down, well, I'll be back on it. Not the defensive ends will be traded this year. Yeah, I doubt it. Again, just the logic of what are you trading them for? A fifth-round pick? Like, nobody's going to, you know. Um, Yes, open up the phone lines. What's good, RVA, man? My, that's my boy right there, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to my boy RVA Point of Views, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to my boy. We're definitely going to get to working on some stuff after the draft as well. By the time I met one year, salute. Yeah, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to my boy RVA Point of Views, man. I mean that. 
Um, so yeah, I can open up the phone lines. Let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and get the phone lines going. I know some people may want to call Lynn. We'll probably get some crazy opinions leading up to this draft starting. Um, the phone lines will be open all the way up till the draft. After the draft starts, you know, it's going to be back to me. Shay is probably going to pull up at some point. But before the draft, we could do some mock drafts. Matter of fact, we could do some mock drafts while people are calling in. Um, we could just probably go ahead and do both at the same time. So let me go ahead and switch headsets. Because that's what I got. I got to switch headsets for this one. Got to switch headsets for this one. Let me see. Put you right here. Let's get the PC headset going. Trying to figure out who I want to watch the draft, draft coverage through. We doing NFL Network. We doing ESPN. How we feeling? It's good, J-Mars. You my channel member badge. Oh, no, Webbo. <laughs> Does Sweat not have a fifth-year option even though he was a first-rounder? Did we decline it? Yeah, I believe, yeah I, I believe we declined it. We didn't pick it up. Uh, No, no, no. Wait, I think maybe we... Wait, I'm trying to think of the math. No, we did pick it up. That's why him and Chase Young are free agents at the same time. I think we did pick up Sweat's fifth year option. My boy Jay Willard, channel member in the building. We getting things started. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let me set up this attendees. My boy Jay Willard, man, appreciate you becoming a channel member for nine months. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We already getting things going. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sweat is on his option. Yeah, Sweat's on his option currently. Thank you for all that you do. Appreciate that, Jose. NFL Network ESPN has gone has gone too far away from mail. Ooh, my boy Yoshi with the 31 months Pro Bowl sponsor. Yes, sir. We out here, man. We out here for real, man. People are not playing, man. I really appreciate that big time. We about to have some fun tonight, man. Let me go ahead and open up the phone lines. What's good? My boy Washington Command Center is in the building now. I'm sure he's going to... uh call in as well we already got my boy jonathan on the phone line let me go ahead and get that ready uh let me see if i got everything set up um. okay i messed that okay everything's good now all right what's good jonathan what are we gonna do about getting a Getting a quarterback out of the draft. Um, we need another quarterback. Yeah, I'm thinking. Um, I'm thinking if we go quarterback, it will probably be Hendon Hooker, second or third, if he makes it. Doubt it, or maybe Dorian Thompson Robinson, like fifth round or later. That would be my two most likely, and like just based off of who we're interested in, who we like, who we've met with the most in the off season. Those would be my two guys. I love Stetson Bennett. That's a Georgia Bulldog. I see so you, Mike. But definitely. I don't think so. So we're definite, definitely trading back instead of moving up. Yeah, if I had to pick between the two, trade back is far more likely. The only problem is it takes two to tango. It's got to be somebody willing to give you the value to trade up to the 16th overall pick. But I'm sure the commanders yeah, are already calling like around trying to get back. Yeah, like we did last year. Yeah. Yeah, like we did last year. And, and what's, what's the... What's the possibility of us getting up? Because we need corners. We need a uh, we need we need a, a starting corner, and we need a cor corner to play in the slot. I agree. I agree. I hope we get uh, Jatavius Quan Martin, maybe in the second, maybe in the third to be our starting slot corner if not maybe maybe we go brian branch if we trade back in the first round brian branch is still there i would love to take him if not Quan yeah. somewhere second or third round probably not even i like I brian branch myself i like brian branch myself yeah i think he's uh what about what about linebacker we really need we really need need a mic yeah, that see that's where things get a little interesting because I feel like there's no linebacker necessarily worthy of going in the first. But there's some guys in that third, you can argue kind of second round, definitely fourth round as well, that we may take a look at. I think that Drew Sanders may you can be, argue. Huh? That may be the situation that we need that we need to get into as far as linebacker, because we we've gone we've gone too many years with with a linebacker without a linebacker 
that have speed. I mean, <laughs> you know, the guy that went to Pittsburgh, he was too slow. Yeah. And uh, we can't have a slow linebacker, middle linebacker. We need a fast linebacker that runs at least to a uh, four six. Nah, I, please, some four four. If if anything, I love Dayon Henley, but I just don't. He, I don't I think would, he's gonna be gone. I would like somebody who runs a four or five. Most linebackers run like a a four four or four five. Nah, I, I would I would it, hope so. Yeah, that that's 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 the definitely that's the definite possibility. Because we can't have another slow linebacker like we did before. But that boy David Mayo. <laughs> Great run stopper, I'm, boy. I'm, <laughs> yeah. Are we going for are we going for safety? Um, if we do, it may be like a hybrid guy. Like that's what I'm saying. Like Brian Branch or Jatavius Quan Martin, they can play kind of both. But I think we need a slot more than a safety. Like, um, but both of those guys are slot safety like hybrids kind of. Buffalo Nichols, especially Brian Branch. Brian Branch is the ideal Buffalo Nickel. I think he's the best slot in the draft. Um, but like my boy said, Washington Commands, and you can get Antonio Johnson maybe later. I love Quan Martin a lot as a slot guy as well so those could be two guys but man jonathan appreciate you calling in we got some more people behind you so i'm gonna go ahead and bring them on appreciate the phone call man all right yes sir yes sir my i'll boy, be jonathan. here all night appreciate it yes sir yeah we going all the way through the first round at the very least of course i'm gonna be live streaming rounds two and three as well and rounds four and five on saturday um, let me go ahead and bring on the next caller. We have a 202 number. Who's this? This Chris, man. What's going on, Rico? Yeah, what's happening? Let me say my boy Chris and uh, let's go. Man, what's good? Big fan of yours, man. Keep up the good work, my brother. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Man, I'm going to tell you, though, I've been doing the mock draft on, over here on, on my side. And, on my side, and uh, if, we, if we are sitting at 16... And both the cornerbacks are gone, right? My first pick is uh, Donnell Wright, and uh, out, of, out of Tennessee. Same here. Same here. <laughs> and if and if he gone, then we trade back, right? We trade back. Uh, we pick up Anton. Uh, what's the dude name from o Oklahoma? Oh, Anton, Anton Harrison, uh, seventy-one, just like Trent Williams, yeah, in Oklahoma. Anton, yeah, we we pick him up, Anton Harrison, and then in the in the second round. Don't be surprised now if we get like Jabril Gibbs or somebody like that because you know uh, Eric the Enemy was a running back uh, in Colorado, so you know he he gonna want his own little. You know how most people uh, when they head coaches they want they 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 want their quarterback. Well, you know he's an offensive coordinator and he was a proud running back. He might want his running back. You I can understand see what I'm saying? They've been talking about they want so, to improve. Think, they want to get somebody in the draft for running back too. I'm not sure how soon, but they've said they want to get somebody. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, that's the only thing. I'm not sure how you know how you know how sh uh, soon they're going to get him. But I'm going to let you know. Um, I like the guy from TCU as well. Uh, what's the dude name? Miller, I think. Um, oh, Steve. Um, Steve Avila, the interior offensive lineman, or are you talking about somebody different? The running back. Oh, the running back. Oh, the one that got hurt. Yeah, Kendra, Kendra Miller. Yeah, Kendra the one Miller, that got hurt before before the championship. Oh, he did. He got hurt. I believe so. Yeah, well, I, that man still he still he still got some tapes out there, some highlight tapes. And, oh, oh yeah. You know, I think he if, if we don't get Jabril Gibbs or somebody, I think it's a I think it's gonna be a surprise though for that second round pick if we don't trade back. It's gonna be a surprise pick, and it, uh, don't be don't be mad if we get a running back though. I'm letting you know, <laughs> you know, because I already, because you, you if you think about it, while Eric the Enemy was in Kansas City, he still had um he had uh e e Lair, what, what what's his name? Oh, Clyde e was e from he LSU. Had the guy, yep, he had McKinnon, and then he got the guy uh Pacino, what, what, the guy he just. They won, just won the Super Bowl with. Um, with Isaiah Pacheco. You know that, Pacheco. I, I, I yeah, never knew Pacheco. how to pronounce his name. Yeah. 
Right. So if you think about it, man, he, we we he's always in line for one of those type of running backs. And I think out of this draft, from the running backs that I've seen so far that can take JD McKenzie's place is is um, Jabril Gibbs, the guy uh, Kendry Miller, or I would say a Chase, uh, or even the guy from uh, what's the guy's name from um, uh, uh, Tajay Spears. Maybe. <laughs> Oh, I like I like Tazi Spears too. Tazi Spears is like one of the best running backs in this draft, but he's you know we can get him like fifth round though. You understand? Yeah, so, yeah some people think. Like I said, man, I'm I'm excited. This is one of the best times of the year for me. You know? Yes, sir. Uh, but like I said, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna keep you up though, man. Um, I, I know you got other calls, and I know my time is up. So I'm just let you know, man. I'm always you know a big fan of yours, and I'm gonna keep watching your shows. Man, appreciate it, man. You you might have you might be in the running for the strongest DMV accent in this entire call-in show. <laughs> oh yeah, that's where I'm from, baby. You know what I'm saying? It's the DMV. It's yes, sir. Born and man. raised DC, so we can hear it, man. All right, yes, man. Sir. Have a good one. Appreciate it. Hey, lock me in, man. I'm I'm gonna try to call you again Sunday, man. Yes, sir, man. I got you locked in, Chris, and everything. Yes, sir. Please. Yep. All right. Later. All right, man. Yes, sir. We got people coming in. More people. Shouts out my boy Chris. Shouts out my boy Jonathan. Next caller, we got my boy Rick D. How you doing over there, Rick? Hey, Rico. How you doing? What's happening? What's happening? Oh, look. I am so happy to hear from you. And I've been watching every content you put out, as always. But uh, appreciate it. My biggest fruition is coming. Look, once we get that new owner, like I said months ago, no, I haven't talked to you in a while, but uh, RFK, RFK Stadium is coming. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. They're going to redo it, and that's going to be the place to be. And we're going to have it rocking like in the 80s. And that's going to be awesome. Now, all your mock drafts, everything that everybody's got on the board, we won't know until all these people start trading. And <laughs> we don't know what we're going to get. So blow up your papers, everybody. It's not <laughs> happening. Oh, it's, it's about to be chaotic. It's about to be chaotic. It's going to get crazy. All these quarterbacks, uh, guards, uh, actually tackles, and uh, the uh, it's going to be nuts. But uh, man, I, I do appreciate all your insight. To everything you went back into the colleges. And everywhere you went to to get the information that you provided to us, buddy, uh, that is so helpful. Appreciate so that, helpful. man. I mean, we have a good insight. No, no. You, 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 and I love the show you did with uh, the other day. Oh, with um, oh Louis T. A couple of nights oh, ago. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Man, yes, that sir. Was, that was one of the best. That was one of the best shows, man. I I watched every minute of it. Oh my god. That's my boy over there. This is good content. Good content, but uh, I wish you well tonight, Rico. Man, um, I mean, really, you I know we're trading back, like I told you months ago. It's me we're too, trading man. back, strong feelings. What sure. are we gonna get? Who do you think is gonna trade on us? Give me a team. Ah, uh, let me let me look at the draft order, as a matter of fact. Um, we got the Buccaneers at 19, Seahawks at 20. But they may go further back than that. Like, I don't know, maybe the Vikings want to trade up to get a plate. I'm thinking so it's going to be somewhere some early time, 20s, but... maybe. Yeah, I think I see one draft. It was, uh, it was, it was the Bucks. You're right. It was the Bucks. That's what I'm hoping so. Like, so we don't trade too far back, but I think we'll more than likely end up probably somewhere in the 20s. We'll see. I would love to get an additional who, second who, or third round pick out of it. Who, who do you think will take with that pick? Is that 2021? 20, Honestly, if like I think realistic wise, um, like I just took in the mock draft I'm doing on the screen right now, Anton Harrison after trading back is a, is a home run hitter in my opinion. Uh, I think so. At tackle, uh, I love Darnell Wright's my favorite in the draft, and if he's there at 16, I'm taking him. But if we trade back and Anton Harrison is still there wherever we trade back to, I'm I'm almost doing a black flip. If Banks was still on the board, would you take him out of Maryland? 
And after trading back, eh, I'm higher on Anton Harrison than I like outside of Devon Witherspoon and Christian Gonzalez. I'm higher on the tackles, especially like Anton Harrison. So if, if Anton Harrison and Deontay Banks are both there, I would take Harrison, me personally. Um, but I wouldn't be mad at Deontay Banks after a trade back at all because I think he, he fits what we want to do very well. I got you. And, hey, I, I know there's other other people calling because you're hot, brother. You're hot. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks right. for calling in, man. Thank you. Yes, sir. My boy Rick D, man, as always, man. Yeah, we got about like seven people in the chat right now. Let me bring in the next caller. We got my boy Merle up next. How you doing over there, Merle? What's going on, Rico? What's happening, man? Oh, I hear some energy. Everybody excited about this draft, man. Let's get it. Yes, sir. You know it, man. Yeah, I mean, first of all, man, we got to get you on first take to go up against Stephen A. Smith, man. <laughs> we're going to bring up all these content creators. We got to get you on there, man. To represent the commanders for sure. Appreciate it, man. I'm trying. I'm trying. But, I'm working. But um, I got a few draft scenarios. I think you'll see them trade Chase Young tonight. I think you'll see them trade the 16th pick. Look who they trade with Jacksonville. After the news coming out of Jacksonville, the Cam Robinson's probably going to get suspended. Uh -huh. So I'm looking to see. I see Jacksonville will probably want to trade up to get one of those tackles. They either trade with them or they'll probably trade with Kansas City. Um, with that first round pick, I think they're going to uh, draft Osiris Torn from Florida, the big guard who can yeah. also play center. Yeah, I like. Him I think a they're going to draft him. And then the second round, you can wait and get your tackle. Jalen Duncan from Maryland. I really like him. He's extremely athletic. And he would fit Eric Biami's, uh offense very well. Okay. I okay. also think I also think you're going to trade Antonio Gibson probably day two. Oh, I would be sick. I would be so sick if we traded my boy. I, I want him yeah, to go loud, man. Yeah, but you know Eric Biami don't play that fumble thing. So I think he, <laughs> he's going to be... I think he's going to be out of there. And they may draft the kid from UCLA, Chabernet, who fits the system also that Eric Bamey is going to run. Okay, I can so see me, that. If, if, they, if they draft a quarterback, they can wait to the fourth or fifth round, and they need to draft the kid from Arizona, Jake Hayner, who I think should be like a second rounder at least. If you haven't watched him play, you need to watch him play. Go watch his highlights. Um, he's very good. I know everybody loves him and Hooker, but my problem with him and Hooker is he played in a high school offense in college, and his ST cognitive test was only low, only higher than C. J. Stroud. So uh, you know that yeah. counts. I know people like oh that that doesn't matter when you're playing football. Yeah, it actually does. <laughs> so I would stay. I would stay away from Hendon Hooker, and I would stay away from C.J. Stroud. But Jake Hendon, he scored one of the highest scores on that test. He was like in the top three. Yeah. And I'm like, he threw 20 touchdowns on three interceptions last year, playing at Arizona. So I think we should take a wild ride on him. Um, I don't really think they believe they need secondary help. I think they're good. I think they think they're good at that spot. Um, my problem was if I had to take a tight end, I would probably wait to get the tight end from um, Penn State. Because like he fits State. that mold. Okay. But it depends on what you get in the trade. So like Jacksonville, if you can get extra second round pick or something like that, yeah, or whatever you get for Chase Young, like a second round pick or something. Yeah, then I would go for like a Darnell Washington in the second round. Ooh, I'll be I'll be in heaven, man. Yeah, because I don't believe he's getting drafted in the first round. I, I hope think not. The only tight end, <laughs> I think the only tight end to get drafted in the first round tonight would be Mayor and Kincaid. I think the rest of them gonna be second round or later. I can see that. I could definitely see that for sure. 
Yeah, I, but to me, things are looking great. I, I think also with new ownership getting ready to come in, it will influence this draft because they want to keep their job. And I'm I'm just going to go out on them and say Josh Harris is going to be the new owner. And if you watch his other team, he likes stars. Oh, yeah, he'll pay people. So think, One thing about Josh Harris, yeah. what he's done so far with his other teams, he will pay guys. He will pay the luxury tax. He's doing everything he can. His coaches are the highest yeah. paid in the uh, leagues and everything. Right. And I don't think he uh, sells for anything else than playoffs. If you look at his basketball team, if you look at his hockey team, or playoff teams right now. Yes, sir. So, yeah, but, but that's all I got tonight, Rico. I'm going to watch this draft. I think it's going to be a wild night. So hang on to your seat. Oh, yeah, man. It's about to be chaotic. It's just, it's, it's the most ambiguous draft I feel like we've seen in a while. Like, we normally can guess at the very least maybe the top five picks. We have a fill-in on, like, maybe three to five guys the commanders might take. It's none of that this year, so I'm excited. But, man, appreciate that, Merle. We do have a lot of people behind you. Appreciate you calling in as well, man, as always. Okay. Hey, real quick, who, where do you think Stetson Bennett goes? Where? Who I think maybe is like a super duper backup to the Buccaneers in like the fifth or sixth round. Yeah, that's, that's what, what I think too. Yeah, to learn behind Baker or something like that, I can see that happening. Yeah. All right, Rico, go dogs. All right, man. Yes, sir. Go dogs. Yes, sir. All right, let me bring. We got a 252 number next. Who's this? Yes, sir. OBX Ken from Outer Banks, North Carolina. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. North Carolina in the building. That's where hey, my man. whole family's based at, too. So, shout out North Carolina. Okay. Rico, look, much respect to you and your grind, man. You are absolutely my favorite. Appreciate Keep it, man. Good work. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. So, I'm going to throw something at you. Mm hmm. I believe Eric, uh, that Eric the enemy is going to get his way on what he wants when he wants as far as the player. And I think tight end is going to be on the radar sooner than what folks think. What do you okay. think about that? Okay. I, did, I saw some you, report you, that he was in he was in uh, Rivera's ear about prioritizing tight end more. Um, you can believe it. Thing. Yeah, I saw a report about that like a couple of days look ago. How much he, look how much he used Kelsey. I mean, that was, you know, he was one of the biggest options that Mahomes had, so you got to put something on the plate. I believe he's going to do that. Okay. I'm going to get off the phone. I know you got people behind you, but I've always wanted to ask you just one quick question. Yes, sir. Who is your all-time favorite Redskins? Commander, sorry. It it depends. All-time favorite. Ah, that's, it's like categories because, of course, I want to say Sean Taylor, but I remember as a kid playing NFL 2K, Steven Davis was my guy. And then I was – yeah, that was my guy. NFL 2K, like back when 2K used to still make NFL games, that I like used to turn up the sliders, play on rookie or whatever the setting was, and like just score 80 <laughs> points a game with Steven Davis. Like that was my guy. Um, well, Sean Taylor, absolutely. My man is Daryl Green. Yeah, oh, easily in my top five. Daryl Green, <laughs> London Fletcher, top right. five. Hey, Rico, keep up the good work, man. I'm going to be throwing you some support here shortly. Yes, sir. Appreciate that, man. I got you locked you in, man. saved in, and everything. Uh, yeah, no doubt. Have a good one. Yes, sir. You too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, I always forget, too. Before I move on to the next caller, I got to shout out my boy, Dequavius. Every time I see your name, I almost say the first name every time, and I always slip up. You almost get me every time, but you ain't going to get me today. Appreciate the donation, man. What's good, Rico? I'm getting Forbes or D. Wright vibes. I'm really hoping so, especially Darnell Wright. I, that's my best-case scenario if we can leave with both Darnells, it's literally best case scenario possible for me. Um, but again, as you can see in the mock draft that I just did, trade back and get Anton Harrison is dream case scenario for me as well. Like that, that would be, I love, this is one of my favorite mock drafts and I just did this on the fly just now. Even though I had to force the trade back to the Buccaneers for them to give us 19 and 50, I don't care. I love this draft. I don't, I did, I don't care. I was going to force the mess out of that one. Uh, let me bring on the next caller. We have a 757 number. Who's this? This is Rich. Super Rich. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me go ahead and save my boy in then. What's good? What's happening, Rico? 
What's happening? Sight it, man. I'm watching. I'm watching you on this uh, YouTube feed, man. I, I, I got to admit, when you and Ed Oliver and all four of y'all get together, man, y'all give up some real good gas information, man. Y'all on point every time. Appreciate and it. And that's what makes me, that's what makes me uh, stay a commander's fan, you know, because there are some people out there that has hope. We don't need no quarterback, bro. We don't. We got the running back. We got everything. We need a line. That's all we need, a line. We got a defensive line. Let them young boys go ahead and do their thing, right? I don't give a damn who we draft. That's up to them. That's their job. That's why they get paid the big money to uh, find these players. But uh, I got Eric BM being our next head coach after Ron Rivera. And I'll tell you why. Okay. The enemy, the enemy is like Willie Joe Gibbs. People don't realize the similarities to that, right? Okay. He was an offensive coach. Think about it. He's an offensive coach who was in San Diego, and one of our greatest uh, NFL leaders out there was Jack. Pretty King. Remember that one, bro? Yeah. So he brought in Willie Joe Gibbs, mm-hmm. an offensive guru, an offensive mind, right? Look what we did. That guy's a boom. I was in the Marine Corps, buddy. When they was winning, I was talking mad smack oh, on that everybody. ship. everybody. <laughs> oh, my God. I made a bet, man. i never forget that time when I went and poured after that bet. Woo, my pockets were fat. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Sam Howe showed everybody what he can do if you have took the handcuffs off and broke. He would have probably threw for 400 yards. I don't give a damn what they say about Sam. Sam's our man. Just like Sammy Ball. Now we got Sammy who? Think about it. We are on the uprise, brother. And that all that good stuff, you and Rico and, uh, no, you're Rico. I mean, uh, Rio. Rio, yes, sir. And Ed and, uh, yeah, Ed and uh, my man. Uh, Louis T. Help me out. Yes, I'm an old head. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Louis T. Yeah, look. Guess what? You know when the magic was good for the Washington football team? It was when that stadium, RK, and half the dudes in D.C. were born at where? D.C. General. Okay. That's where I was born at. It it was like magic in my blood because I was right, you know, I was born during the game. So, (laughs) (laughs) hey, hey, that team I like them, that burger and gold. Man, that's hitting, man. That's hitting. That is hitting. And Rico, for you being a young man from Atlanta or whatever, people don't understand. When you love your burgundy and gold and your colors, that's your stripes, bro. Oh, yeah, it ain't going nowhere. I, Ever. I see you, man. I'll be watching you, man. I say this young man, you just like my son, right? You're the same age. I'm what, I'm 61 going on 62. But nonetheless, you the same age as my son, man. And he he loves the commanders. He plays with them on Madden. Oh yeah. But at least one thing I can say he do. He wins. <laughs> Whatever <laughs> he got to do with the joystick. That's the difference. He, yeah, he sets them up. Boom over the top. But you know, bro, you you. I'm proud of you, man. Keep Appreciate doing what you're doing. You just keep doing what you're doing with them other fellas, man. You know, the hell with the. Uh, Channel 9 News and all that stuff. You guys got it going on. Y'all give an in-depth situation of all this and all that. I don't know the uh, players that are coming out of college, but I will assure you this, whoever they pick, we're going to love it. Because that's what we do in Washington. We love who we pick. Loyal, man. And the thing about Chase Young, yeah, the thing about Chase Young, I'm just going to settle with this. Look, Chase, after you got hurt, man, you should have came in OTAs and things like that. But your britches got too big because of your first year. Then you got hit your second year. Mm-hmm. Then you re-injure yourself, not telling anybody. You didn't keep yourself under the staff to do these things for you. And that's why you kind of got, got yourself in this situation. Now, don't get me wrong. I love Chase Young. All right? Chase Young is a beast. He's dynamic. But you got to... Think, bro. You can't let your head get too big because we remember Robert Griffin III did that. What happened? Whoo! 
Play one Pressure makes year, diamonds. Right? Pressure makes that, <laughs> Yeah, when that head got big, it blew up. You bomb. Oh, his head blew the hell up. <laughs> well, Rico, Rico, we need Chase. Ten years back. Stay, stay with the team. Let them nurse you back through this the right way. Yeah. And brother, if you ball out, they owe you three more million than what they owed you from picking up your fifth year contract. Yeah. So seventeen to 20. it's time to show. There you go. It's time to show or go. Whichever can do. We survive. Yeah, we survive people who were very talented and left us and went and did better elsewhere. Like Preston Smith went to Green Bay. He yeah. did wonderful. Yeah. Okay. And, and and one more thing, I'm gonna let you go. I appreciate the time you give me. I'm super rich. I will call you a lot more, bro, when you go live or whatever you go do, even after the game. I'm gonna go, hey, you know what? But I'm cool, prime collected, man. I'm super rich. Yes, sir. United States Marine Corps. Ooh, rah. <laughs> All <laughs> right. Yes, sir. I know you probably got an uncle. I know you got an uncle or somebody who's been in. I know you do. Because yeah. you're that type of guy as I look at you. You know, I can tell you discipline. I can tell. You own what you're talking about. You don't just say things because you research things. And a person Got with uh, that insight of good intelligence, man, can't do nothing but to help and listen to you, brother. Appreciate no matter how old I am, I can listen to this young man all day long. Because remember, mama said a three-year-old can tell you something better than a damn grown man. That's all I got to say about that, Rio. We are set and hooked with Sam Howe. He's going to light the league up next year, this year. Hey. He's going to light it up because when they get that left tackle, that I really need. Because when you put a left tackle and a good uh, pass rusher against each other, they're still shopping still. We haven't had that in a minute. And I'm tired of these bums, you know, like Rivera was picking up his old boys from Carolina and all that. <laughs> Man, they were has been. I, I watched him get blown off the damn line. I go, come on, man. <laughs> and you're right about putting Sam Cosby at right tackle. Get somebody else that do. He, his arms are too short to box for God. Because you know that tackle, that <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, that uh that defensive end over there. He got long arms than you. Yep. You boxing with God. You lose it every time. Put him inside where he can grab your ass and mow him. Yep. Now you can put somebody out there and, 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 and that boy we got from Kansas City. It's on, sir. All we got to do is show up at the right side. We don't need no running back. The, the enemy knows that the Robinson train, this is a 2,000-yard rusher waiting to happen. Okay. You just get him. He's just... Damn near clone of, of of my man. I call him John Henry, but Derrick Henry. You know, John Henry is a big old man. He carried a hammer. So <laughs> when Henry ran up in there, he was out there down. Black Bama. Oh, Black Bama. What did he do to Josh? Uh, what's his name? Josh Dorman. Get off me. Oh, he turned him into a block. He's out of time afterward. <laughs> yeah, he just said, get off me. Put him in the other man. Kept him on running. But, bruh. I love uh, getting to talk to you, my man. And I hope you remember Super Rich. You put me down. Listen, I'm an old school guy. I don't do that tweet and all that. Because, see, you got to understand, when you doing the tweets and uh, Facebook and all that, that is called social suicide. So what you want to <laughs> do is just go to YouTube and talk to your brother. Like you. Listen, man, peace out. Super Rich. Love you, bro. You keep up the good word. And tell you my man, Rio, super rich, say, I like it when you two get together. Okay. When you two are together, that, that shit is fun. It's funny and fun. Sorry <laughs> for the um, you good. foul word. I'm sorry. I got I to gotta keep that straight. You good, you man. It's energy, it man. It's but, energy. But, it's fun. But, but, hey, man, it's great energy towards you and what you do, man. And the thing is, man, it's like, it's like, for real, when you get to going, and I'll be looking at you young, and I go, he's telling, he, he telling it straight. Telling it straight. 
like when you talk about Dan Snyder and all that other stuff, man. Oh, yeah, that was, I, man. I was over here just that yeah, was I was bad. crying and bugging out, bro. That yeah, was that was bad, bad man. <laughs> he, he wasn't no Jack King Cook. I don't care what you say about Jack King Cook. He's 90 years old, messing with 26 year old. That's my man, though. <laughs> what a bloody great victory, Joe. <laughs> what a bloody great victory. Sure. Appreciate sure that super rich. For you, man. Appreciate that super rich. All right, man. man. I'm going to move over here. I'm going to call him here. Yes, sir, man. Please do, man. Yes, chat. sir. I will. I will. Bro, young man, you like that. Appreciate Just remember it, man. I said You like that. Yes, sir, All right, man. man. Peace. Move on. I'm, I'm listening to what's going on, and I will relinquish the channel. Take care, bro. Yes, sir, man. You too. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. My boy, I got him saved in. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I love the energy, man. This is what the draft do, man. The draft is so fun, man. I'm so happy, man. I'm so excited. I got I got NFL Network here. I got ESPN here. I got Twitter here. I got y'all here. I got the call in here. I got my big board here. I got the draft, uh, my mock drafts that y'all see right here. Got the Sunday, man. I'm just here to have fun, man. I'm so excited. Um, let me go ahead and bring on the next caller. We got my boy Washington Command Center in the building, aka Astonishing. Make sure y'all subscribe to my boy while you're at it. What's good, man? Hey, Rico. The day is finally here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, we have put so much time and energy into this day. Oh, I'm so excited. I've been nervous since last night. I just, I hope we make the right picks, man. <laughs> I'm, I think, I honestly think, like, all the trading back stuff, like, I've been mocking it. Everybody's got their fingers crossed for that. Like, we want that to happen. But, man, it makes so much sense for Ron. Like, like his job's on the line. I mean, I think, you know, Josh Harris has a history of, of giving the coaching staffs, like, two years after he comes in. So, I think his job's not as is in jeopardy as, as most people are saying, but I think he's going to want to make a good impression. Mm -hmm. And I could really see him, like I've been saying, like tapping into future draft picks. People are talking crazy about us trading back or, uh, yeah, trading back to get picks for next year to go after Caleb Williams. Ron's not going to do that. Like he has to win now. Why would he set up the next guy in case he loses his job? Exactly. I would be tapping in the every uh, NFL team is allowed to trade three years into the future. Their draft picks three years in the future. That's the cap. I'd be tapping into all of that to try to you know get as much as I could this year, especially like you know second round picks, third round picks, stuff like that, where he can add you know, talent to the team and help him keep his job. I like Ron. I'm a Ron guy. Mm. I think he has, like, I compare him to Pete Carroll. Like, Pete Carroll was 7-9 his first two seasons in Seattle, and they were a team that was just in the Super Bowl, like, two years before that. So he was coming into a much better situation, went 7-9 out the gate, rebuilt that whole team. Mm. Didn't have Dan Snyder, didn't have all the Washington drama to worry about. <laughs> I think that's why Ron's back a season. That's what set Ron back a season. Not to mention cancer. I mean, he's you know he's been in that Pete Carroll spot. It took him an extra year. I think he should tap into those future picks. Like I, uh, I put my last mock. Like this is legitimate draft value from the charts. If Ron just takes next year's second round pick and throws it in with a pick uh, trade with the Saints. If the Saints want to come up, like we traded with them last year, if they want to move up from 29 to 16, if we throw in next year's second, then they got to give us back 40, 71, 115, and 146. Like, that's the trade value. If the Saints want to come up, and they always want to come up. The Saints always want to come up. They're so sure about their board. They want to get their guy. I think we should be on the phone with them again this year. Like, hey, it worked out last year for us. Let's do it this year, but I'm going to throw y'all a future so we can get it done this year, you know? So, and 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 moving that far back, it's not like all the grades in this draft after like the top 10 guys are like the, the, the picks 15 to like 60 
are all the same value. Those guys are all basically around the same talent level. So if we go back to, I think Anton Harrison could possibly still be there at 29. We could get him. If not, you know, DeJuan, uh, DeJuan Jones. Like, I feel confident that DeJuan Jones could be a left tackle. I mean, just put that guy out there. You know, he takes a step out. Nobody's going to get past him. And a lot of people are talking about, too, his punch, man. Him just punch, you know, just when he puts his yeah. hand on a defender, it's rep over. So, Yeah, I heard we were interested in DeJuan Jones as well, too. Like, that that's very realistic, for sure, after a trade back especially. Yeah. And that gives us a early second round pick if we do that. If we go back with the Saints, we're we're picking twenty nine, and then we're right back on the board at forty, and then forty seven. If we could get that trade, it's in the next year's second. So that'd be we could uh, like Craig Hoffman. Like I just put up a fun little mock draft on uh, Twitter, and it had we got Skaronsky fell to us. And I got Dewan, and he was like, "Oh!" And I, and then I got Avila. He's like, "Oh, you, wow! It would be so dumb to go offensive line with your first three picks, but why? If our offensive line was 28th in the league last year, <laughs> and we could add Dewan Jones, Peter Skaronsky, and Steve Avila to play center, why would we not? Like that would be the best possible outcome, I think, in this draft. Yeah, especially you know." With as deep as the corners are, we could we could get corner. I mean, they like Terrell Smith from Minnesota. That guy's going to go in like the fifth round. Yep. Like Corey Trice was a, a big my guy. He's you know probably going to be a fourth rounder, uh, third round. You could bet on the traits. Like everybody's talking about, you know, Deontay Banks. Darius Rush is right there with the traits. Yeah, he's a little rawler because he was a wide receiver. Yeah. But that guy's special too. There's so many cornerbacks in this draft that that we can wait on that. Like it's a big need, yes, but offensive line, the the tackles are going to be guys that we get in the first round, like Harrison, right, even right guys. I know you guys love Wright, but he's like a one year wonder. He was awful at left tackle when he played at left tackle in <laughs> Tennessee. He was awful at guard. He moved the right tackle and was really good this year. I know everybody loves right. I mean, I like right too. Like, he's nasty. But he's a one-year wonder. He's a right tackle only, in my opinion. We you, you are. You trust Harrison more. You trust Anton Harrison more. Yeah, Anton Harrison, man. And plus, he's a local guy. I mean, he's a D.C. guy. Yeah. You want the, uh, the guys that moms can come to the game, like, I just love that. So now I'm not Ron Rivera's son, uh, but I just I just think uh, Anton Harrison's smoother. He's a natural left tackle. I think that's a guy that if we get him, man, we don't have. To, it's like he'll be right in that Trent Williams, Chris Samuel mold. We could just put him there, and Ooh, that's that's some names right there. We were spoiled. I'm not saying. <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying I'm not saying he could be, you know, he's not going to be that great. Yeah. But he's going to be a guy we don't have to worry about at that spot for a long time. Hopefully longer than than Trent was. So, yeah, I know I'm going over time. I don't want to be rambling on like these old guys. I'll try to call back later. All right. All right, take care. Yes, sir, man. My boy, Astonishing again. Make sure you subscribe to my boy, Washington Command Center, who you just heard giving all of his draft opinions. You also see him in the chat, Washington Command Center as well. Make sure you subscribe to my boy. Appreciate you calling in as always, man. And um, and then next up, we have Anthony in New Mexico. What's good, my boy? Appreciate you calling back. Yo, man, what's good? What's good, man? It's been a minute. Yes, sir. What's happening? Not much. Not much. First and foremost, got to say, free at last, free at last. Good God of you, free at last. Ownership. Hold on to the evil <laughs> little elf. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so first and foremost, I got to say, your mock draft is the ideal situation that I would like happening tonight. Hopefully okay. a trade back, pick up Harrison, have a great left tackle. I like right, but we already got a right tackle. We have two right tackles. We got one of them that's going to be playing – uh, guard, and now we got one that we're paying like $24 million for like the next four years. Might as well keep him at right tackle, so Harrison mm -hmm. has to be the pick. 
Yeah, I love Harrison a lot, especially in a trade back. You can still get him. I think. I mean, as you can see, exactly. the 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 first mod draft I just did since I've been streaming, I have him, and then the second one I just started, I picked him again. So I'm right with y'all exactly. on that. Honestly, it has to be Harrison, the best available cornerback that fits our scheme. It has to be a guy that fits our scheme first and foremost, like you said, with Banks. Uh, then best player available. Doesn't matter what the position is, you pick up the best guy that fits your team, that adds value to your uh, your 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 bench, or can even become a starter if you pick the right guy. Okay. Yeah. I man, I'm telling you that it's it's way more fit than just raw skills with a lot of players in general, but corner especially, man. Derek Stingley Jr. has all the talent Absolutely. in the world, but he just went to an ugly situation, and people are already starting to forget about him. Well, I can see him getting traded or not getting his next contract, landing somewhere else, and then his fifth or sixth year balling out somewhere else. I can easily see it. Exactly. And as far as our offensive situation, man, we have to start using our talent to their, to their strengths, man. That's, I think that's the biggest thing that we've been lacking the entire time for, since Rudin. We get these guys that want to come in and put in their systems and force the players to fit their systems versus getting a guy that does a good thing and then keeping them to, uh, keeping that good thing going. William Jackson. Like, what's the, <laughs> exactly. I mean, anybody. Like, we have uh, what's uh, what's the old boy that played with Sam in uh, North Carolina? He's a uh, burner, but we never oh, use him. Brown. We almost never use. Deami Brown. Deami Brown, yep. Like, we have to start using the strength of our, like, players and accentuating that in the offense. And I really felt like our new offensive coordinator is going to do that. Oh, yeah. Uh, think about it. We, we, we traded away a damn near Hall of Fame cornerback to get a scat back running back and then turned him into a blocking running back. Yeah. Like, you feel me? Like, you got to use your players to their strengths. That's the only way we're going to have a team that's actually functional. So... Man, I'm hoping that tonight we get some common sense with Harris coming in as ownership. Fingers crossed. Hopefully shit works out. Oh, my bad. Hopefully things work out. You good. You good. Uh, good, <laughs> good luck, man. We appreciate you, man. Like, you're, you're doing an awesome job, man. I'm going to go ahead and hang up. Uh, have a wonderful night, man. Man, appreciate that. My boy Anthony in New Mexico. Yes, sir, man. Appreciate that. Big time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And just to add to your point, Anthony, I know you're already gone, but... Um, to Eric Bieniemy to just boost him up a little bit and continue what you were saying was that Isaiah Pachenko was what like a seventh round pick and y'all saw how much they got out of him. Imagine what Eric Bieniemy can do with Curtis Samuel and Antonio Gibson. I'm really excited about what Sam Howell's gonna do. Not even just because of who Sam Howell is, but who his offensive coordinator is is gonna be running the show from behind the scenes. And then um, this will probably be our final caller because we are 750. I need to go ahead and get ready for the draft. I also need to go ahead and figure out how I'm going to get Shea e into the show as well. Maybe I'll pull him up like somewhere in this little zone right here or something like that. We're going to get Shea e in here, though. I got to figure out how I can hear him, how y'all can hear him, everything. We're going to get it going, though. Um, bef um, yeah, before that, though, oh, yeah, people were asking how to support. Um, if you go to the, uh, the, the uh, description of the video... Um, you can become a channel member, and also I can uh, copy and paste um, how to donate and all of that stuff, too. Um, oh, man, the person that I was going to bring in, the 323 number, just left. Call back in that you were going to be the final caller. Um, but let me go ahead and... Uh, let me... Uh, it's, oh, I went over the, the loud. Okay, so let me see. I can change this. All right, so how to donate. My boy, DC Big Oso, y'all. Welcome back, man um yeah so that's how you can donate you got the cash app we got the uh the stream labs link i don't know why i did it like that wait a minute wait a minute that came out funny that looks terrible i i, I don't even know how to read that hold on i'm gonna fix <laughs> that is terrible i'm gonna fix it real quick wait oh did we pull back up okay we got the 323 number in here yes sir appreciate you coming back um 323 who's this hey re the conference has been locked I love your show, bro. I'm yes, sir. Yes, sir. All the way from L.A. Okay, L.A. in the building. Oh, you good, man. It's, it's 451 over there. Yeah. Who is this again? I'm sorry. Oh, God, it is. This Damo. This Damo. Damo, I bet. I got you saved in. What's good, man? Oh, man. I'm a diehard Commander fan, bro. You know, I I, I, I check out Louis T. I check out all y'all. Rio, Ed, uh, Pedro. 
Um, yes, sir. You're you one of my favorite ones doing it, bro. Appreciate I can't even it. lie, bro. You're one of my favorite ones doing it. Um, I just feel like, you know, I feel like our expectations are a little bit too high because, you know, even though we got Eric the Enemy, we don't have Patrick Mahomes, bro. That's who it is. It's, it's really Eric the Enemy is good and all that, but he, it's Patrick Mahomes that make that offense really go. So mm -hmm. I think we just need to camp our expectations down a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I just want to call to say, man, the, 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 we, the, we the fans, bro, the Commander fans, we love you, bro. Keep doing your thing, bro. Man, appreciate it, man. We got a guy all the way from L.A. And then just hearing the accent, um, I, I mean, I, I feel like I've talked about it on several streams, but I listen to West Coast music more than anything else. So it's like really funny to hear the accent in my call chat because I'm listening to J-Bo. I'm listening to Young Threat. I'm listening like the, um, what's Buddy y'all the, uh, ah, I can't remember his name from the IE, uh, Doggy Style and all of them. Like, I just, that's just the wave I've been on for the past <laughs> couple of said. years, man. So hearing okay, that accent okay. in my call-in show is pretty cool. But, man, appreciate you calling in, yeah, man. man. Yeah, Rico, man, let's enjoy this draft. Let's get Darnell right. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. That's what I'm hoping for, too, right, man. Bro, bro. Thank you. I got you saved in, yeah. too. So if you have a call back, I got you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Lock me in, bro. I'm on the real. I'm going to call in. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. All right, bro. All right, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey. All right, let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and take off the call and show. Appreciate everybody that called in. I'm sorry for anybody that didn't get a chance, but we're already getting close to 8 p.m. And like I said, I need to go ahead and... Goodbye. Uh, get this situation going with shay we got to figure out how to get shay in here when he gets here i guess maybe i need to like set up my skype account again i think that's how we did it last year i kind of forgot um so hang with me on that we're gonna figure it out um oh yeah and rich i got a lot of mac j songs matter of fact 100 100 i think that's a good one he just came out with that what like a few days ago no 100 it's like 100 xs um, it got Briss on the front of it too. It got Briss on the cover. Y'all know Briss was. I feel like Briss was like the California LA Capone. So that's uh man. That that was my favorite. Briss was my boy. But I mean, I listen to all of them. I li West Coast wise. Oh, Spank Nitty, Spank Nitty James. That's who I met. Spank Nitty's one of my favorites. Junk Thread, um, Treyway, all of them. Like I listen, bro. I'm super West Coast, Northern. If it's Stockton, even San Diego with uh. Ah, I can't remember his name. Kills, whatever, something. He got the song Purge, whatever. Um, but like Stockton, Vallejo, Sacramento. I listen to all of it, man. He says so just type in uh go to YouTube. It just came out. One one zero zero XS Mac J man. Um, that's my boy, but um CML Lavish, all of I listen to all of that. Rico, if I got a dumb every time you said potential, I would have enough money to buy the team. Hey man, we got to though. We got to. I'll be in your area next month. Yes, sir. You're going to be in Atlanta? Yes, sir. For what? What's going on? What's happening, everybody? Welcome to the stream. Again, like it if you haven't already, man. I'm so excited, man. It's draft time. Rico, send me your playlist. See, that's the problem. I've I've been old school the whole... I, I'll have to write it down or just send you, like, screenshots. I've always... Ever since iTunes and Napster came out, I've been downloading my music the entire time. Oh, yeah, I like Jap 5 as well, man. I love... But, I mean, he's gone right now, so we're not going to get any new Jap 5 for a long time. But you got Young Threat and, and Treyway carrying the torch and uh, um, Poke and all of them. I mean, you know, it may not be the exact same, but, yeah, I, you know, they're still over there doing their thing. Um, who we taking? Oh, I think we're taking defensive tackle. Darnell Wright uh, is my favorite, but I love Broderick Jones from Georgia. Maybe it's just me being a homer, but I also believe in the potential. I love Broderick Jones. Trading back and getting Anton Harrison like I have us doing in this trade is an A-plus to me. I don't know what they're talking about with that C-minus. I disagree wholeheartedly. Um, I like Paris Johnson Jr. as well, but I think he's going to end up being the first tackle taken anyway, so there's no point in really even talking about him, just based on everything I've heard so far. But yeah, man, going back since iTunes and Napster and stuff and LimeWire, FrostWire, I've always downloaded my music. I've never made that transition to Apple Music, to Spotify, to Amazon. All of my music is physically downloaded on my comp computer onto my iPhone and everything. That's just how I've been forever. So I don't know how I would send you the playlist. I would have to just take screenshots or whatever. But my Cali playlist is kind of mixed in with Detroit, even though it's like 70% Cali, 30% Detroit. Um, you know, I guess I could send y'all that. Uh, but y'all listen to all of them over there. That's that's my main music. Of course, I still love my Atlanta because that's my hometown and stuff, Thug and all of them. But if I'm in the car, nine times out of 10, it's some West Coast 
being played out my windows. Um, if you want to watch the draft, um, you can get free two day trial on YouTube Live. Oh, okay, y'all gonna have to. I'm pretty. I feel like some people probably do that every year. Y'all gotta make a new email, huh? I, I feel like they probably um, hampering down on that. You probably gotta get a VPN as well. Yeah, y'all know they don't play about them two day trials anymore. I used to go crazy off the Grubhub free day trials. Get ten dollars off every time you make a new account. Oh, I remember them days. Let me see. Uh, don't forget. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just hit me up. Hit me up. I'll, um, Do you listen to DMV music? Not heavy. Not like super duper. Not like that. Eventually, I'll find some time to start diving into some more people's music. But, of course, with me being from Atlanta, that's my focus. And then I'm just... I've been on West Coast for, like, a couple of years now. Like, I've been... It's been heavy. And I don't see it stopping anytime soon. I take the time to listen to other people's music occasionally. But I'm super West Coast right now. Xbox Live seven day free trial was my life, boy. Remember when they used to come with the game? You buy the game and the free trial would be in there with it, boy. Lifesaver. If you need it, Rico, you know I got you. Matter of fact, Rich, if you, I can send you a bunch of Cali. You send me a bunch of DMV. I'll definitely take the time. I grew up on Cali music. I'm from DC, but they fire. Yeah, I mean, I've always been. I've always wished I could like live in New York because everybody being outside. But I've always been DJ quick and corrupt and stuff like that i've been west coast the entire time then i kind of left i you know i was dipset for a while and and i'm not just talking the normal dipset i'm talking max b i'm talking jr Ryder, hell rail i'm talking like all dipset any dipset that existed i was dipset um for a while i went from west coast to dipset then i started being more atlanta then chicago came out that 2011 to 2015 chicago wave was insane that might arguably be my favorite and then after that, when it was kind of like no man's land, I just kind of went back to West Coast. And then West Coast had like a resurgence. They re they retooled everything, and I've just been super on it. I ain't heard a Shabazz song in years. New Wave of DC. You need that go-go. You know my mom got the go-go ready. Don't let <laughs> she see your comment right now. She might come blasting it in the room right now. Um, Left hand up. Yes, sir. Command. I, can I completely forgot about that whole thing. I hope that keeps going into the season. Congrats to Lamar Jackson. Oh, yeah, I haven't even talked about that today. Man, shouts out to him for standing firm. His mom is agent, highest paid uh, NFL player in NFL history. His mom got, what, $7.8 million or something like that off the top alone. They kept their 3% instead of giving it to an agent and stays in the family. Shouts out to Lamar Jackson for standing firm. Uh, man, really shouts out to ch ch uh, 10 Day. In 2012, it acid rap in 2013. Yeah, Chance the Rapper when he first came out was crazy. I do love those. Rico, is there a player you trade up for? I mean, if, 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 I, if, if, if Christian Gonzalez, Devon Witherspoon slide into that early teens, I'm, I may think about it. I may think about it. I really do want them guys. I really do. Big L is my guy, man. I still give Big L for most of the credit for setting the foundation for how everybody raps now. Uh, I know there were other people in between, but to me, we went from the hip hop to the hip hip hop, and you don't stop to. And then I think Big L is the one that I give him credit for changing everything after that. So Big L's always been my guy, man. Um, I mean, we're not even talking about football anymore, but I love it. Y'all know y'all come on this channel. We talk everything. We could even talk anime. I'm officially caught up on One Piece manga and everything so we i can talk about anything one piece manga anime whatever i'm on it um rico where's the best spot for commanders fans to go see games together in atlanta i'm down here now too actually i do not know i actually have a better answer for you potentially in new york than i have in atlanta um but i do need to figure out like i do need to find one for sure because that would be fun especially to meet up with everybody like one one random game even if it's not a game in Atlanta, just we all meet up um, and like everybody that's in Atlanta that happens to be in Atlanta at the time, we can meet up and watch the game together somewhere or something like that. So uh, I would let it. It's Norcross but, or a bus for me in June. Um, oh, you're moving to Norcross. Oh, OK. OK, OK, OK. I'm about to send it on IG. Appreciate that. Jay-Z stole the style from Big L. I'm big, big L fan. That. That uh I I don't even know where to start with that. I go for hours about that. Um 
One Piece isn't that good simply because it's too hard to get into. I can't get mad at that, but every time people are like, that's too many episodes, I'm not even going to try. Every time they eventually try, they love it and end up catching all the way up and, you know, selling their soul to One Piece for like three, four months to catch up. It's, it's my favorite anime of all time, but, you know, that's just me. Um, It's bad out here, though, Rico. All the rappers getting locked up, really. I mean, you know Atlanta's getting killed with the Rico, so, you know, it's, it's bad over here, too. Um, but I didn't know it's that bad out there too. So they just not playing. It's just the hip hop police. Chameleon had told us a long time ago they not playing. Um, I'm part of an Atlanta commanders page. Let me check. Thank you, mommy. They just never move me and I always get hate for it. Um, I had to kind of go back. I'm not gonna lie. Like Jay Z when he was out, out, I wasn't I was so dipset, I was so I mean, if anything, Styles P and them and all of that. Like if anything, I had to go back to appreciate Jay Z more like later as I got older. Hey, is that <laughs> wait why is that how he's described be a shade he's eventually pulling up at some point uh why are you gonna do my boy like that though help the advance not big l look cool g rap take his style from l so yeah we having all kinds of debates now man dallas georgia yes sir man what's good what's good man hey dallas georgia always producing some great high school players that i hope my georgia bulldogs pick up so early 2000s memphis music so um that was the that literally set the foundation for how Memphis sounds now. My boy OBX skins with a Cowboys logo becoming a Pro Bowl sponsor. That's how worldwide we are, man. Appreciate the support. Even as a Commanders fan, I mean, from me being a Commanders fan, you as a Cowboys fan, I love it, man. Appreciate the support, big time. He said sorry. <laughs> nah, you good, man? That's just funny. I mean, you know, I'm the, I'm the Jonah type, so I love it. But it was just like, dang, where you gonna do my dog like that? Why we gotta describe him like that? Um, Jada Kiss, man, I'm still mad. I'm still highly upset at what Dipset did in that versus against Jada Kiss and all of them, the locks and everything. I'm still upset about that. I'm traumatized. I thought Dipset was going to win going in. It wasn't even close. They ain't even performed their best songs. Jada Kiss had the better stage presence. And I'm so happy for Jada Kiss for all his sales to go up because they've always been second to me. G Unit and 50 Cent and all of them were like third. I've, I was Dipset first by far. Like it was nobody close and then um it was like styles p in the locks and all of them and j hood wasn't j hood with them for like a little bit and then um and then i guess g unit third maybe i like terror squad a little bit but not as much as the other ones uh three six mafia yeah the early that early memphis literally is what money bag and all of them state those style of beats were where uh, that whole style was made by then. Rigo, you seen the new E-40 song? No. I love West Coast, but no. I'm not. I'm good. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm, <laughs> I'm good. I'll check it out, but I'm not going in with confidence. Mev tops my list. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Method Man. Yikes the Guru. Rock Kim. Big Daddy Kane. Help follow there. Some going into the 90s. Uh, do you mess with Jeezy? I mean, of course. Technically, not all the way from Atlanta, for real, for real. But I mess with Jeezy. You know, I thought like between like the Jeezy and Gucci Mane thing, I mean, of course, especially with me being younger, I'm more Gucci Mane, but I still love Jeezy. Jeezy got some classic albums and, um, but between the three, I like T.I. the most. I like T.I.'s music the most between the three, like between Jeezy, T.I. and Gucci from that era. I like T.I.'s music the most, but I like Jeezy's influence the most from putting everybody on. Uh, not a song, but I'm saying listen to it to laugh. Man, I just... I love West Coast so much. I really wish I just like E40 more, man. But golly, man. Uh, golly, man. I really try. I really try, man. E40, man. Like, I got you cool, John. I got you Mac Dre easily. I'll listen to Mac Dre all day. I, I'm still trying to get the E40. I, whew, I'm trying. I, I swear I am. Uh, Kendra, what's good, John? Eric, appreciate you pulling back up. They are at Taco Mac and Sandy Springs tonight. Oh, okay, that's what's up. So Commanders are at Taco Mac and Sandy Springs. Okay, we might have to put something together. He's an acquired taste. <laughs> that's the best way to say it, man. He said, move to Cali, Rico. I'll go with you. Now, nah, I'm, I'm New York bound. It's either Atlanta or New York for me. As someone from ATL, can you tell me if Gucci is really ATL? He was born in Bama, but he moved to Atlanta so young, I consider him Atlanta. It's weird. Because Ludacris, I feel like he moved maybe a little too, a little too old. But, I mean, it just, you know, it, it's, it gets weird because even Usher is mostly from Tennessee. But I feel like Gucci's Atlanta. I think he's I think he's long enough. Ice JJ Fish, let him know. It's something about you, girl. What's good, Eric? 
We here. Yes, sir. Draft starting up. 806. We getting there. Let me refresh my stream to make sure I'm caught up. I do not want to be severely behind. Let me go ahead and get Twitter ready. Let's get Twitter going. Rico out of 100%. What do you think the chances of the Commanders trade back in round one? I think it's like 70, 80%. It, as far as do they want to, I'm sure it's 100%. But will they, because it takes two to tango, I think that's like 70, 80%. I think it's very likely. I don't want to say 100% because it takes a team to want to move up. Um, Jay-Z is one of the most overrated. God, I mean, again, I'm not heavy into him, but one of the most overrated is, whoo, that's crazy, though. Outcast, Goody Mob, Young Bloods all day. Appreciate the love, man. Appreciate the Atlanta love. We got to, uh, I just answered that. Dipset lost the verses as soon as they decided to perform without J.R. Wright and Hera. I mean, that's my point. My favorite people out of Dipset, I mean, shouts out to Jim Jones, Cameron, and Jules, and all of them. But Hell Rail, JR Ryder, and Max B are my favorites. Max B for the the first of all, he was the fun. Max B was the funniest. Cameron is a close second, but Max B was easily the funniest out of all of them, especially during the era with him and French Montana was just joning on everybody from Jim Jones for performing at that play. It was just, it was just, that was a crazy era. The Hell Rail, he always had the best beats. Gerald Ryder, I feel like, was the best rapper out of the entire dip set, you could argue. So I hate the fact that they don't get as much love and they don't bring them anywhere. It's only the main three. That that does disappoint me. Um, I'm the same. Yo, I love Mac Dre, but E40, man, it's gonna take some time. Outcast, love Outcast, of course. Uh, even if I wasn't from Atlanta, I love Outcast, but you know, let's get it. Let's get it. We get into the draft, man. What we doing? What we doing? Oh, I don't even have my Bluetooth connected. Hold on. Hold on. I was wondering why I couldn't hear the draft. I was hearing y'all, but I couldn't hear the draft. Let's hope for the best out of the draft. Appreciate that, Andrew. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's get it, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Panthers on the clock. Jay-Z was never the best any year of his career. I saw somebody break that down. That was a vi uh, video that went viral, um, and that was crazy. That because I mean, hey, it was an argument to be made because he he just happened to be great at the wrong time. Little run 50 cent, Kanye were having their runs, it was bad. Poe baby, uh, with the had real beef with what do you mean? How you have real beef with Ice JJ Fish? Uh, any NFL XFL players on your radar? Not gonna lie, not exactly. Um, but if we end up taking one, I'm gonna do everything I can to research them up and down to watch this tape. But just going into the draft, not yet. I'm this whole like I said, y'all know I'm heavy into recruiting. I've been watching all kinds of Dylan Rayola tape, even like 2026 guys like um like uh Julian Lewis, argue potentially gonna be the best quarterback in Georgia high school sports history. Even like he has more hype than Trevor Lawrence, Justin Fields, Deshaun Watson, all of those guys. But my Georgia Bulldogs wise, I've been watching KJ Bolden and I've been heavy into recruiting. I went from there to college tape for my commanders so i've been watching i've been trying to find out as many prospects for my commanders as possible i just haven't had time for the xfl yet i've been heavy recruiting um and then i went straight into col um college prospects for the nfl i'm gonna get there eventually he said why are these crazy fools screaming on <laughs> y'all don't know what's going on right now y'all gonna have to tell me what we got going on right now um M Jay Z is true. I mean, at the very least, on Renegade M over Jay Z. Now, all time, you know, there's an argument to be made. But if we're talking about Renegade, I definitely prefer Eminem's verse. I'm not gonna lie. Even though Jay even stole from Ice T from Law and Order. You talking about from New Jack City? Don't forget state property. Oh yeah, Philly. Shout out to Philly had a run. I was on Gilly the Kid even before he was on social media. I used to love Gilly the Kid and um, what was his name? Petey Crack or whatever. Petey something. That used to be a really fun run, too, back then. Um, how do I get... Let me see. I think I turned my headset off, actually. He said, I'll be home soon so you can send the invite. Oh, okay, that boy Shay, he said he's pulling up. Let me figure out how to get him in here. Rico, we need a draft quarter backup developmental quarterback. Who do you have your eye on? Dorian Thompson Robinson out of UCLA. Hopefully, I mean, you see him right here. Hopefully, he makes it to the fifth round. We'll see. Um... Can they just start the draft? They're always going to milk it. I mean, they're going to talk their trash. They're going to milk it every time. All right, so I do have Skype on this computer, don't I? All right, let's figure that out. Um, I'm sure I have Shay as a contact. Let's figure that out as well. Uh, let's see. Let me connect my Bluetooth. Uh, let me get, let me figure out how I'm going to get Shay on here. What is my profile on here? Can, can we go ahead and start the draft, man? Can, 
Can we go ahead and get this going? What's happening, everybody? Welcome to the stream. If you haven't already, please leave a like. Debatable. I'm giving it to 2001 Jay-Z personally. But M-Fan's a solid collective. <laughs> like I said, like we can argue career-wise, but I'm just saying Renegade, that song alone, I got M. Um, yeah, Branch is legit. Draft is open. Let's get it. Let's get it, man. I'm hoping for some fallers. Hoping for some fallers. Bet I'm setting it up. We're going to get my boy Shay in the building, man. We're going to get Shay in here, man. Let me figure out how to... I just... I haven't been on Skype since last year. Since, the, like, the last time we was doing the draft. I got to figure out how we're going to get Shay in here. Do I not have him as... Do I not have him as a friend on here? Did I not already do this last year? We're going to figure this out, man. We're going to get my boy Shay in here, man. I swear. All right, Shay right there. All right, uh, let me let him know. I'm going to call him through Skype. Let me see. Let me see if he has Skype. We're going to try to get him in on Skype. I can wave. Ugh, now I'm I don't know why I did that. I feel uncomfortable doing that. But I'm just trying to let him know that I see him on Skype. Let me see if he responds. We're going to get Shay on here. I'm assuming Bryce Young is the first pick, but we'll see. I'm nervous right with y'all, man. Y'all think just because I'm on, I'm the one that y'all are watching on YouTube that I'm not just as nervous as y'all. I am. Okay, yeah, Bryce Young, number one overall. We knew that. We knew that. We knew that for a while now. Go get your money, man. I, I respect Bryce Young. Even as a Georgia Bulldog fan, that's a different type of guy right there. I'm happy that he's getting his money, man. Do your thing. Do your thing, Bryce Young. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm nervous right with y'all, though. I'm right with y'all. Oh, man. I, I'm hoping I'm hoping by the time we pick Christian Gonzalez, Devon Witherspoon, Darnell Wright, Broderick Jones, all of those guys are available right there. Just all together. I'm just, I'm hoping. Please. Please, I'm hoping, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm really, really hoping, man. Please, 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 please. I understand that we know who it is, but early. <laughs> Some people were saying in the chat they want to know as soon as possible. So I guess we'll see. We'll play it by ear. I know for the commanders, I won't. I definitely won't spoil it. I'll wait till everybody else sees the commanders. We'll see about the other ones. We'll see. Because I see some people do want me to just go ahead and say it. But we'll see how it goes, man. I'm really excited about the draft, though, man. It's got to be Bryce Young. I don't have confirmation that it's Bryce Young. I'm just celebrating that it's Bryce Young because I'm just assuming. He said, tell him download Twitter, keep it pushing. <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm saying I'm confident that it's Bryce Young. I have no, no confirmation that it's Bryce Young yet at all. But I'm just like, I'm almost really sure that it is going to be Bryce Young. I just really, really think. But y'all already see one of my mock drafts that I have going right now. Let me go ahead and finish this one up while we're here. Let me see. Who can we get right here? No, I don't want any of these guys. This one can go ahead and just finish. I really love our first few picks. How do I look at the picks I already made? Because at this point, I don't even care no more. We ain't got no helm on her. Why else would he cancel the interviews? They milking it now. Yeah, they are super milking it. I don't know what's going on me personally, but they are milking the mess out of this right now. I hope the commanders take Stetson Bennett late in the draft. That would be fun. I would just love that for us to get as many Georgia Bulldogs as possible. How we do it, what position, what player, who knows. But that would be really fun for me, man. Stet CZ Bennett. I hope Commander Six has been at. Why else did they cancel interviews? Why the Panthers taking so long? I think the NFL is asking them to milk it because they know already. They already know, man. First draft, I genuinely have no preference with the first pick. It's definitely the most open I've been. Usually I have two or three players and then anybody else I'm mad. But this one I have like five players I really want. Maybe like another five to seven that I'm, you know, I'd be happy about, but they're not my favorites. It's a lot going on in this draft. I'm excited. Hiring the Philly defensive coordinators cards. Eagles traded 94 in this draft for 2024 fifth round pick to the cards for 66. Oh, wow. Okay, my boy Ravi with the suit already pulling up with the with the breaking news and stuff already on it man appreciate that g's fixing this suit he knows yeah that boy bryce young he was getting himself like yeah let me go ahead and let me go ahead and look right for the camera i mean a couple of years ago it should be there i right, bet let me go ahead and see if i can get my boy shay in the building see if i can get my boy shay in the building
Say Shay isn't online. I don't know what that was. Let me make sure my settings are straight. Ah, uh, no, that's me sending a voice message. No, not that. How you do your settings in Skype, man? I'm lost. Make sure it's Skype settings. Let's make sure the mic is right. Audio, not video, audio. Yeah, that, that microphone, and then it should be these speakers. Okay, so it should come through clean. Uh, let me go back to the other thing and see how I got my settings on here. So audio, and then it goes through the still series. Okay, so I got to make sure these are going through the still series. Speakers, still series. Okay, I think we should be good, to. Okay, that's loud. Okay, so that works. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're set to go on my end. We got the settings right now. We just got to get Shay in the building. See if I call him if it worked. All right, man. I'm excited, man. We about to get this draft stuff going, bruh. So excited, man. I, man, y'all don't understand. I'll be waiting year round for this. I'll be waiting year round for this, man. Yeah, they are lit. They are definitely milking this, man. They are definitely milking this for sure. Like the mess out of it right now. What's happening, everybody? The pick is in. The pick is in. Let's get it. Okay, okay. I don't know if I'm a little behind or not, but it sounds like people are saying the pick is in. Let's see how this goes. What's going on, Twitter? Talk to me, Twitter. Talk to me, Twitter. I'm a bit behind saying, yo, yeah, what it do? What's happening? Johnny Boat pick is in. Let's get it. Come on now. What we doing? What we doing? Now nah, you good, man. Better late than never, man. What's happening, everybody? Make sure y'all like up the stream if you haven't already, man. I really appreciate it. Looks 100 years old. Yeah, man. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on. Now nah, just copy and pasting. Okay, ESPN is behind. Will Levis season. Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Will Levis season. What are we talking about? Wait, what are we doing? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out, man. Chill out. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Will Levis season is crazy. Who are we talking about for what team? Hopefully not ours, man. Hopefully not ours. Will Levis season is crazy, man. Don't scare me like that. Everybody getting fired, man. Left and right, boy. Even Eric Bienemy, who just got here, got to go. Let's get it, man. Milking it because there might be a trade. CJ Stroud. Nah, not number one. A little too far. All right, I'm trying to get Shay in here, man. We're going to get Shay in here, man. I'm excited. Wait, uh. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Okay, Rico, I just sent you a whole bunch of songs. All of them are from the past year, so it's all recent. I bet. I might have to send you some screenshots of like, because again, I have a really big playlist of stuff. So I have like a huge playlist of Cali. Like I said, that's why I mostly listen to it. We're going to talk though. We're going to get to it after the uh, live stream and stuff. We're going to get to it. All right, what's going on? It's young, right? I'm assuming. There it goes. Yeah, everybody's saying it. Yep, there it go. There it go. There it go, Bryce Young. I'm not surprised at all. We know. We knew. We knew. It's all cool, man. It's all cool, man. Let's get it, though. Let's get it. Let's get it. Number one overall pick, Bryce Young. And we kind of assumed this will happen, but it is what it is, man. Now we got we got to start getting to the nitty gritty for the stuff that we didn't expect. That's what we here for, man. Next pick, hey, man. The Texans will be smart to go ahead and take C.J. Stroud. I'm not going to lie. I'm hearing a lot of stuff, though, that they're not taking C.J. Stroud. And they may even trade back. But I would take C.J. Stroud if I'm the Texans. Go ahead, man. You never know if you're going to be bad enough to even get Caleb Williams or Drake May next year. So just go ahead and get them now. Oh, man, they didn't even put the camera down for Bryce Young to pose correctly. They had that man looking like Isaiah Thomas over there with the camera angle, with the background and everything. They did him wrong, bro. They did him wrong. The extra flap on his suit is awful. I don't know what that is. The suit too big. The camera too high. Bryce Young was not prepared. 
Bryce Young was not prepared. They're going to leave the camera set in stone for the people that's six foot eight. Bryce Young out there, camera too high up. Show all the picks ASAP. All right, I'm hearing that from a lot of people, man. Hot take, Kayla Williams' draft stock hinges on Bryce Young playing well and staying healthy this year after Kyler finally got hurt. Okay, interesting. Interesting. I did make, miss a pick. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's get it, man. I'm so excited. This is where we start to have fun. Bryce Young, we already knew that was more than likely going to happen, but now we get to the fun part. I don't like the outdoor setting not working for me. I can kind of see that. I can see that. Is it warm enough in Kansas City right now? What's the temperature? I thought it was colder over there. I wish YouTube had like a survey feature so I could literally ask and see like an, a definitive vote. Would y'all prefer for me to share the picks early or not? Maybe we can do it by pick. Like if y'all ask to know the specific pick, maybe I'll do it. But other than that, maybe I'll just, um, I'll chill. You know what I'm saying? We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. But for now, I'll probably just chill. They have polls. You can do it like live for the live stream. It looks like most people are saying early though. But maybe like if y'all ask specifically, like, all right, man, I gotta know right now. Who did this team already get? Then I can tell you. But that really starts, that starts like later. Like first round, especially the first half, we don't, uh, that doesn't really start yet. We start getting like two or three picks ahead. Oh, I already know the Titans, the Texans pick though. I don't know if y'all know who the Texans took, but I already know. I got the Texans right now. We got the Texans right now. We on it. We are on it um but yeah we'll just probably play it case by case um let me see what we got what we got yeah so yeah the texans did what they should have did they got who they should have gotten they were smart about it so good job texans good job man y'all should have yeah y'all don't play don't trade out of that pick go ahead and take the guy lincoln riley is listed anywhere between 5 7 and 5 10 now google image search caleb williams and lincoln riley and tell me what you see Okay, about the same height. So Caleb Williams is not six foot two, is what you're saying. <laughs> Who do you follow to find out? I don't know. I just I'm heavy on Twitter and draft Twitter and anything, and I just get notifications early from whoever, bro. It's anybody. It is literally anybody. It's so random. It's so many people that just just from following the same people throughout the season for everything. It's the same people doing the draft stuff. So you got JPA football. You got the Brad Spielberg. It's just all over the place. Walter football. It's interesting. Rico, do you think Commander's making a trade back to 20? Was he out of the swap twos and trade Young for their second? Isn't obtained? Nah, we, we're not getting Chase Young off for anything more than a fourth, honestly. Just look up the team on Twitter and you'll see. Um, yeah, you could do that too. You honestly could. Yeah, you could just go to like the little uh, search section or whatever if you want to, but we'll see. Um, but Chase Young's not giving us that much trade value back. Now, I can definitely see us trading back to Seattle. I can definitely see that. We'll see. If we swap twos, hopefully, I would love if they threw in a third or fourth round pick in there as well. But um, we'll see. Uh, who can we use as trade bait? Honestly, I don't know, man. I don't know, honestly. Shams has it quick. Yeah, make sure you follow all those guys. Now, you can call it whenever you find out. Yeah, I'm seeing a bunch of people saying just go ahead. But when we get to the commanders, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for everybody to kind of... Once one person says it in the chat, I'll start reacting with the commanders. Everything else, we'll play it by ear. Maybe some I'll say early, some I won't. Um, But yeah, man, let's get it, man. We got CJ Stroud, which is a smart pick. They should have done that. They had to. That made too much sense, man. You had to take CJ Stroud. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. I'm not sure if Shay is getting my calls. Let me see. I'm going to text him. See if we can get Shay in the building real quick. Y'all you know I mean, what would y'all prefer to look at? Would y'all prefer instead of just this random mock draft? I got the depth chart. I got the 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 commanders uh, Cowboys game. I'm assuming y'all would prefer to see the Cowboys game because this list right here is is in the link in the description of this live stream so you can access this on the side if you want to so i'm assuming the thing that y'all have the least access to y'all would probably prefer to see and that's the commanders cowboys week 18 game so i'm gonna leave that up there um while we talking about the draft and everything i'm so excited man let's get it man let's really get it man it's about to get real interesting man it's about to get real interesting man i'm so excited come on commanders don't fold don't fold two, two quarterbacks back to back. I will take it. Go ahead and let all the tackles and all the corners slide. 
all the tackles and all the corner slide. I'm going to need them to take quarterbacks. I'm going to need them to take edge rushers. Let's go ahead and get Bajan Robinson and, 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 and Jameer Gibbs out the way. Go ahead and reach on receivers. Take Jackson Smith and Jigba in the top 10 while you're at it. Go ahead and take everybody. Take er take everybody but tackle and corner. Let them slide so when we get there at 16, we have our pick at everybody. Witherspoon is dream case scenario, but I doubt he makes it to 16. But maybe if everybody's taking edge rushers, quarterbacks, and receivers, and running backs, maybe. But I just still doubt it, man. I still doubt it. All right, man. That, all right, so that made a lot of sense. I love Christian Gonzalez as well, man. That's dream case scenario, but I don't see them. I don't see either of them making it to 16. Again, right now, my favorite pick potentially is Darnell Wright. Uh, but I would love to get Broderick Jones, Anton Harrison. Um, the several corners. I mean, I can list corners for a while, man. I'm so excited. I want Bajan, Levis, Richardson, and JSN to be there at 16 so we can trade back. Great point. That was a point that uh, Louis T and I were talking about a couple of weeks ago that, like, if them, if all of those great players, the quarterbacks, Bajan Robinson are all there at 16, you know what we can demand from a team in a trade back? Oh, my Lord, man. But I was thinking just quarterbacks alone. But if you think about it, uh, B. John Robinson available as well, man. It can get interesting. It can get interesting. All right, so... One to the next pick. I can easily see it being Will Anderson. Let's see how this goes. I prefer if it's Jalen Carter because I want a Georgia Bulldog to go ahead and go off the board. We had a number one overall pick last year. Can we at least get a top three pick this year? Um, <laughs> I love how CJ Stroud's uh, notes are beautiful motion, touch on deep ball, and all world versus Georgia. That's all you got to do. If you perform big against Georgia when all of the lights are bright in the playoffs, that's enough said. And I agree. As a Georgia Bulldog fan, CJ Stroud earned more than enough respect from me after that game. I already, I already thought CJ Stroud was underrated after that game. I'm like, yeah, he got to go top three easily after that. Um, um, if Carter fell to us a 16 trade value through the roof. Oh, yeah, insane. Insane. He said you can't be spoiling picks. No, no, no. Will Anderson, I'm saying, should go third. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, Jalen might fall because of his legal issues. I ain't going to lie. I would love a Georgia Bulldog and the Commanders. But honestly, though, if 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 Jalen Carter makes it to 16 for some crazy reason, that, yeah, that trade back value would be insane, man. Please. Please. Oh, CJ Stroud is so happy, man. Hey, now, nah, literally... The game he had against my Georgia Bulldogs is why he's getting drafted second overall. I'm not going to lie. If Ohio State doesn't make the playoffs or if he doesn't have that game that he had against Georgia, my Georgia Bulldogs, he's not going second overall. I truly believe that, man. I really do. That get, That's the game that did it, man. That's literally the game that did it. That's the game he earned everybody with respect. You can't deny him after that Georgia game. I am dual wielding you and PFF. Sounds like you and Sam Monson are arguing. <laughs> Jalen Carter getting the tonsil treatment hey man wherever Jalen Carter goes he's gonna ball out so whoever ends up getting them is gonna be a really happy team I just hope he doesn't go to the NFC East man I really do um to create a poll during a lot you can create a poll icon in the top left window oh okay thank you my okay we might have to do that Oh, my Lord, my boy Courtney in the building. Make sure, first of all, before I even thank him for the donation, make sure you go subscribe to my boy AOVZ Reacts. He got a million view video. So we got Chicka Bitties and Juicy Crab on my boy AOVZ Reacts. Make sure everybody go subscribe to my boy. That's my dog in real life. That's my boy in real life. Like my not YouTube friend. That's my boy. And he's out here doing big things as well. Make sure I go subscribe to my boy, man. I'm about to uh potentially like join the party chat voice wise. I'm not gonna talk to y'all, but I might join on the other headset just so I can hear y'all. But man, appreciate the big time donation, setting it off. I don't think anybody's gonna top that. So I'm gonna go ahead and crown you king of the stream for tonight, man. My boy Ayo VZ. I mean, he's out here getting million view videos. So I mean he good for it. You know what I'm saying? That $50 was light. That was just a little piece of the $1 million uh, video that he uh, put up there. So, man, appreciate that. My boy Courtney in the building. Make sure y'all subscribe to my boy. I'm not playing about that. I'm going to keep saying it. Make sure y'all subscribe to my boy AOVZ Reacts. Um, <laughs> make sure y'all like up the stream too, man. Appreciate that, Johnny Boat. Yes, sir. Yeah, my boy Courtney going crazy with the real estate. I know y'all got Ed Oliver going crazy with the real estate in uh, 
in the DMV area. If you need some real estate in Atlanta, shout out, check out my boy Ayo VZ Reacts for that as well. I know a lot of y'all want to move to Atlanta and everything. That's just the thing that people love to do. I mean, I love Atlanta, but I still don't exactly see it like y'all do. But if y'all trying to move to Atlanta, hit up my boy Ayo VZ Reacts, man. Killing it. Texans are trading up. Whoa, to three? The Texans are trading. Are the the Texans are tra uh, picking two and three? Wait a minute. 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 The Texans are picking two and three, or they're going Will Anderson. They gotta be, because I thought if they didn't take C.J. Stroud, it was gonna be Will Anderson. So I'm. It's gotta be Will Anderson, right? Wow. There a team is picking two and three in a draft. Has that ever happened? Has a team ever picked back to back in the top three ever in NFL history? That's crazy. I hope it's Carter. As a Georgia Bulldog fan, I hope it's Jalen Carter for recruiting reasons, recruiting pitch and all of that stuff. Winning back-to-back -back championships is cool. But where, like when parents are walking in and Kirby Smart is sitting there at the table, they're going in, but where will my son get drafted after playing for your team? So if, if it's Jalen Carter, I'm way happier. But I think it's Will Anderson. Nah, two and three is crazy. That's insane. Two and three? Samuels and Arrington. My boy Johnny Boat with the donation, man, as well, man. Appreciate that big time. Make sure y'all like up the stream if you haven't already. It's 243 of us in here, and we do not have 243 likes. So make sure y'all like up the stream, man. I really appreciate that big time, man. And again, make sure y'all go subscribe to my boy AEO VZ Reacts. He got million dollar videos, man. Bro, that's wild. I, I was instantly wrong. <laughs> hey, man, you can't. No, 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 no. Let's go ahead and get this out the way now. There are no experts with this draft this year. Other drafts, I can see it. This draft, nobody's going to be 100% right. Everybody's bracket is ruined. We already messed up. Nobody guessed Texans picks two and three. Nobody. We're already done. Just go ahead and give up. Like, nobody's an expert on this draft. Nobody's going to be 100% right. We're just here for the ride at this point. So I'm so excited. So Chris, so uh, Arrington, so wow, that's crazy. So that has happened. LeVar Arrington and Chris Samuels. Franchise left tackle, franchise linebacker. That's crazy. I forgot about that. Much love, dog. Watch all your videos. Appreciate that, Code for Media, man. Appreciate you pulling back up, man. As always, man. Appreciate that. The pick has to be Will Anderson, right? It's got to be, right? Or am I tripping? I hope it's Jalen Carter as a Georgia Bulldog fan, but I think it's Will Anderson. I'm still trying to get my boy Shay in here. Oh, okay. He said he did get the calls. All right, bet. Let me, let's get Shay in the building, man. Things are getting crazy. Let's, things are getting crazy. We're going to try to see if we can get Shay in here, man. See what's going on with my boy real quick. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. They took Will. So they... They got CJ Stroud and Will Anderson. That is crazy. That is a crazy draft, bruh. What did they give up? What did, what did the What did they give up? Does anybody know what they gave up? Does anybody know what the Texans gave up to move back up to three? Because that's crazy. Oh, 1233 and a 2024 first. Oh, thank y'all. Thank y'all. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you, uh, Cameron. Thank you, Captain. Thank y'all. Thank you, King Sean. That is crazy, bro. Thank you, Captain. Thank you for saying that earlier. I didn't even see it. My fault for not seeing it earlier. Where can I stream the draft online? I'm not exactly sure, but yeah. Um, two and three, man. Two and three. Two and three. That's insane, man. That's crazy. Nobody predicted that. Yeah, now, honestly, to move up to number three, to get Will Anderson and you got CJ Stroud with the head coach that they brought in too. Hey man, don't sleep on the Texans. They're not going to be pushovers like they were last year. The Texans are going to be the truth, man. I am scared. I, hey man, hey man, Colts fans, Jaguars fans, Tennessee Titans fans, you might want to watch out. That is crazy. To get CJ Stroud and Will Anderson in the same draft is pretty insane. I'm not going to lie. The Panthers and Texans don't want me to win money. That's what I'm saying, Rico. Hey, man, I'm telling you, that's crazy. CJ Stroud and Will Anderson in the same draft. That alone, ignore the trade up, whatever. If you walk away with CJ Stroud and Will Anderson in the same draft, you're killing it. 
Now, I am worried about, I know a lot of people have started to be higher on Tyree Wilson and Lucas Van Ness than Will Anderson with certain concerns, especially Will Anderson's size and things like that. But I think he's going to ball out. Even as a Georgia Bulldog fan, I personally respect Will Anderson and think he's going to ball out. A lot of people are lo starting to get low on him these, um, these past couple of weeks leading up to the draft. People have been lower and lower on Will Anderson, but I still think he's crazy. Pick 11, 33, next year's first and third. Sorry, I'm not with it. I mean, I think they're thinking they're not going to be bad enough to pick that high again. And Will Anderson is potentially a generational player. So I see the argument for doing it. Okay, we got Shay in the building. Hold on. Let me make sure. Let me make sure everybody can hear you. What's good, Shay? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's, what's up, good? Rico? Can, what's you up, can't everyone? see me, can you? Uh, no, nah, I, I can't see you at all. I can't see you at all. Yeah. So let me... I guess you might have to see me on the... Uh... On the stream, I guess, cause yeah, I, uh, cause it's the same camera that I'm using for them to see me on the stream. So I guess, but we can hear you, we can see you, everybody can see you in the chat and everything. We All got right, Shay let me pull up building. to the live so I can actually see see what's going on. All right, bet, bet, bet. I got you in the corner. I got my boy Shay in the corner. Let me see if there's another way I can do this to where we don't have to have all of this in the way. But yeah, we got Shay in the corner, y'all. Shay's in the building. Y'all can hear him, right? I know I can hear him. Thanks for wearing the burgundy hoodie. Oh, watch the command oh, center said thanks oh, for wearing the my, burgundy hoodie. Not bad. Let me take this off, then. <laughs> nah, you good. Nah, you good. Oh, you good, Shay. Take this off. Nah, Shay, you was so good. Oh. You was so good. You were doing so fine. You were doing so well. Where my, where my patrons been? Nah, you good. Nah, you good. You good. Nah, nah, nah. This burgundy looks good. Oh, yeah. And by the way, did you know we're going to get Ch Chase Young? Um, Word on the street says we're going to get Chase Young. Y'all know y'all didn't give. Remember, y'all didn't give him that fifth year option. So. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We not giving y'all Chase Young. I'm letting you know that now. We ain't doing I mean, y'all not technically giving them to us. We're just going to sign up for the free agency. Y'all just going to let them go. Oh, gonna make that's what you're talking about. Okay. Y'all going to make a blunder. So uh, y'all didn't give them that fifth-year option. And I still don't understand why we didn't. I'm mad at the move, but it is what it is. That was your number one pick right there. I remember being on this very podcast of you hyping him up. <laughs> and look at Washington not giving him that fifth year option. <laughs> yeah, man. We uh Shay, how you feel about Nolan Smith at linebacker? So instead of like edge rusher moving him to middle linebacker, well, I'm gonna tell you as a Georgia Bulldog fan. I think it would be smart for him to move the middle linebacker. He has the athleticism to do it. He wasn't very productive at actually, you know, getting sacks and stuff like that. He's a little too small. Move him the middle linebacker. I feel like Georgia probably would have moved him the middle linebacker sooner if we didn't already have great linebackers. If we didn't have Smile Munden and um, Dumas Johnson, all of them, we probably would have went in and do it. So, honestly, for me as a Georgia Bulldog fan to the Patriots, if you get Nolan Smith, move him the inside linebacker. He's gonna be fine, like really. Yeah, good. be like, be like a replacement Dante Hightower. I mean, ran a four three nine at the forty. Like, <laughs> come on, we need that. We need that. And the Patriots, we always got versatile, versatile players. Yeah. And by the way, I'm watching it on TV, and I know how TV is super slow, right? So, what what Twitter feed are we looking at to yeah. see the, the real time draft feed? Right That's now? what people are already asking in the chat, man. I'm just, I'm not on in a specific Twitter account. I just have my Twitter notifications on and I follow a lot of draft people and I'm just hoping I'm there. I'm hoping I see the notification before it happens. But yeah, the TV's a little behind. I'm hearing ESPN's even further behind the NFL Network. I'm on NFL Network and I'm a little bit behind, but not too bad. Yeah, because I just got done with the trade with Texans trading up for the third pick. They didn't even say the details of that third pick. So yeah, now, now, now they're just getting on to the Colts pick. So I know, mm -hmm. I know we're super slow. I'm seeing Shams in the chat. People are saying, just check out Shams. Yeah. Somebody said it earlier, too. I was like, too. wait, this ain't basketball. Like, why well, I'm seeing Shams. Bro, he's on Dude. it, bro. I don't know how he's doing it, but he's dominating two sports. I know Ian Crazy. Rappaport and Adam Schefter are highly upset. What did highly he do upset. to get these sources? My goodness. <laughs> I don't think I even want to know. No, no, the Colts did not. No, the Colts they did not. Oh, oh, man. 
Oh, I'm mad. Oh, I'm mad because I want Anthony Richardson to be so good, but I do not want him to be great for the Colts because Sneakers, my boy Sneakers, man. I don't want to hear Sneakers' mouth if Anthony Richardson works out. But at the same time, shouts out to Anthony Richardson for going fourth overall. Hey, again, that's good for us as Commanders fans. That means tackles and corners keep sliding. So far, we have three quarterbacks and an edge rusher. So far, so good. Going according to the plan. I think Anthony Richardson... Especially under Shane Steichen, what he did with Justin Herbert, what he especially did with Jalen Hurts, and now what he's going to do with Anthony Richardson, I think Anthony Richardson is going to ball out. And that's why I'm upset because I I don't want to see Anthony Richardson ball out for the Colts, man, because that boy sneakers, man. That boy, that's a... That's one of them guys is always talking trash about the commanders. If you knew him too, you would hate him just as much as I do. And you would root against the coach as much as I do as well. So I hate to see it, but I love Anthony Richardson with Shane Steichen, man. I love it. Georgia boy next to Seattle. I hope so. My, get my boy, my boy Jalen Carter out there, man. How you feel about Jalen Carter and all of this off the field issues and him sliding? Uh, I you... feel like, I feel like a lot of it has to stem from, um, um from that UGA player dying, his teammate dying, and yeah, he's just been boy. going through some things. Yeah, yeah he's just been going through some things, and that kind of affected his draft stock, but at the end of the day, Jalen Carter is still that same Jalen Carter that would have went number one last year if he Literally. if he decided to go, if he was eligible. So, yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I think all this is overblown, and whoever gets Jalen Carter is going to get one going to get the top a top five best player of the draft top five easily. top five players of this draft easily i mean Matter he gained fact, some weight but he could lose that weight like the the weight gain is not that big yeah of a that deal. was weird i forgot about that at the pro day that man came in like all kinds all kinds of heavy so it was already the character concerns with that situation and then he came in overweight so that was a little weird but we and then the character the concerns might have been overblown because was it ian rapaport i forgot who said the character concerns or it was a uh, espn guy uh was it it's um, todd, i think it's todd mcshay todd, todd mcshay's McShay. been on his head like every week it's something new with todd mcshay you know, Georgia Bulldogs' yeah, yeah, Twitter been on his say. head. Like, they've been, bro. I don't think you've seen Georgia Bulldogs. They hate Todd McShay this year because so of that. Even the, even the Bulldogs players were, were, were saying good testimonials about Jalen Carter after that. Because it's just like, where did he get these uh, bad character concerns from? Yeah. Phantom. Phantom stuff. It's got to be somebody every draft. It's always a random health issue, like how we got lucky to get Montez Sweat because of his heart issue. Jonathan Allen with arthritis. We've never seen any of those things even affect those guys since the NFL. It's usually some type of random health issue concern or some random off the field issue. Talented players fall every year because of that. Look at the difference yeah. between how Payne is built and Carter is built. Man, I'm sick about Richardson, man. I'm so happy for him because I'm one of those people that's swearing by Richardson. I think he can end up being a great quarterback. So I'm happy to see that. But why did it have to be the Colts, man? I'm telling y'all, if y'all knew my boy Sneakers and how much he talks trash about the Commanders, he's way worse than Shea has ever been. I'm just telling you. If you knew, <laughs> if you would hate the Colts too. So it's, it's really bittersweet for me right now. I don't know if I really hate the Colts. I think I hate that when Peyton Manning was there, but now it's just like we have no rivalry at this point. It was yeah. a rivalry with Peyton Manning. So right now I really could care less about the Colts. But for me, it's I literally like just Anthony the person. Richardson. I think that's the Josh Allen clone, but even yeah. more athletic. Yep, faster. Literally Josh Allen faster. Did you like the comparison? I don't understand. I don't get that comparison. Donovan McNabb. I don't like that comparison. No, no, no. That's lazy. That's lazy. Yeah, that's, that's, that's very lazy. Yeah, just because he's black. Like I feel like CJ Stroud, like if anything, is closer to Donovan McNabb than Anthony Richardson. Yeah. I feel like that's he's that's a little weird. Josh Allen. Josh literally. Allen. That is the comparison, but uh, <laughs> uh, the skin color doesn't connect. <laughs> Dante Culpepper would have been a bear if they wanted yeah. to keep it a black person. Dante Culpepper. Go back a little bit further. Go back a little yeah. bit further. I agree. I agree. Dang, we got three quarterbacks and an edge rusher off rip. There goes positional value, y'all. A Great. lot of people kept saying Anthony Richardson was too raw. At the end of the day, Speak quarterbacks, edge rushers, and offensive tackles matter the most. Speaking of positional value, so what? What does this mean for B. John Robinson? I think he's making it out of the top 10. I'm not going to lie. I've heard the Eagles 
are apparently not looking to get him at that soon. Maybe they'll take him later. Why, they are, why not, though? They're, they're a Super Bowl I, team. They don't really have that many holes. So getting I would a too. playmaker like that, I would take it. I would, too. But, hey, worst case scenario as a Commanders fan is Jalen Carter slides there. Remember, Buddy went to the 49ers off their defensive line. So, Jalen, they may take Jalen Carter if he slides that far. I pray he doesn't. But, yeah, I, I'm, I'm with you. Bajon Robinson, the Eagles don't have many holes. Go ahead and take arguably one of the best players in the draft, a generational running back. Um, that's what I would do if they, I were the they, Eagles. They, I they hope they don't. They didn't even keep Miles Sanders, correct? They didn't even keep him. Oh, yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, they did let him go. They let him go, too. I saw reports they were trying to trade for Derrick Henry or something crazy. Maybe that happens after the draft. I hope not. I hope uh, not. I don't know if I, I hope not. I don't know if that's a good decision for the Eagles. The Eagles need a pass catcher out the backfield, and that's not Derrick Henry. Yeah, kind of, but yeah, but they got pass catchers. They just be having like three that's, or four of true. them. They got like three or four of them usually on the roster. They lost Miles Anderson, uh, but I hope not. I hope I hope they don't do that. I don't want them to get Bijan or Derrick Henry as a Commanders fan. Obviously, please don't. Trey Lance and AR-15 are pretty close. I could definitely see that. Very limited playing time. Very raw, athletic freaks. I could see that. I could see that. Yeah, but Trey Lance as well, like, we don't have enough sample size of him to even use him for comparisons yet. At least that's at least in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, true. He keeps getting hurt. Man can't stay healthy. Like, even the uh, 49ers are looking to trade him. Well, at least they're entertaining trade talks. I saw that. I saw that. That's that's crazy. You know they did, like, a promotional video of, like, I think it was, like, an upcoming draft video, like, behind the war room of the draft. They didn't have the Trey Lance pick in there. Like, they've completely, he's not even part of the marketing anymore. Like, they know they're moving on from him. <laughs> Maybe there's already a pick in place that we don't know. But he oh wasn't my. in, like, the, he wasn't in, like, the compilation of all of the draft picks they made and stuff, too. It's crazy. That That is wild. But does it say something to you that, the 49ers are so quick to give him up already. Have they seen something we haven't yeah, seen yet? Yeah, something in practice. Like, this man sucks. This, <laughs> <laughs> this man is terrible. Kind of like how the Seahawks got finessed everybody on Russell Wilson. Like, hey, man, this guy's not it. Let's go ahead and trade him. We know what Geno Smith looked like in practice. Exactly. We, can, we can make something work. Exactly. <laughs> or we can even take it back with the Seahawks with Matt Flynn. And when they got Russell Wilson, they already knew. <laughs> and Russell Wilson was their quarterback back See, then. Seahawks been doing this. This is what they do. <laughs> Wait, did the Seahawks really take Devon Witherspoon? Say it ain't so, bruh. Woolen and Witherspoon? Woolen and Witherspoon? And Jalen Carter is falling. Jalen Carter. Oh, please not the Eagles. Please don't Jalen Carter to the Eagles. Updates. Let me refresh. You got to get on. I don't know. I'm looking at the I'm not Sh even on Twitter Shams like I normally slow. am. Shams is slow. Shams is slow right now. Catch up, Shams. You trying to step into other people's domain, you got to be better. You got to be better than that. You got to step in other people's playground. You better step up. And he ain't stepping up. <laughs> okay. Ian Rappaport. Let, let's see. Ian Rappaport being very cryptic. Okay. Come what's on. going on? Not, not saying anything. And Kobe Bryant. Yeah. The, hey, man. That's the all secondary is serious. And they got Bobby uh, Wagner back, too. And he may not be as good as he used to be. I still hate but he's that still his name is different. Kobe Bryant. Because even though we're talking about NFL, I just don't think like, oh, yeah, the quarterback. Hey, hey, take it from us. We have a guard named Chris Paul that might be our starting left guard. <laughs> it's so annoying. It's very distracting. I'm still not used to it. Why is there two people named Chris Paul? That is two first names. Why <laughs> it is shouldn't that happen. Thing? It shouldn't happen. It shouldn't happen. But, it, hey, it is what it is. Seahawks do take Devon Witherspoon. It's confirmed. God dang, man. I was hoping he would slide. I knew he wasn't going to make it to 16, but a man can dream. People said Titans are out on Willis, too. I did see that. What you think about sending them a six for Willis? Pure gadget running back trick play. I mean, even if it's not for pure gadget running back trick play, whatever, I will easily send a six for Willis. I mean, but I'm biased because same high school and everything. That's my dog. That is my Westlake brethren over there. So I will six for Willis, please do. But they're already out. This is literally his rookie year. Man played two games, two three games maybe. Yeah, he looked absolutely horrible. Yeah, he looked I, terrible. I admit that, but looked terrible. Come on, like he was supposed to be a project from the very beginning. So they were surprised that he turned out to not be good <laughs> in his first year when that was basically the scouting report that he won't be good in his first year. I, I agree for them to be out on him this fast 
it had to have been even worse than they thought. Like, oh my God, he can't do nothing right type of thing. Had to be. I had to be. I agree. I thought Seattle was taking Jalen Carter as well. I really did. Yeah, so Christian Gonzalez is my number one corner left on the board at this point, but I doubt he makes it all the way to 16. It looks like we're more than likely going tackle right now. What, 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 what do you think Detroit's going to go? What about Detroit takes Jalen Carter? I mean, they already got ooh, their solid ooh, defensive ooh, line. That would be crazy. Detroit with Jalen Carter crazy. is crazy. That would be, yeah. Oh, that's insane. That would be insane, man. I don't know. I think they're quite likely to go Christian Gonzalez as well. Um, but who Jalen Carter? Ain't no blocking that defensive line. There's nothing you can do. It don't matter what O-line. You can have the Cowboys O-line from four or five years ago. It's no blocking that D-line right there. We already saw Aiden Hutchinson got, what, two, three sacks against us week two last year. He's only only getting better. It's scary. But I think he could be an elite Javante Williams. Yeah, yeah. I, I, at the end of the day, Malik Willis could be good at whatever we ask him to do. Honestly. I Hey, sixth round pick for him any day. Man, I'm sick to see uh, Devon Witherspoon off the board. I mean, they got a steal in, uh, in Woolen last year, bro. You ain't got to take Devon Witherspoon in the first round the following year. Like, golly, man, chill out. Save some of the good trying, corners for us. Trying to have the new Legion of Boom. <laughs> yeah, true. More athletic, though. This is this is a faster Legion of Broom. Them last guys were, you know, they were more smart. They were yeah these guys big and is, muscular dumpers these, these guys are fast strong everything that's this about to be bad man nfc south about why to does crazy. a pro football focus big board have will levies over anthony richardson some people feel that way i don't understand it because to me he's he's almost just as raw and not good enough floor wise and, and ready wise for it to even be worth taking him. He's basically just less talented than Anthony Richardson, in my opinion. So I don't get it. I don't get it at all. And then if you factor in, Will Levy is going to turn 24. Anthony it, Richardson is going to turn 21. Great like, point. Yeah. Come on. You you take the younger guy who has more athletic tools. Oh, just to let you like, know, Brett Coleman just tweeted Legion of Boom 2.0. So you were ahead of him. You were ahead of him on that. <laughs> you, be, you beat Brett Coleman to the punch on that one. Um, oh, wow. The Arizona Cardinals are trading back up to number six. So they traded back from three, oh. got some picks, and then traded back up to six. Interesting. Very interesting. But, yeah, Will no, Levis. If this was the NBA, we, we will have the – if this was the NBA, we will have the right Twitter – for this they will be three picks ahead where is yeah the where is the fall nfl twitter feed you know nfl starts to get like three to ten picks ahead starting like second and third round but this first round it's nothing's like nba twitter bro. i don't know they, they be knowing the picks the day before now. yeah they Not for real i don't know how they do it but um but also to add to the will levis point um, I didn't I didn't know this until like a few days ago. Somebody tweeted out some crazy statistics about him. Like he threw like the third most interceptions in his career, like in the span of his career out of all quarterbacks. But at the same time, the guys that are first and second threw like 200 or something less passes than him. Like it's like something crazy. He's like the most interception prone quarterback, arguably in the history of college sports. I, I don't get the Will Levis thing either. I just, you might as well get Anthony Richardson if you're going to take a Will Levis, but I mean, hey, we'll see how it goes. We'll see, man. I think I think sixth, I think if the Cardinals are trading back up for somebody, if it's not quarterback, it's got to be Jalen Carter. I feel like he's the only guy that's that they good. They can't possibly take a quarterback. I know, I know yeah. Kyle Murray's going to be out for the next season, but still, like, he's at least shown he's a starting caliber quarterback at the very worst. You at least see how he recovers after that ACL tear before they take another quarterback. And you know, you know, at the very least, you're gonna get half a season of greatness. You're gonna get Pro Bowl for eight games. <laughs> for real. You get Pro and Bowl. after that, and after that, complete chaos. <laughs> you, you might as well just go have two quarterbacks ready, like college football teams. <laughs> you might as well just go have somebody else ready to step in at week nine, just in case. Wasn't it? Um, it was the Cardinals too. They they had a quarterback by committee at one point. I remember when they drafted Matt Liner very high, and then they had Carson Palmer. So they tried to do a quarterback <laughs> by committee because they knew Matt Liner wasn't very good, but they were still trying to save face. Oh no, Kurt Warner. Kurt Warner, not Carson Palmer. Kurt Warner. Okay. But then 
and they eventually went to Kurt Warner. And that's why we they got Shea here, that. man. That's why we got Shea here for the history. For the history and the facts. That's that's what Shea... Oh, the Cardinals are taking Paris Johnson. I'm seeing it in the chat, and now I'm officially seeing it on Twitter. Wow. I, I told people... It, people have been saying, I've heard it from several sources, that Paris Johnson was going to be the first tackle taken. I didn't necessarily think it would be sixth overall, but again, it shows positional value. Devon Witherspoon's kind of a special case because you can argue easily he's the best corner in the draft, but it's quarterbacks, edge rushers, and tackles, they still matter. Because Bajon Robinson is a top five player in this draft if we're ignoring position easily, but he's not going to go top five. He's probably not even going to go top 15 to top 10. Um, because he's a running back. Um, who we picking? Paris Johnson's gone. I'm glad that wasn't my favorite tackle. Even though we would have been lucky to get him in 16, I would have been happy. I'm still Darnell Wright, Broderick Jones, and Anton Harrison for me at 16 right now. That's those are my picks. But yeah, Paris Johnson to the Cardinals. That makes sense. Kyler Murray can't can't contribute more than eight games to you. So go ahead and go get arguably the best tackle in the draft to protect them. And maybe he can give you more than eight games. Especially in that division, too. Who the NFC side? I mean, NFC West, boy, with all them edge rushes and stuff? Yeah, you might want, yeah. Paris Johnson makes makes a lot of sense. Since I did come in late, since, since we're speaking of Kyler Murray, how Kyler Murray's a smaller quarterback, how do you really feel about Bryce Young and his durability long-term in the NFL? That's difficult. Kyler Murray makes it hard to believe in, but I also feel like he's the better pocket passer. And if they can protect him, oh, I, think he can, I think he can go crazy. Um, he's just got to get the ball out of his hands quickly. It's, you just got to do it. You got you got to you got to get the ball out of your hands quickly. You got to move around. And he doesn't seem like he wants to run as much as Kyler Murray. He has that athleticism, oh, no. but he's he's, he's going to run and first. slide. Yeah, he's going to run yeah. and slide. Whereas Kyler Murray's still trying to get them extra yards occasionally. So I think he'll be straight, but I'm definitely worried about it. I'm definitely, because we see Tua, he's not much of a runner either, and he keeps getting concussions over and over again. I feel like Tua's probably closer than like a Kyler but Murray as far as a comparison. At the same time, Bryce Young has more wiggle room than Tua, so Bryce Young could evade more sacks than Tua can. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. I'm, I'm wishing them the best, man. I'm wishing them the best for sure. But for number one, do you, do you think he's not worth the number one pick given that those concerns? Oh, no, nah, I'm taking him. Mm -mm. Oh, no, I'm taking him. I'll take the chance. I, I feel, I, honestly, I feel like as a prospect, CJ Stroud isn't that far off where yeah. I'm probably more comfortable with CJ Stroud. Because he's but a six I, foot three, two something. Yeah. Yeah. I get I get the whole skepticism of Ohio State quarterbacks, but like there's different coaching staff. So like I always feel like that's not necessarily relevant. Yeah, I can see that. That's a good argument. That's a good argument. Who we got next? We got the Raiders next. Who the Raiders taking? Yep. Who y'all think? Peter Skaronski? Is is Peter Skaronski just solidified for the Raiders? Because that's what I'm thinking. You can argue he's best player available. Or they made Jalen Carter. They <laughs> Jalen Carter, man. Honestly, Jalen Carter to the Bears is probably my favorite fit for him at this point. I would be so happy. Justin Fields, Jalen Carter on the same team, man. I would be so happy to see that. I'm seeing Gonzalez in the chat. I'm hoping y'all are guessing and not saying because... I really do not want them to take Christian Gonzalez. Please, Christian no Gonzalez, Raiders. he's on the mock, mock CBS Sports mock draft to the Raiders. No, please. No, man. I'm trying not to speak it into existence. All right, Jalen Carter, Peter Skaronski, leave, leave Christian Gonzalez out of it, man. I'm not even going to speak ill like that, man. Please don't. Please don't. Wait, Paris Johnson ripped his jacket. Wait, what? I'm seeing tweets about that. Please no Christian Gonzalez, <laughs> not yet. Please no, man. Chill out, y'all. Chill out, man. It's not that. It's not all that, bro. Don't speak that evil into existence, bro. Do not speak that evil into existence. They compare Aunt Paris Johnson Jr. to Andrew Thomas. I guess I can see that. I think he has better footwork than Andrew Thomas, but maybe a little bit strong. Um, but not as strong. But if you're using Andrew Thomas as a base for Paris Johnson. Better footwork, less strength. I can see it. Oh, and uh, to give an update on that Cardinals trade, when they trade up number six, the Lions received the picks number 12 and number 34. Wow. Wow. So they really love. What's this? Wow. That's a lot to give up. 
Yeah. Especially in a draft this deep. That's a lot. Appreciate that. Oh yeah, just saw it on, just saw it on the uh, NFL Twitter page. Sitting there trying to eat my wings, you know what I'm saying? A bit too much bone. Oh yes. Speaking of wings, I can give you a good wing spot. I've been uh -oh. I've been I've been scouring the the city of Atlanta to find some great wings. Okay, we can trade. So, I got one for you too. Oh, okay, okay. I'll take it. We we got a draft day trade. Draft day wing <laughs> yeah, trade. Yeah. Let's go. That's the most Let's Atlanta go. thing you could do. Trade <laughs> wing spots. Really? That's the most Atlanta so, uh, thing you could do. If you say that ASS word, is that will that make you demonetized? Um, I think so. I don't okay, know. Okay, well, there's this wing spot called Lit A Wings. Where? Lit A Wings. That's got to be it's like an... Oakland City, West End or something. Oh, close, but it's the cater where it's greater. Oh, yeah. yeah okay. That probably yeah. would have been my next guess. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. so they got uh, every Tuesdays and Sundays, they got 65 cent wing day. So that's where okay. I get my wings. Sometimes I'll get like 40 of them so I can have them for the whole week. But yeah, the wings are good. They got many different creative flavors. Um, we don't, we both don't drink alcohol. But for any alcohol drinkers out there, they got some Hennessy wings where they'll just pour <laughs> Hennessy on the wings. It's like so don't Atlanta. cook it or anything. Just pour a Hennessy on the wings. That is so or Atlanta. Whatever, whatever, uh, whatever bottle of alcohol you want, they'll pour, pour it on the wings. But wings are good. The wings are good. <laughs> That's good. That's so Atlanta. First of all, we debate. We trading wing spots on a football live stream. That's Atlanta enough. <laughs> Hennessy on the wings is crazy. This is a very Atlanta stream now. Uh, you see, Courtney said, if it ain't Roaches, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> it ain't. Oh, I heard of that place before. Have I ever went there? The one on Fulton so Industrial is terrible. You got to go to one by Langston off uh, uh, South Fulton. Okay. You got you to gotta go to All that right. one. Don't go to the one on Fulton Industrial is terrible. They don't even have regular fried rice. It's so, so weird. Small, you, said, it's you said Langston? By Langston Hughes, the high school, like Gunner and all of them. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Over here by me. What what street is that? Oh, okay, so it's the Camp South Creek Fulton. Version. You said no, not Camp Creek. Uh, what is it, Campbellton, Fairburn, or whatever? Campbellton, Fairburn Road, or something like that. Oh, okay, Fairburn, Georgia. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But over here. I I don't know about that. It got three point five stars. Bro I'm, bro, I'm just warning you now. The one on Fulton Industrial, I went there like twice. No, the Fairburn one got 3.5 stars. No, I'm saying, like, I'm just telling you now, the, the one on Fulton Industrial is not it. I would highly suggest that one. I would highly suggest that one, man. I Just me personally. But that's that's Courtney. My recommendation is oh, okay. JJ's at uh off Old Nat. JJ's Wings. You got JJ's the... Uh, I'm going to try to show it in the camera. They got the crack salt. I'm Googling you, right now. You know how some places do the crack salt, the crack seasoning? Like they sprinkle oh, the crack on it. Oh, I followed them on Instagram. I never. Oh yeah, 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 Gotta yeah. The go. band, the bando, I think started that, right? Yeah, the I bando. think so. So they got the crack salt. Oh yeah, you can't really see it on stream, but my it's doused in in the crack salt, and I've had it like no lie three times for the past couple of wings. Uh, it's bro, it's crazy, bro. You got and make sure you get as much. They got the salt. The salt okay, is so yeah, good yeah. they don't let you take it to go. You gotta pour as much salt. Really. As, they, they, you gotta pour as much salt on your oh, stuff okay. as you can before you go. They got it out for you, and you gotta. But my mom says they have multiple locations. I can only vouch for the old Nat one. It is hood because it is old Nat, of course. Um, but the, the hood of the perfect. place the better the wings. That, uh, yeah, that, hey, man. That's especially when it comes to like, Atlanta. So you see that spot in the cater where lit a wings are from. Like you, you know that <laughs> the wings are hitting. Let me you. write that down, man. So you know what the A stands for, but lit a wings. That oh, yeah. is the name. Bet for sure. I'm gonna have to check that out. But JJ's, yeah, we gonna have to. Yeah, they got go. uh, they got their fried rice too. That was the most fat. It was good fried rice, but also the most fattening fried rice ever. Like, you know, fried rice ain't actually supposed to be fried, right? What do you but mean? They, but they, oh, they, they literally fried it. fried it, like literally. Yeah, yeah, because it tasted like it, like the oil and everything. But it was good. It was good. <laughs> uh, my mom said, yeah, JJ is just let you know you can order online and by the time you get there, you can pick it up. Also, okay. I want to point out the fact same that... Same thing with A Wings. You okay, same thing. for sure. But we started having these Atlanta conversations about Wings and Atlanta and up, and then you hear the uh, Usher and Lil Jon and the draft being played in the background. So I think we triggered that. 
Oh, we did. That we did. Queen conversation. Let's yes, go. Sir. Um, but yeah, all right. I wrote that down. You got JJ's Courtney vouching for also an, a, another one. If you're willing to spend a pretty penny, they they are overpriced. Only time I went there was when they had like their discount wings, which I think is on Wednesdays. Um, B and L wings. It, it, they got like the breaded wings, like Publix do, but you could get any different flavor. It's very good, but the wings are super overpriced. Like fifteen wings for twenty two dollars, which is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. That, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, but, but are they good. I think they got thirty percent off Wednesday. Yeah, I, I I got them once. They were good, so I'll get them again. But I'll never get it on a regular day. I'll get it on a discount day. Oh god, oh god. Wait, the Raiders got Tyree Wilson. Wow, they just they doubled down on edge rusher. Don't they still have Khalil Mack? Oh no, no, my fault, my fault. I'm tri- no, wait, no, they? Khalil Mack went to the Chargers. Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. So wait, they still got what's his name, and then they got so the wait, am I wait, 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 wait am I tripping? I feel like Tyree Wilson. I don't think it was a reach because I mean you could argue he's one of the best players available, but I felt like. Will Levis maybe is a quarterback to groom behind Jimmy Garoppolo. Even though I didn't want them to take Christian Gonzalez, that made more sense. But, all right, I guess. Go crazy. Tyree Wilson, I'm not mad at it for the Raiders. That is a really good player. Some people feel like Tyree Wilson is going to end up being better than uh, Will Anderson. So, I mean, hey, if, if you're in that camp, that makes a lot of sense to get him at seven. That's arguably a steal. Yeah, Max Crosby, but I thought they had somebody else on the other side that was 5-2. Am I tripping? I might be tripping. Maybe I'm tripping. I know Max Crosby. I think it was really just Max Crosby. Okay. I'm probably tripping then. That's probably on me. Um, So we got the Falcons next. I know you love the Falcons, Shay. How you feeling? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Who you hoping that they get? That is hilarious. Good, good and right well, and wrong answers. Who you hope they get? <laughs> I hope they get running back because that's what they were mocked. I mean, B. John Robinson's a good player, but the Falcons of all teams definitely don't need that because they got <laughs> so many holes where they don't need running back. Tyler Algier is actually a good running back, and Corderell Patterson is a good uh, gadget back Tweener, too. Yeah. So, yeah, so they don't need running back, but for me, I would want them to draft running back. But you know, I got but I got a couple of friends. I got a bunch of friends that are Falcons fans. So I do too, sadly. For, yeah, so for them, I hope they actually make a good decision and address their their torrid defense. Their def- defense is absolutely trash, so they need to address that. Um yeah, they I, cut I think they're going to go with Desmond Ritter. What um what they who they cut at corner I forgot his name the veteran has been there for like a long time oh Casey Hayward right yeah 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 I think so. well they got they got Jeff Okuda so that was a good trade I I got to admit they got Jeff Okuda are they gonna the believe trade. in him though I forgot they they did get Jeffrey Okuda on a steal yeah so uh, he still has that option and I guess they're gonna like let him prove it this season to see if they're gonna pick that up and give okay. him the money. But I, I think that, that I think that's a good risk because what did they give up? Like what a fourth round pick, something like that, fourth fifth round pick for a guy who was number three like a few years ago. Bruh, Ohio State boy, they be making them corners. You just got to use them right. Yeah, oh, like, you know who the Falcons just got. Oh, they did get B. John Robinson. Yes, sir. Oh my good. What are the look like? But the thing is, I think B. John Robinson is a legit. Star, okay. I know. I think he's a future all uh, favorite potentially me, for sure. I do too. Let me, yeah. Let me preface this, but running back is not a position they need at all. Now they have they three are, good ones. They <laughs> drafted a good one last year in the fifth round. He got a thousand yards. <laughs> they got so many other holes, especially instead on of, defense. Instead of instead Offensive of fixing O line, just get another running back. They'll figure it out. They'll run through something. <laughs> They'll run two people over to get the first down, I guess. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, yes, sir. Like, I think the past few years, the Falcons draft picks have been questionable. Like, Drake London. And the thing is, these are not bad players. It's just about if they actually need them. Drake London, yeah. good player. But, I mean, did they really need them? Given that they were barely passing anyways. Exactly. Kyle Pitts. Kyle Pitts. Didn't good, pass great, him the ball. Transcendent talent. Exactly. But yeah, don't even give him the ball. Don't <laughs> even give him the ball. B. John Robinson going to probably be second or third in carries behind, you know. It's going to be hard for B. John Robinson to get 1,000 yards unless one of those guys is gone. 
Well, we'll Henry see. Thompson, I'll pick best player available if my team did not have so many holes. But if my team has a lot of holes and the best player available already plays position of one of your other best players play, then I'll draft someone else. Especially if the best player available could probably only give you like four to five good years before they get worn out. And Hey, to add to that, you drafted a running back who's going to block for him. I know he's great. But nobody can just run through three people. Yeah. And so you have four to five years, it might have three, two or three. <laughs> Man, going to get ran to the ground, boy. He's not making it to that second contract. I see what Arthur Smith is trying to do. He's basically trying to have the Tennessee Titans over <laughs> to Atlanta. But mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah, they, they they need to address offensive line for the remainder of their picks. Get an edge rusher, too, because... <laughs> I, I forgot. They had like zero sacks in how many games? <laughs> like they had like a sack draft. I for, it was like six, seven games or something. Like where they could not even get one sack. <laughs> so they they need to address edge rusher and offensive line. I thought this was a smoke screen when <laughs> was, was mocked to that because it doesn't make any sense. Great player, yes. But for a team with so many holes, you don't draft running back when you already got – two decent ones or three decent ones especially when there's no o-line to block for them like it just exactly hey man how about about as long as b john robinson's not in the nfc east i'm happy y'all go ahead and do whatever y'all want to do falcons we'll see y'all this year with that no offensive line jonathan allen chase uh and all of them guys he ain't going for 50 against us it don't matter don't matter how good b john robinson is that o-line is so bad he ain't getting 50 against us Y'all can stamp that. He definitely ain't getting 100. He definitely ain't running for 100 against us. You know what? Let me check on my social media feed to see what my Atlanta friends are saying. (laughs) Matter of fact, let me look at the chat. They probably happy. They're probably going to be happy. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Them boys got Bijan, man. All right, Chicago. Don't play yourself. Go ahead and get my boy Jalen Carter. No, wait, wait. Eagles trading up. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Eagles trading up. They're taking Jalen Carter. There's no way they're not taking Jalen Carter. Eagles traded up to the Bears pick. I mean, they only moved up, what, one spot? Or are they taking one of them other ones? Wow, nah. Eagles trading up scares the mess out of me right now. Who are they taking? So the Eagles moved up one pick. Are they taking Jalen Carter? But why would you move up one spot? I'm confused. Like, if the Bears don't plan on taking them, and that's who you trade it with. They got to be taking Jalen Carter. But if the Bears didn't want them, like, if the Bears were willing to trade back and not get them, do you think, like, wouldn't he just still be there at nine? I'm thinking it's Jalen right. Carter, though. I'm just trying to figure out why they went Maybe about Maybe they did want Jalen Carter, but what Philly was trading them was better. It was like, hey, we'll, we'll just get the trade instead. Bet. Yeah, only go back one pick. Be straight. I see it for the Bears. I just don't see or it. Or maybe they were smoke screening Jalen Carter so they can get the, get the Eagles to bite. Oh, okay. Okay. I can see that. Yeah, that's what Washington Command Center just said, too. Dangling Jalen Carter. We'll take him. We're going to take him. Hey, if you, hey, if you want Jalen Carter to act now, I mean, we'll accept that first and a second or something. <laughs> act fast before I hang up. <laughs> Bears, have been, Bears have been doing their best Bill Belichick impression with all this trading down they've been doing. But they ain't playing, boy. They trying to put a team together. They brought over Tremaine Edmonds and another really good linebacker. Traded for DJ Moore. That team gonna be filthy. Yeah. I think I'm almost that sure if Chicago's if Chicago's not going Jalen Carter, it's obviously offensive line. I think I think Peter Skoronsky makes too much sense because you can start him in tackle, he's gonna be pretty good, or he can be a, a pro bowl, all pro guard. It just makes too much sense. You gotta protect J- Justin Fields, who y'all didn't really believe in last year until he started the ball out. But now you know that Justin Fields is that guy because you had the number one overall pick, could have gotten a new quarterback, you didn't. So now you're showing that you believe in him. Get him some offensive line because the offensive line is terrible. Um, and go Peter Skaronsky right here, man. You know, Bears could have a similar jump to how the Eagles, to what oh, the yeah. Eagles did this season. 
if, if, if they do right in this draft. Mm -hmm. I'm scared. That boy Justin Fields was looking like unstoppable last year. Time, yeah, man. it's just that he breaking was running three for tackles. his life on every single yeah. play. <laughs> breaking three tackles to get 30 yards. Bo, baby. That's why when people when people were still saying that, oh, Justin Fields is a bust, that's how I know he didn't watch any Bears games. And I watched Bear games because I had NFL Red Zone. So I got to see what Justin Fields could do. So, but, like, yeah, Justin Fields is a problem. Justin Fields is a legit top quarterback. Easily. And now since he finally has help, we're all <clears throat> going to see it. Oh, wait. Wait. Quaison is mad at the Eagles. What did they do? Oh, no, they didn't. Yep, they did it. The Eagles did it. I'm highly upset. I'm so sick. I'm so sick. Oh, they I got to go against Carter. my boy. I got to go against Jordan Davis, N'Kobe Dean, in peace. and Jalen Carter twice a year. Rest in peace. You know how hard it's going to be for me to root against that? Like, I Rest want us to peace, beat Sam the Eagles. Howell. Sam Howell going to be your quarterback, right? Rest, <laughs> Rest in, in peace. peace. <laughs> Who is the quarterback? Is it Sam Howell? It's Sam Howell. Oh, I believe in him with a oh straight face. Goodness. Rest in peace. No, Jalen right. Carter, N'Kobe Dean. And Jordan Davis twice a year? Oh, that's horrible. My boy DMV2000 with the big time so donation. 20 ball. Team, Appreciate how that. Does, how does a team that went to the Super Bowl last season possibly has the best player of the draft for And this, this is why the season. Eagles are going to be Super Bowl contenders for as long as we know. Because they do stuff like this. Jalen Carter oh my goodness. with the pick that they had is insane. That they got I blame the, the Seahawks. I blame Wait, the Saints. The, the Saints, yeah, the Saints. I blame I, I, the I, Saints. I, I was, I was thinking the Broncos. Yeah, the Saints, the Saints. Jalen Carter, Jordan Davis, and the Kobe Dean twice a year. I'm highly upset, man. I'm like really mad because, I, as a Georgia Bulldog diehard fan, I, that's gonna be really hard for me to root against. Like, I want them to get theirs, but I want to, I want to beat the Eagles twice a year, of course. But I want them to get theirs. I, I, I want them to get this. Just don't hurt Sam Howell in the process. But my boy DMV2000. peace. <laughs> appreciate the donation. He said, I hope those are chicken wings and mumbo sauce you're eating. I'm sorry, man. I'm from Atlanta. So I got the honey lemon pepper. There, and I got the JJ's where, with the crack salt, man. I'm where sorry. Where can you actually get mumbo sauce in, in Atlanta? I have no idea where you can procure mumbo sauce here. I guess you would have to look where up the recipe and make it on your what, own. What is mumbo sauce anyways? Uh, I remember the last time I had it a lot of years ago. It was good, but I don't know what's in it. Hopefully, my mom can come in and tell us. I really don't know, though. Um, I would yeah, man, appreciate it, but the donation. I feel like someone in the comments is actually going to say it. Yeah, somebody's going to say it. Somebody knows the recipe to it. I don't know, but, you know, we from Atlanta, so we got the honey lemon pepper, man. We got that honey lemon pepper, man. I think they sell it in stores. Do they? I thought that was just like a DMV only thing to the point that you can't buy Let's it. See. We can go to mumbo Walmart and get mumbo Atlanta. sauce. Where? Where? What, what Walmart? No, I'm just saying like that's a thing. Like, is that possible? I, I, I think I've never DMV, seen that. But not in Atlanta. Yeah, not in Atlanta. We just got Uts a couple of years ago. There's no way we got mumbo sauce. We just got Uts sure a few years ago. I'm sure I can order ago. it off Amazon though. Let me see. Wait, people are saying yes, you can in Walmart. They got mumbo sauce. Yeah, but y'all, y'all talking from the yeah, most y'all from the DMV, right? Y'all. Yeah, there's no way. I gotta see somebody not. I gotta see somebody below North Carolina say that it is in a store. I could, I could order in the Amazon. I could see. I could order in the Amazon. What does that look like? like? Who? What brand is making that? I thought that was like a family DMV thing. I didn't Sweet. know somebody. Sweet Mama's Mambo Sauce, a popular Washington, D.C. finishing sauce for all your meat, poultry, and seafood dishes. It arrives fastest delivery May 4th to May 11th. So it's definitely shipping from far away. Okay, yeah, it's not. You can't get it prime. Okay, now, my second point is that if if it's not the Mambo Sauce directly from the DMV, is it even going to be as good? Because I'm not going to lie. Outside of Atlanta, I'm scared to try honey lemon pepper wings. Like, when I'm in New York, even if I see a restaurant selling it, I'm not giving it a chance. I'm not going to lie to you. Outside of Atlanta, honey lemon pepper wings is crazy. I'm so scared I'm not to try sure. wings in general outside of New York. Yeah, really, yeah. Leaving Atlanta, trying wings, period. Ah, yeah, you are right. Um, <laughs> in general, but... I just don't see, even if they make it, is it going to be as good as the mumbo sauce in the DMV? And plus, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Like, you can ship me some mumbo sauce right now. I wouldn't be able to tell you because I haven't had it in, like, 
eight, ten years. So I don't know what good mumbo sauce is. I just remember it being good, but I couldn't be like a mumbo sauce critic uh, for y'all. So I don't know, but I would I would like to try some. Yeah, my boy Chris Sweezy is in North Carolina. I got to see somebody further down in North Carolina, though. Somebody in South Carolina, Georgia, Florida. We know. We know. We know if we got the... Whenever Mila goes to PC, she brings some back. Okay, I haven't had any in like 10 years. Get it from the carryout, but only certain ones, though. No, they took Darnell right, man. Oh, so man. the Bears got Darnell right. Well, I knew well, it. Well, why do they have to put this graphic up with Jalen Carter? What? Uh, ESPN loves their trouble story. Oh, see, I'm on NFL Network. I don't see what's going on. What happened? Is it bad? They they put the J January 15th thing where he was present at the scene of the car crash. Oh, yeah. Stop hating on my boy, man. Leave my boy alone, man. He about to go out there and be an all-pro. Maybe you should have seen when they were, Donald. they were eating up the C.J. Stroud thing. It was like, C.J. Stroud, what can you tell young boys and young girls in your position? Like, oh, oh yeah, that, yeah. I'm on NFL Network. I, I keep seeing in the chat people saying ESPN is behind too. There's no reason to watch it. I'm NFL Network. I'm not leaving. For I'm some reason, leaving. I had a playback error when I tried to go to NFL Network, so that's why I was on ESPN. Let me let, let me say, go you, back. Let me try, try to fix NFL that Network one. again. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we knew. Yeah, Darnell Wright and Tevin Jenkins together is crazy. That's crazy. That's a good point. But we knew. We knew that I mean, into this the betting odds the betting odds for tackles was always Paris Johnson than Darnell Wright. So I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. I love seeing Jalen Carter emotional going up for that draft, man. Go go be an all pro, man. Even though I'm a Commanders fan, I'm a Georgia Bulldog fan as well, and people are doubting you. Go out there and be better than Aaron Donald, man. Oh my god, I gotta root against Jalen Carter, Jordan Davis, and Nicobe Dean every season twice a year. I'm sick. Rest in peace. Can we trade? Can we trade divisions? Uh, no, nah, I'll take my division, even no. though we're, we're pretty. Actually, we got Josh Allen, Aaron Rodgers now, <laughs> and Tyreek Kill and Jalen Waddle. <laughs> I don't know. Who got it? I don't worse? know if you want our division. I mean, who got it? I don't worse? know. I don't know if you want. I don't know if you want our division. I feel like y'all have the more star power, and I feel like we got the better overall teams, kinda. But no, your 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 conference, you got it. The Jets, the the only thing that was holding the Jets back was, <laughs> was, a, was a quarterback yeah. that could yeah. throw at least a five yard pass. <laughs> now, now they got a Hall of Famer. Now they got one of the best quarterbacks of all time. What you mean? That I team mean, might be a Super Bowl contender. That that when that man gets to the playoffs though, and I love Aaron Rodgers, but boy. That boy, that well, boy got, got that Peyton Manning Wilson syndrome. To to. He got Brees Hall in his backfield. He got a decent <laughs> offensive line. Mm -hmm. He got that defense. Mm -hmm. Sauce Gardner. Oh, mm -hmm. my goodness. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, they are the best oh, team in the division. I'm, I'm going to hate this season. I'm really going to hate it. Like, look, the, the Patriots could be bad. Yeah. But seeing the Patriots bad and the Jets be really good, I, I can't fathom it. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> I love these I love these Jalen Carter highlights. So is it Will Levis to the Titans? That what we thinking? I say they, they could go. They could do it. But then again, I feel like Tannehill is still good enough where they could just wait for next year if if they become that bad. Yeah. Because next year is supposed to be a better quarterback class. Well, next year is always a better quarterback class. They do it's do that. Always, that is yeah. the thing. Yeah. Wasn't it last year? It's like, oh, wait till next year where we got Bryce Young and CJ Stroud. Now it's like, oh, wait till next year where we got Caleb Williams and uh, Drake May. <laughs> they do do that. <laughs> no, I'm not going to lie. This is a really sad day for me. Even if I wasn't a Georgia Bulldog fan, Jalen Carter and Jordan Davis as a pairing is insane in itself. But I have to root against my guys that have won me the only two championships I've ever seen any professional team that I care about win in my life. I was never allowed to see any of the Commanders, uh, well, Redskins, Super Bowls. 
None of the basketball teams I've cared about have ever won a championship. The only championships I've ever seen in my life are my Georgia Bulldogs. And now the main players from those guys, the leaders, the guys in the front, the faces of those championships, I got to root against them twice a season? I'm sick. You might sick. have to become an Eagles fan. You might have to do an Eagles channel now. <laughs> and I'm really street, sick. Street like, Scores is going to be a Philadelphia Eagles channel now. Sorry, folks. I'm really sick. Like, I'm really, really sick inside right now. I don't y'all understand. Already on the surface, just having to go against Jalen Carter, Jordan Davis, and Kobe Dean twice a year. Bad and in speaking itself. Of, speaking of Georgia, Atlanta, Atlanta Hawks is currently leading the Boston Celtics right now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go. This Let me series that might up. go to seven, which is wild. I thought That's it was about to be a wild. clean sweep. I thought that was about to be a mean I thought Celtics sweep. were winning five. I thought Celtics were winning five, but I am shocked. Yes, sir. Let shocked. me pull that Everything up. Everything is going on right now. Let's go, Hawks. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I would I would have went to a game, but those ticket prices were absolutely ridiculous. Oh my goodness. Did you um did you hear how even Atlanta didn't have faith in the Hawks to where they double booked Janet Jackson in the Hawks playoff game together because yeah. they assumed the Hawks wouldn't be there? My <laughs> mom told that. me that. I didn't know that. That's crazy. That's how that terrible is. Atlanta fans are. Fair weather fans. You heard what Malcolm Brogdon said about the fans, right? No. He, he said, like, growing up, like, like nobody cared about the Atlanta Hawks. He said growing up in, I think he's from Gwinnett, no one cared about the Atlanta Hawks. He's not and, lying. Yeah, because of that, he got he got booed. Like, every time he touched the ball, the fans would boo him. But, like, where was the lie? Yeah, we, we, we're basically the same age as Malcolm Brogdon, and we feel the same way. No one cared about the Atlanta Hawks. Nobody. They like the, somewhat care about the Falcons, but the Hawks are like super secondary to Atlanta. They yeah. can't wait. Georgia, I, I mean, it's Southern teams in general, but I feel like Atlanta is the worst of it. Like Saints fans still really like New Orleans, uh, the Saints. They just care about LSU a little bit more. Whereas but Atlanta. No, the, the Saints, but still Saints fans, they are super passionate yeah, they, about Yeah, team. they still with and, them. But Atlanta is completely different. I think the South in general, people care more about college football than NFL anyway. But I think um, I think Atlanta's the biggest gap. Like where it's literally Georgia, Georgia, Georgia. Maybe we'll catch the Falcons game on Sunday. Georgia, Georgia, Georgia. Atlanta United. Atlanta, yeah, Atlanta United. <laughs> then, yeah, then, then the Hawks way down there. The Hawks is just where all the celebrities go. If you're trying to see Future, 2 Chains, Gucci Mane, yeah. Lil Baby, all of that stuff, you go to a Hawks game. But people don't go to actually watch the games. The just people that go to the Hawks games are not from Atlanta. Like, I actually just bumped. I was in, like, Atlanta just now. I actually just uh, bumped into someone. We had a Jalen Brown jersey. And uh, actually, he was from Boston. But uh, he said, I think he's from, say, from Bangladesh, actually. Not even American. But, like, yeah, <laughs> like, the people that go to the Hawks games are not even from here. Yeah, it's it's kind of like I don't know how LA fitness is for other places, but I know at the very least the one at Camp Creek we call it Club LA. Cause the women put on their best outfits, they put on makeup, they put on their eyelashes, they like look as well as they can. The men do the same thing, the equivalent. That's how like LA fitness is. That's how our sports sporting events are. It's like literally basically going to the club, how people prepare for these things. It's not about the sport. The only time it's about the sport is Georgia. And that's technically two hours away in Athens. Anything Atlanta, it's not It's not a football sports town like D.C. where y'all are passionate about the Wizards. Y'all are passionate about the Nationals, all of that. Like, it's not. Maybe you can get some diehard Braves fans that are 40 years older and up. That's it. But other but than that. Was, and there was a reason why the Braves moved out of Atlanta. Because they couldn't <laughs> get all their fans to go to Atlanta. Because Ho Hockey team went to Canada. Like to Atlanta. Yeah, so they had to move to Cobb County. Yeah, where hockey it's a team. little bit safer. The hockey, the hockey team with the okay, Canada. Okay, hockey team, the Atlanta Thrashers, they had to move to Winnipeg, become the Winnipeg Jets. <laughs> but you know what's funny? We might be getting a new hockey team soon. They're building... I heard about that. Yeah, they're building a stadium in uh, North Atlanta. I'm about so to say, don't put it down here. Don't put it in South oh, Atlanta. They, they know better. That's Not to make the same put, mistake. They're putting it in Alpharetta, I think. They oh, know yeah. better. Oh, yeah, they're going to get plenty of fans out there. Oh, yeah, that's the hockey crew out there. <laughs> there are plenty of hockey people out there. They should have been yeah, they, did that one. Yeah, they learned their lesson. <laughs> Atlanta is so Atlanta that the hockey team left. I'll tell you everything you know. <laughs> hockey team had to leave to get any tickets sold. 
I hope we get an XFL team. Atlanta Thrashers. And then Utah both want hockey. Wait, yeah. Why don't we have an XFL? Do we have an XFL we or don't, US we FF, need FFL one. team? I would have, yeah. I would have watched the game. I would have went, we yeah. We had one. We had an XFL. Yeah, I would have went too. Thank you, Ma. That's a good point. We do need an XFL team. I was, why you not, know, why don't we have one? It's I'm Atlanta. Like, why, why don't they like? Hey, we need to go to Atlanta. I feel like Atlanta would be one of the top five locations they would pick, but I guess not. I don't, I don't know. But shouts out to the DC Defenders because they were doing that thing. So shouts out to them. But if there was an Atlanta team, I'd be rooting for the Atlanta team. I ain't gonna hold you. But shouts out yeah, to the DC here. Defenders. They did their thing though. It's funny I would root for the Atlanta team, but we won't root for the Falcons. <laughs> I hate them. I hate them more than any other team. I hate them more than the Cowboys. The I thing is, I'm not, I'm not even sure if I really hate the Falcons anymore. I'm more pity them than anything. I That's, just pity them. You know them. what? Good point. High school team I hated the most has started to die down over time because they haven't done anything. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> I hated them in high school, but now I just pity them. It's like, a good play. Too bad. Like, <laughs> how can point. I hate a team that's always losing? I feel bad for them. I feel <laughs> bad for the fans. <laughs> I love a lot of my Falcons fan friends, but boy, I, st I don't think I'll ever stop hating the Falcons, but it's definitely died down since high school because there's been no reason to be mad. <laughs> what do like, you to be mad like at? When, uh, when Patriots came to Atlanta, they won 23-0. Like, <laughs> how could I hate that team? Like, they couldn't even <laughs> score against us. I just feel bad. Like, like all that trash they talk to me. And it's like, they want to back it up so bad, but they know they can't. <laughs> like even when even when the Patriots are bad, it's like okay, we're bad, but y'all are bad too. Yeah, y'all are worse. Yeah. Y'all are still worse than us. Now, one thing I could give Atlanta a compliment on, and they don't care about the the games, they don't be going to the stadium or nothing. But the Falcons Saints rivalry is the funniest, easily I, I football, it. but probably all the sports rivalry for me. It's literally an it's the only HBCU rivalry in the NFL. Like it's literally hbcu like just straight black it's the funniest pettiest rivalry i mean the, the taking the mercedes benz they from the saints seriously. they got the billboards always talking trash about each other then we had hurricane katrina while the saints fans came it's personal like it's the pettiest blackest most hbcu funniest rivalry i've it, ever seen in sports and I it's love like it. it's like the georgia florida rivalry like how they play in a neutral stadium yeah so even if they play in atlanta it's basically like a half home game for the saints because you're gonna <laughs> hear as many cheers for the saints as if not more than falcons fans cheering for the falcons in that game exactly 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 so yeah, I'll one give thing that, but it's one of it. my favorite robberies is Falcon Saints robbery. I love it's seeing my those number games. one. If we're talking about off the field, off the field, Saints Falcons is the funniest, at the very least, funniest. May not be the best, whatever. Funniest robbery. They best had some track good games him. too. Like on the field, they had some good games as well. Yeah, because I remember there was one. I think where Deion Jones had a game-winning interception on on Drew Brees. I remember that game. <laughs> I'm sure the Saints are definitely winning that series. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, no question. No question. <laughs> Wait. Oh, the Titans took Peter Skaronski? I'm just now seeing that. My fault. That's crazy. I'm surprised he made it to 11. Wait, so who's the quarterback? Tannehill, I guess. I thought he was hurt. Oh, oh well. Wait, is he still hurt for next year? I don't know. That's what I thought, but... I don't know. Maybe he's I mean, not. I, your guess is as good as mine. I just figured. I just. I just figured he will be healthy by next season. I right, so well. Peter Skaronski's a dog. You can argue top ten player in this draft, so that's arguably a still at eleven. That makes sense. Yeah, I saw Darnell Wright was gone. I'm sick. I'm super sick. But I already accepted it. I already know. This draft is actually going pretty terrible for me because Darnell Wright's gone. My favorite tackle. Jalen Carter somehow ended up the best player in the draft, in my opinion, ended up on the rival Eagles, meeting up with Jordan Davis and the Kobe Dean. Me as a Georgia Bulldog fan. I'm like, I'm really upset right now. Like, I hate I hate this draft. Personally, me. Me personally, I hate this draft so far. And didn't uh, Taylor Lewan retire? Did he? Yeah, someone retired. I think so. I think so. I, so I think this is like just a direct replacement. But literally, the only silver lining is that Broderick Jones and Christian Gonzalez still out there. Or only he didn't retire. Line. He got released. He got released. 
Lions take Jameer Gibbs. Really? Wait, what? You talking Wait, about 18? Why? He talking talk about 18. He got to be talking about 18. Unless the, did the Lions trade up? Did I miss something? I know. Yeah, yeah, did. yeah. Remember what I was talking about with the Cardinals? Oh. They, uh, yeah. You're they right. Got the, My fault. Yeah. But why would they need Jameer Gibbs? Golly. I mean, they lost uh, Jamal what's it, Jamal Williams, I guess. But they, they got they got back Montgomery from the oh, Bears. Oh, they did. Maybe they don't believe in Montgomery. Appreciate that, they Joel. Still got so they Swift. do got Jameer Gibbs. They still got DeAndre Swift. Georgia Bulldog. Who they, who they already drafted with a high pick like a hey. few years ago. Hey, I'm not complaining because that just means Gonzalez and all of these guys keep falling. Thank you. Thank, thank you. But that is crazy. These teams that need running back arguably the least are taking running back. It's crazy. But they are great running backs. That's the weird thing about it. They're great running backs, but it's these teams that... I thought the position was devalued. Why are they going so high? <laughs> two top 12 running backs. Wow. We have two running backs taken before one receiver, two corners. Um, What else? I mean, technically any guards. Well, Peter Skaronski is a guard. So. No wide receiver has been drafted yet. Yeah, I'm saying. And what, that's no supposed receiver. to be the hot position. <laughs> that was last draft, though. This draft, this draft yeah, ain't receiver crazy. It's, it's not as strong, but still with wide receivers' value. contracts. Yeah, yeah, positional value. Their contracts are shooting up through the roof. Yeah. Like, they were getting overdrafted last year, but yeah. running backs are getting overdrafted this year. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what the appeal is for a fifth-year option with a running back. But, hey, whatever. That's what they like. I'm happy. This draft is terrible and great at the same time. If we can somehow steal Christian Gonzalez or Broderick Jones, I'm ecstatic. But it's look, it's not looking too good right now for me overall. Jalen Carter to the Eagle, Eagles is probably going to give me nightmares tonight. I ain't going to lie. Oh, they got a lot of speed, I got to say that. Because him and Swift in the backfield, that is so much speed. They about to have fun. And the Lions are a sleeper team. And then they got Jamison Williams. Well, once he uh, get, <laughs> gets back from his gambling suspension, After six that games. is so much speed. Yeah, Jamison Williams was by far my favorite wide receiver last draft. He would easily and by far be my when favorite is this, receiver this When draft. is this guy actually going to play, play, though? Like, last year he was hurt. hurt all came but, like, three games. Season. <laughs> now he gets his gambling suspension. Why are they even gambling? But anyways, y'all got money. I don't care if it's a different sport. Boy, like, what's the point? You didn't see how it, like, happened? Like, how it wasn't just the players. It was the staff, too. Like, everybody was in on it. They fired the staff and everything. Wait, what? Yeah. It wasn't oh just God. players. It was, it was like, five, four or five players and, like, several staff members. Like, like it's like a whole thing. Only the Lions. Them. Only the Lions. Basically. But the weird thing is, the only reason the reason he only got suspended six games versus the other people that got a whole year in indefinitely is that they were betting on college games, but you're not allowed to bet on college games while at the facility, which is a weird rule. Like if you're in the, if you're in so your team facility, if he you was can't just bet in his games. car, he yeah, been literally straight. in his car in the parking lot, he would have been straight. Literally, it's such a <laughs> stupid petty rule, but you got to make six games for it. He, he probably had the background window on while he went to the facility, and that's how he got suspended. <laughs> so, Bajan Robinson and Jameer Gibbs are now the two highest drafted running backs in the past five years, and they're both in the same draft. That is crazy. I, yeah, I like. The, the Lions on the verge from being a playoff team, I, but I feel like picks like this are not quite doing it. Yeah, it doesn't take you I to mean, another level. It doesn't yeah, take you that next level. Their offense is always good. Their offense was good last year. It was just the other side of the ball that was the problem. But they get another playmaker when you already got a top draft pick. And DeAndre Swift, who is still very good, he's just he just made out injury of paper. Prone. Yeah, injury prone. He was like that and in Georgia that, too. And Montgomery, also good, but injury prone. But he's a decent back as well. Why do you need three of them? Just like the Falcons. You... Yeah, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Just like the Falcons. And I love running backs too, but like, come hey, on now. It's like, good. Look. It's good for the commanders. I ain't going to lie. Let more, let, let's go ahead and add three more running backs in there right now. As a matter of fact. It's Ezekiel Elliott was supposed I guess he still could be a future Hall of Famer, but he was supposed to be one of the best running backs ever. Where is he now? <laughs> yeah, you never know, man. Saquon Barkley. 
supposed to be like Marshall Falk 2.0. He's still a top five bat. But so he started but, to look like it last year once he was able yeah. to finally stay healthy. That's what I'm saying. How many times has he gotten hurt? The Infinite. Panthers thought it was better to trade Christian McCaffrey just because he can never stay on the field and that they just feel like he just wasn't worth the value despite how good of a player he was. He's played they, two positions. Yeah. And they still feel like, okay, he ain't worth all that. We should <laughs> trade him. And exactly. look, when they traded him, they got they had Chuba Hubbard and I think his last name was Robinson, the other the other guy that they had. They they were still good. They were they didn't they weren't worse without McCaffrey. You could argue they were probably even better without without him because it opened more of their offense up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see that. I can see an argument. So like, look, yeah. I just feel like I love running backs, fun to watch and everything. They're not worth this high of a draft pick. At all. I, I agree. I think it's quite odd. But, again, as a Commanders fan who's picking at 16, the more running backs that go before us, the better. We'll see. Who the Packers taking? Anybody know? So, we're seeing – I'm seeing – wait, oh, wait, the Packers. Oh, uh, they're taking Van Ness. Ah, oh, he was mocked to the Patriots. Wait, who did the team before them take? Wait. What's going Jameer on? Gibbs. No, the Lions. Wait, am I yeah, Lions was, Lions was before him, right? Oh, oh yeah. Okay, I gotta. I refresh. think. Yeah. I gotta refresh. Hold on, let me refresh. My thing is not refresh. NFL draft. Let me catch up. Let me get right. I just been sitting here eating. <laughs> let me go ahead and get right. NFL draft tracker. Let's do it. Are the dogs outside right now? I think I hear them barking. Yeah, they are outside. I hope they're having fun. All right, man. I, I, it's one random underrated thing about Atlanta: how dark, how late it gets dark here compared to everywhere else on the East Coast. Because we're really so far Yo, west is, that we should be a. a, a, a it is super weird because uh, time zone or whatever. whatever the I don't think I even. In. I don't think I even told you. I was in Brazil a few weeks ago, and uh, hey! it got dark at like six. Six? Yeah. <laughs> what were you doing in Brazil? Uh, for work. Got a company trip to Brazil. What are you doing? How do you end up in Brazil? And I hope you're in a <laughs> terrible part because Brazil is hard. Oh no, Sao Paulo. No, we were in the we oh, okay. were in the Brazil ice has some part beautiful Sao Paulo. parts, but boy, they have some terrible parts as well, man. Hey, I, I still love it. Like, even even the, well, at least the quote-unquote terrible parts of Sao Paulo, it's still, like, the architecture look nice. Yeah. Art integrated within the city. I loved it. I loved it. Well, Shay, y'all are up after the Packers pick. Somebody is saying that y'all are taking you know what? Will Levis. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Real funny, <laughs> but let me be right back. Let me get my orange juice before this pick. <laughs> Thank you, Mommy. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, where we at? Well, let me read the chat. Yeah, so somebody asked earlier, my favorite players available. Easily, Broderick Jones, Anton Harrison, and Christian Gonzalez. If Christian Gonzalez is there at 16, you got to take him. I think in a heartbeat. I, I was thinking tackle the whole time, but that's because I didn't think Devon Witherspoon or Christian Gonzalez would be there. But if Christian Gonzalez is there at 16, I think you just got to go ahead, man. But I still think we probably end up trading back. I'm not going to lie. But I, Christian Gonzalez is there. You got to take him. I ain't going to lie. Man, I'm sick of the Eagles right now, man. How did the Eagles, who were just in the Super Bowl, get the best player in the draft? I hate football, man. I swear I do. And now as a Georgia Bulldog fan, I got to root against Jalen Carter, Jordan Davis, and N'Kobe Dean twice a year. And we got Chase Roulier, who only plays half a season. Chris Paul and Sadiq Charles competing at left guard. Charles Leno at left tackle. We we gotta go. We gotta go offensive line in the first round. Unless Christian Gonzalez is there at sixteen, the pick is obviously tackled. It's gotta be man. This is bad a trade back because man, I'm sick man. Christian Gonzalez keep falling. Even though I'm not gonna lie, Patriots wise, shouts out to the Packers for getting Lucas Van Ness. Uh, you could argue best player available. Honestly, even though I don't want the Patriots to do this, Christian Gonzalez makes too much sense. Way too much sense for the Patriots right now. You could argue he's the best corner in the draft, one of the best players. That would be crazy. Oh, yeah, Christian Gonzalez? Yeah, that would be crazy, bro. 
Wait, still is trade up. Oh yeah, of course the Patriots trade back. Of, of course. course. Yeah, I'm about to say. Why of do we course. expect anything Shocker. different? Shocker. Why do we expect oh anything God. different? The Steelers are definitely going Christian Gonzalez or Broderick Jones. Like, for sure. We literally have the same needs as them. I was talking to Quaison, who's a Steelers fan, and we were talking about, man, we literally have the same needs. You think anyone playing harder than Leno for for Christian G? You, Rico, you think anyone is praying harder than Leno for, oh, for Christian Gonzalez? <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. That man's like, no tackle, no tackle, no tackle, no tackle. All right, come Why on, Steelers. Why get their 17th pick? We'll probably get, like, Five second round picks or something. Oh, no, Three good. fourth round picks. You good. You got 17th and a fourth round. It ain't really that bad. I hope they take Porter. Please, Steelers, take Porter. Do not oh, take you Christian know, that Gonzalez. That makes a lot of sense. Take Porter. <laughs> yeah, keep him, keep him in Pennsylvania. Keep him in Pennsylvania. Please, the. Oh, no, that, that, would, that, would, you know what? That would be really effed up, too, if they do take a different corner other than Joey Porter's son. So. You know what? They probably can't take corner unless it's Joey Porter Jr., right? I hope so. I don't want them to take Christian Gonzalez. Go ahead and let him fall. It was, it was like, Dad, so you thought, it's like, like if I'm Joey Porter Jr., I'm like, Dad, so you thought th this guy was better than me, huh? You, you took corner, <laughs> but you didn't take me. Personal. Real personal at the dinner table at Thanksgiving. <laughs> Real personal at Thanksgiving. So you're going to take all of them before me? You're going to trade up and not take me? I'm right there? Please be Joey Porter Steelers. Come on now. Penn State, keep him in Pennsylvania. His father, like Shay, you said, is a coach for the Steelers. It makes too much sense. He's a press man corner. You traded for Will Jackson. That's what you were hoping were getting in him. He didn't do that for you. Go get a man corner and Joey Porter. I'm just trying to sell him on Joey Porter so they don't take Christian Gonzalez. Keep it a secret. I do not want them to take Christian Gonzalez. Please, Joey Porter. Joey Porter. Joey Porter. Please. Please. I'm nervous right now. I still want to trade back even if Gonzalez is on the board. I can see the argument. I wouldn't be highly upset, but I like Christian Gonzalez to the point that I would just go ahead and take him because I didn't even expect him to be there. I'm not going to lie. And I can see us trading back up in the first. Remember uh, the Montez Sweat draft after Dwayne Haskins, we traded two second round picks, our second round pick that year and our second round pick the next year to trade back up into the late first. Maybe we could do that to get like an Anton Harrison. And honestly, Christian Gonzalez, a 16, Anton Harrison, somewhere in the in the late 20s, early 30s, A plus draft to me. You you can't you can't do better than that, honestly, at that point. Um, because Broderick Jones wouldn't make it to our next pick. But if we if the Washington Commanders select Broderick Jones or Chris or Christian Gonzalez, I am ecstatic. I am ecstatic. I, I'm happy. I'm happy either way. Broderick Jones. Broderick Jones or Joy. Broderick Jones or. Or Christian Gonzalez. Wait. Wait, they took who took Broderick Jones? I'd rather have more day two picks. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Wait, so what's going on? What's going on? I'm seeing Broderick Jones. So yep. wait, the the Steelers took Steelers, Broderick. Steelers took Broderick Jones. Okay. JPA football. That that, that looks like they, they've been on it. Dang, man. Broderick Jones and George Pickens? I have another team I got to root for again. I want to see, because Broderick Jones, people keep doubting him and act like he's sorry. I want him to go out there and prove everybody wrong. And George Pickens, same thing, went way later in the draft than he should have. Broderick Jones and George Pickens, let's get it. He said Jones is way overrated. See, yeah, watch the command center. I, I love his opinions, but we definitely disagree. I love Broderick Jones. I would, I would have been ecstatic to get him, but it is what it is. Um, I feel like we probably wouldn't have taken him anyway. And if he can go with George Pickens, I'm happy about that. And TJ Watt, them going against each other in practice every day, making each other better. I'm happy about that. But I want Broderick to go out there and, and prove he's the best tackle in this class. As a Georgia Bulldog fan, not an NFL analyst because I personally prefer Darnell Wright. But as a Georgia Bulldog fan, I want Broderick Jones, we look back five years from now, to be the best tackle in this class for recruiting reasons, of course. Of course for recruiting reasons. I know Kirby Smart is probably thinking the same thing. Jets cannot go corner, right? So that means Christian Gonzalez should be there for us at 16, right? Am I tripping? Am I tripping? Or are we trading back? Well, you we can never have too many good corners. Yes. Christian Gonzalez and, and Sauce Gardner? Come on now. Nobody's going to be able to pass the ball. <laughs> Think that's the plan. <laughs> that's the plan? Man, I... 
Come on now. Who would it? Nah, who? All right. Who? What's our guess for the I, Jets I, right now? You know what? I still fail to see how did the Jets still manage to get Green Bay's first round pick while still getting Aaron Rodgers? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Since when does the Jets make good trading decisions? <laughs> It's a new day, my boy. It's a new day. I'm sorry, man. It's a new day. Yeah. People acting up out here, man. People acting up. Messing up with what used to be history. What used to be an automatic. People are messing it all up now, man. So wait. Why would the Patriots trade back allowing the Jets to pick first before... That fourth round pick better be something. Belichick, Belichick drunk, bro. Bella, that fourth round pick better be crazy. It's going to be another tight end. <laughs> <laughs> For real. <laughs> or a long snapper or something that was projected in the seventh round. <laughs> hey, man, you can't question Bill Belichick. You can't do it, no matter how bad the pick is. Eh. Huh. Sure, I'm trying to be patient, you know. Try and be patient. These are tough times as a Patriots fan, I'll tell you that. These are the slum times of a Patriots fan. Talk to me when you have the second overall pick. <laughs> Talk about <laughs> these are the bad times. Talk to me when you win less than these are games. horrible times. Talk Tough to me times. when you win less than five games in a season. Tough times. Tough times. Yeah. Tough times. And I mean, okay. yeah, we have the second pick of the draft <laughs> and draft the injury prone defensive lineman who probably was a little overhyped but i mean we didn't we didn't get that <laughs> you suck that man shady is different man what's going on with the jets man what's going on wait who did the jets take because i'm seeing christian gonzalez is available to us at 16 you gotta take him we went to the pro day we brought him in for a visit we did so much stuff man you gotta take him. Yo, Am I tripping? Take Will Levis. That's what y'all gotta take. No, we take Will Levis. I'll, I'm, I'm officially uh, a Georgia Bulldog fan only. I will easily prefer to trade back. Trade back, Christian Gonzalez. Let's do it. Thank you for telling me to wipe my nose. I just noticed it too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Who did the Jets take? Because I'm seeing Michael Mayer. That's what you gotta take. Nah, nah. And that's not even a terrible pick, but no. Christian Gonzalez is there. He's best player available. Christian Gonzalez is best player available. Please, Christian Gonzalez is best player available. Who did the Jets take? Because everybody's saying that it's obvious that Christian Gonzalez is available to us at 16. Who did the Jets get? Who did they take? They must have took somebody bad because oh, nope. people are Go saying that the Jets take. pick was bad. I'm seeing the Jets pick was bad, but nobody's saying what it was. <laughs> they haven't picked yet? Garner and Gonzalez, they haven't picked. I'm seeing, I'm seeing on Twitter right now, like Nello, you know Matt Miller's brother. He said the Jets, like this pick is not it. Like, what did they do? I, I don't know what it is, but what's going on? I'm scared, y'all. I'm scared. Not gonna lie. Can we please get Gonzalez? Can we please get Gonzalez? What did the Jets do? What did the Jets do? I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I ain't going to lie, bro. What did the Jets do? Christian Gonzalez to trade back. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm leaning towards Christian Gonzalez, but a trade back wouldn't be terrible. But I'm nervous, man. I'm not going to lie. I am nervous. Are we going to end up with uh, this as, a, as our reaction? Are we going to end up with this as our reaction? Let's see, man. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes, man. I'm hoping I can do this. I'm hoping we can do this right here. <laughs> Hope we can do some Christian Gonzalez that, that, with this. That's going to be the reaction. That's going to be the reaction. Y'all ain't getting Christian Gonzalez. <laughs> oh, come on, bro. Please, please, please. Somebody said Will Levis is there, too. I beat, man. I'll walk will out. Will Levis is there. I He's will, there. I will walk away. He is there. I will walk away. Washington getting Stetson Bennett. I'm a, I'm assuming you're talking in the fifth, sixth round, right? That's what I'm assuming, right? <laughs> That's what I'm a, as a Georgia nah, Bulldog fan. Said, no, I said 16. <laughs> Why? I mean, Y'all need a veteran quarterback. You need, you need a winner. You need a Who's winner. more veteran than Stetson Bennett? He's like 37 years old. Thanks. Thanks for that. We we, <laughs> we need a winner. We need a, a Taylor Heineke replacement. 
<laughs> 16th overall. Well, better than Stetson Bennett. Replace mediocre with mediocre. <laughs> Don't hate on my boy like that, bro. I think Stetson Bennett is going to easily end up being better than Taylor Heineke, but we'll see. <laughs> so the- instead of a below average uh, backup, well, average backup quarterback, he'll be a slightly above average backup quarterback. Yeah, I'm not saying Stetson Bennett is about to go out there and be a top 20 quarterback, but I think he will be better than... Taylor Heineke being ranked 35th in QBR every year, giving us hope. I think he'll be better than than that. Taylor Heineke anyway, so he got to be better. He got to just assuming, just by age, just by (laughs) that. He's older than Taylor Heineke. (laughs) (laughs) He's almost as old as Brady at this point. Like, I mean, he has to be better. (laughs) Wait, so who did Jess take? I'm seeing Smith. Are we talking about Cam Smith? Who's Smith? What's Smith? Jackson Smith and Jigba? Who's Smith? What Smith? Nolan? Really? They took I my still boy. Don't see anything. They Hold took up. my boy. Yes, sir. Go crazy. Where my Georgia stuff at, man? Oh, my God. We do it again. Please not. Georgia so first rounders. Three. We, we, let, we let Jets take this, right? Oh, my God. Yes. Three Georgia first rounders so far. Get my boy. Where King are you Ringo seeing this? My and Darnell in there. Me these picks. Yes, sir. Did they really take Nolan Smith? Who are your sources? I don't. I don't see this anywhere. I don't see it anywhere either. And I'm on Twitter heavy right now. I'm not seeing it. But if Nolan Smith is the pick for the Jets, that's three Georgia first rounders, and we might have two more coming. Stop playing with me. So we let. So we let the Jets get a get a linebacker that runs a four three nine. <laughs> we we really gonna let the Jets do that, huh? That's better CJ Mosley, huh? Man, about to end up being a better CJ Mosley. Come on, Christian Gonzalez. Come on, Christian Gonzalez. Come on, Christian Gonzalez. Come on. Do not. T- I like Emmanuel Forbes, but Christian Gonzalez, you got to take him over Emmanuel Forbes. You got to. I don't even feel like that should be a debate. I like Emmanuel Forbes a lot. Christian Gonzalez should not be here at 16. You got to take him. That's arguably one of the biggest steals in the draft. Nothing is going to be a bigger steal in this draft than Jalen Carter to the Eagles. You can't. You literally can't do better than that. But if we could get Christian okay. Gonzalez, it's close. Okay, so uh, Jets are t- taking Will McDonald. So that's what that's what Matt Miller's brother was talking about. Will McDonald? Yeah. <laughs> hey, yes, sir, Jess. There, you as a Patriots fan should be the happiest out of everybody. Okay. Will McDonald Don't is know. a crazy reach. Crazy. Okay, great, great. They know crazy. much about him. So that, that's there's a reason. I, there's I a reason you that. don't know much okay, about him. Great, great. That is no, that's the biggest great. reach so far to draft easily by far. That's insane. They folded that bag right there. They might as well have just traded back again. You still could have got them later. Probably could have got them in the second or third we'll round. Take it. <laughs> we'll That's take a it. crazy pick. All right, Washington, don't play. Ooh, so how poetic is this? Your Washington is next. New England is ne- is right after. How poetic is Man, that? Man, it just works out so perfectly, don't it? Now. As long as we get the right player, I'm gonna be happy. But if we don't, I'm gonna be mad. So let's let's just keep our expectations a little. You low. guys get a crazy reach as well. No, and then hey, we get the player hey, that you that you want to hey, have. Chill out. I like that one. Chill out. I like out. that. All right, all right. We do a reach. Y'all get Will Levis. We even. <laughs> we we, we don't even need Will Levis. We already got our mediocre no. mediocre Go ahead. quarterback. Like Go ahead. no, we don't need we Will Levis. We already got our mediocre quarterback. <laughs> Come on, Gonzalez is right there, y'all. Let's get who it, man. This, who is this kid in the green suit? It's kind of annoying me being overly enthusiastic for no reason. They're not even he's in from New York. York. Right? I'm about to say he's from New but, York, bro. You know but, how they are. Aren't they in bro. Kansas City? Yeah. Or am I wrong? New Yorkers take New York everywhere with them. I'm from Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> New Yorkers take New York everywhere. Come on now. Oh, my bad. That's a make wish kid. Okay. No, no make it fun. No, oh, okay. We gotta we gotta erase everything we just said. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What what I said did not just happen. My <laughs> bad. My bad. Shouts out to him, man. Shouts out to him. Shouts out to the kid. Come Shouts on, out to the kid. <laughs> Brooklyn son. Hey, I'm walking in. 
and this is coming from a person that loves New York. New York is like my favorite city to be in, but New York is still New York, and boy, the Brooklyn. I've never been to the Brooklyn Zoo. I've been to the Bronx Zoo like eight times. I've never been to the Brooklyn Zoo. It can't be as good. I mean, the Bronx Zoo, then again, is, is free I'm, on Wednesdays. So. I've never been on any zoo since like eight years old. I don't, I don't even know what a zoo looks like anymore. <laughs> the Bronx Zoo, the Atlanta one, the Atlanta one is better. How is Zoo Atlanta? I've never been there. It's actually really fine. The, the thing they do in the winter is really fine as well, like the little like Christmas lights thing and stuff. But And they got like the Japanese or China. I forgot which one it is with the little lanterns. They like do life-size animal lanterns. It's, it's really cool. But um, Why is this kid so hyped up? I'm, I'm not even hearing a single thing you're saying because I got this on mute. But like, look, look at him. He's from New York. A 6'3", 239. That's pretty small for edge rusher. We'll take it. Uh, I'm hey, not going to we'll say it. I'm not going to say our pick. Uh, but it seems like you're happy, huh? I'm not saying nothing. Where are you finding this from? My, my Twitter. Saying... Okay, let's see what the commandos are taking. Why you keep calling us that? Why you keep calling us that? Why? Okay. So hopefully we get the guy that you want. I ain't saying nothing till everybody else know. Are you happy or sad though? I can't say, bro. I can't say. <laughs> I can't say, bro. I feel like the cat is out. I feel like everybody knows, man. Ooh, I got to scroll down this big board to find this guy. Okay. Will McDonald? Oh, no, no. What, who Our the commanders? pick. Our... Who the commandos <laughs> pick? <laughs> Does everybody know yet? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know he. Yeah, I know. I know. I mean, that's not a bad pick. You know, that's not a bad pick, but... uh. It's not the pick I wanted. I'll tell you that. It's not the pick I wanted at all. I mean, but then at that point, just trade back. Lead division one in pick sixes. I, if anything, trade back, man. I blame Mel Kiper. He mocked him to us weeks ago, and he made it happen. Ron Rivera probably saw it and was like, "Well, it is Mel Kiper." I mean, he needs to eat some meat. Whoa! Hey Woo! yo, on that one. <laughs> hey yo, Woo! that one. Hey, 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 yo. Hey, rewind that back like I like I was saying about that kid. Rewind no, that back. I ain't say. I ain't no, say. No, sir. Ain't say right. we, got the, we got the next pick in the draft. We got the New England Patriots. Now, let's see if we can get Christian Gonzalez. <laughs> Thank you, Mommy. Appreciate you. Pro Bowl sponsor member for 34 months. Thank you, mommy. Appreciate that big time. Sorry you didn't get your pick. I'll hand you some cash on YouTube. Doesn't get a cut. Thank you, mommy. <laughs> Thank you. Now, I am pretty sad. Like, if I had to grade that pick, I would give it like a C. Maybe a C plus. Not terrible, but I... Christian Gonzalez there. Trade back. I'm sad. I'm personally sad. I'm more, but I am more upset about Jalen Carter's going to the Eagles than I am us taking Emmanuel Forbes. The Jalen Carter to the Eagles is the worst part of this whole draft to me. That that's like I'm. I don't even want to be here no more. I don't even want to watch the NFL no more after that. But that just, I I'm not a hey, big. Hey, Rashad Thompson, are you done? Are you done? My he said, if we pick Forbes, I'm done. We just pick. Done? We Are just you pick done? somebody that I'm 50 for. I'm 40 pounds heavier than this man. <laughs> I'll say I'm about 30. Yeah, I'm about 30 pounds heavier, and I'm shorter. I'm about his height. He weighs six foot, six foot one, 166 pounds. I'm literally him, but just 30 pounds heavier, 40 pounds heavier, and he's about to play corner. I, I'm, I'm confused, but if that's what they like, that's what they like. I guess I. You easily could have traded back and still got him. That's why I say he need to add some calories to his diet. That's why I really... No, no, no. You said he nah, needs to eat more meat. That's what you that's, said. No, nah, that's why I said, no, nah, he need to add some calories. That's what I said. No, 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 no. That's not what you said. That's not what you said. But at the same time, though, like, 
I mean, he did run a 4-3-5, but there's a reason. When you're that little, you better run a 4-3-5, basically. And we did want to add speed. Ooh, let's see the receivers they'll go against. Ooh, A.J. Brown. Match him up on him. Everybody's saying, everybody's mad at Fred Smoot because he went to uh, Mississippi State like uh, Emmanuel Forbes and he made it happen. Everybody's (laughs) blaming Fred Smoot right now. But Fred Smoot, last time I checked, saw us getting uh, Darnell Wright and Darnell Washington. So you can't blame him too much. But golly, I'm I'm not happy with this pick. I'm not upset, but it's like, eh, you know, it's eh. Christian Gonzalez on the board. You could trade back and get Anton Harrison. This was not it to me. This is a C, at best C plus. But we'll see. Maybe he balls out. I felt kind of the same way with Jahan Dotson. Literally, I felt the exact same way with Jahan Dotson. With the guys that were available, and then we didn't take uh, Jamison Williams or Kyle Hamilton when they were there. Just like now, we had Christian Gonzalez and Anton Harrison, and we ended up taking Emmanuel Forbes. It's the same exact feeling, but you never know. Maybe Emmanuel Forbes is that guy. Now, at the same time, I'm trying to just be glass half full. This man is pick six God. And one thing about our secondary, we do not get interceptions. We do not score. We don't have playmakers. I mean, it's Kendall Fuller only because people keep trying them. Remember, Dak Prescott threw an interception right to his chest. He dropped it. Then he did it the next play. Of course, he was going to pick it off for a pick six. Emmanuel Forbes is probably our best playmaking corner, but we'll see, man. So this is Josh Harris's Imagine first the pick. Imagine A.J. Brown on him. 230 pound AJ Brown on Emmanuel Forbes. Yeah, now Benjamin St. Juice on AJ Brown, Emmanuel Forbes on Devonta Smith, easily. Easily. I see people are upset in the, uh, in the. yeah, I'm mad too. Christian Gonzalez was the best corner. All they're going to do is just going to switch. Forbes. They're, they're, they're going to switch and make sure Emmanuel no, Forbes is on AJ Brown. Follow him. Follow him. No. Benjamin St. Juice, you're locked on. Man coverage all day to AJ Brown. We are not letting Emmanuel Forbes cover AJ Brown. That is. A Ooh. super dud. That's automatic Ooh. three touchdowns. Post up. Oh no, the Patriots! I hate y'all. 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 Y'all traded back and still got them. I hate y'all. I hate y'all. I hate y'all. I hate y'all. The Patriots traded back and still got Christian Gonzalez. I hate. I hate the draft. I hate the draft. I hate the draft. Y'all got it. I law. Y'all got it, bro. Ellis Hobbs. Christian Gonzalez. I love it. Stefan Gilmore. Welcome to a long line of pa- of great Patriots cornerbacks, Christian Gonzalez. People leaving the stream. We just had 430 people in here. We're down to 356. Oh, come We're down back to 356 because he remained you a force. Thanks. Go. Didn't I tell you? What if what if the the Washington Commandos pick someone you don't want to pick? And then the Patriots end up getting the player that you really wanted. It actually happened. My ideal scenario actually happened. Uh, How does it feel? NFL Don't you sucks, feel good? Bro. I mean, I feel great. I feel great. Hey, man, Dylan Rayola, bro. That's all I got. I'm all, I, all I got is Dylan Rayola. Georgia Bulldogs, let's go. Back to back to back. Dylan Rayola on the way. I, I, I am ecstatic. That's all I got. I, I, I'm feeling really good right now. <laughs> I got Dylan. Uh, Dylan Rayola, that's all I got, man. How did Christian the, Gonzalez make it the to the fifth Patriots? on the big board and on the NFL Athletic? He was and fifth the on draft their network. Big board. And the draft network. I think he's fifth or sixth. He, no, he was a top 10 player, in my opinion. I don't know how. Yeah, he was fifth on the draft network as well. Nah, oh, it's over. Let's go. Let's go. It's a cool pick. I think he'll be good. Hopefully he surprises me like Jahan Dotson. But I'm I'm sick. Like if Christian Gonzalez wasn't there, then Emmanuel Forbes, I'm happier. It's like whatever. Like it's cool. But the fact that we passed on Christian Gonzalez to take Emmanuel Forbes is why I'm upset. Because I think Christian Gonzalez can literally be Sauce Gardner eventually. I literally think he has Sauce Gardner guy. level potential. Y'all got a guy that was 6'1, 166. We got a guy at 6'1 to 197. A lot of mercy, man. I hate it. That's right. I hate it here. I do hate it here. I love it here. He's a pick six monster, but I wanted Christian Gonzalez for sure, man. But, hey, man, Emmanuel Forbes is our guy. It's time to start reviewing some more tape, even more than I already watched. And and (laughs) I got to hype him up, man. I got to convince myself this was an excellent pick. (laughs) 
Ooh, I am happy. Let's go. Let's go. I don't know. Y'all traded back and got Christian Gonzalez. We actually got a draft pick I'm happy about. Like, usually you don't question Bill Belichick because it ends up turning to be a great draft pick, but it's never really the draft pick you think. You know immediately yeah. is great, yeah. Yeah, it's usually so like, okay, let, let's look this guy up. He must be good if the Patriots select him. But like, no, this guy was already one of the top prospects of the draft. I think also what people don't realize is this is the first corner Ron Rivera's ever drafted in the first round. That's That's insane in itself. That's like, he must be really high on Emmanuel Forbes. Like, they must think Emmanuel Forbes is heaven sent for Christian Gonzalez to be there. But again, the only reason I got to give them the benefit of the doubt is because when they took Jahan Dotson, everybody else was even more upset than we are now. Like, Jahan you Dotson see? was like, what? You see his rating? He has a 92 overall rating on NFL Network. I don't even know what that is. That's not on Madden, <laughs> but he has a 92 overall rating. I don't even know what that rating. is. <laughs> and he's Ecuadorian or Colombian. I think that's Ecuadorian. He's Ecuadorian. So I mean, y'all take y'all take mid corners and make them great. Christian Gonzalez is going to be all we, pro. <laughs> all pro. He's going to be Champ Bailey, Sauce Gardner in his prime. He's going to be all of that. He is going to be all of that. I'm trying to look at the benefits because, I mean, statistically, We might actually Emmanuel, pay this guy a big contract like we don't do with any of our corners. We might actually <laughs> pay him a big contract. Might actually, yeah, might actually make it past the rookie contract. Might actually. I know. Shocker, Fifth right? round. Fifth round option picked up and everything. Crazy. It's a, it's a great time. A great time to be a Patriots fan. Well, at least a better time to be a Patriots fan than, than last year. But, Let yeah. Me you're still in the draft. Is is it's Jalen Carter to the Eagles one, Christian Gonzalez to the Patriots two right now. I ain't gonna lie, but glass half full, and I'm I'm gonna do whatever I can to make this Emmanuel Ford pick sound great. He's statistically the best corner in the draft, but he's so little. He's so sounds good. Little sounds but good. He allowed a 1.4 passer rating in man coverage. Like he's literally what we need. He's just so little, and I'm worried about. I um, mean, just to Shay's point, when A.J. Brown is matched up against him and he's less than 170 pounds, now what? Think if they play the Falcons and you got Kyle Pitts and Drake London. What are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> Benjamin St. Juice and Jamin Davis, I guess. When you go to the Chargers, when you got Keenan Allen and Mike Williams, what are you going to do? Right, Keenan Allen on uh, Max Singer, bro. We ain't worried about him no more. <laughs> But I hope I hope we don't have to. I don't want to play them. I don't want to play any tall receivers with Emmanuel Forbes, please. That's Benjamin St. Juice's job. And, I mean, we said it coming into the draft. We wanted a guy with speed. I prefer Christian Gonzalez by far. When you play the far, Seahawks, bro. I know they got Tyler Lockett, but DK Metcalf is there. The what are you going to do? Benjamin St. Juice. We got, we got the six foot three guy on one side, but he's going to have to follow him. If DK Metcalf ends up matched up on Emmanuel Forbes, I am scared. But I guess maybe maybe we'll use him as a slot corner. But I feel like 16th overall is rich for a slot corner. That's for us, yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like oh. we're gonna make them outside. Maybe Unless they're the honey badger, you don't you don't do that. Yeah. Unless they're honey badger, they can play both that and safety, and transcend the defense. You don't do that. It's it's a weird pick, man. I. Pff. There has to be something with Christian Gonzalez that we don't know. I think the best way to word it is that I'm lukewarm with the pick, but I'm optimistic. Again, if it, if it weren't for the pick last year with Jahan Dotson in the first, I would be a little bit less optimistic. But, I mean, we got to give them the benefit of the doubt because most people thought the Jahan Dotson pick was like we were tripping. Like okay, we were just Columbia. super tripping. But Jahan Dotson turned out to be arguably the best receiver from the past draft class other than being hurt. He was leading the league in touchdown receptions. He had Carson Wentz and Taylor Heineke as his quarterback. It's just like, so Jahan Dotson was a still in the 16th overall pick. Maybe Emmanuel Forbes is the same thing, man. But I would have I would have traded back and taken Deontay Banks or Anton Harrison over Emmanuel Forbes at 16. We're taking Christian Gonzalez at 16. But I, I, I thought uh, with all of the trade back rumors that we were going to do that. But it is what it is, man. 
Oh, uh, to answer Johnny Boat's question, um, he asked what does Christian Gonzalez run in the 40? He runs a 4.38. So he has 30 pounds over Emmanuel Forbes. Emmanuel Forbes runs a, what, a 4.35? He yes. runs a 4.38 just as fast, but 30 more pounds. 41 and, and a half longer. inch vertical jump, too. And Freak longer. of nature. Bro, just different. Bro. Hey, hey, yo, by the way, but yeah. <laughs> For, 41 inch vertical jump. Now, even though I consider the Forbes pick a slight reach, it's not as bad as that Will McDonald before us with the Jets. That's the biggest reach in the draft. So at least we can say we don't have the biggest reach in the draft. I'll take that. But yeah, it does suck. Like my boy Tech just said, we waited two hours for this. We waited We waited all of these months of film study. I watched Broderick Jones for days, Darnell Wright for days, Christian Gonzalez for days for us to take Emmanuel hey, Forbes the way we did. But hey, I'll, I, I'll I'm tell optimistic. You, I'll tell you what. Tell you what, make that Christian Gonzalez re re report video. I'll definitely will give it a like for first time. I'll watch that video <laughs> nonstop. Make make that video for the Patriots. I'll I mean, tell all my Patriots fans. We'll see how this goes, man. I'm excited. We'll see. I mean, again, Emmanuel Forbes is statistically the best corner in this class. Like, if you're talking about a playmaker, ball skills, like pick six God, he's that. And he played in the SEC. So you also I gotta give him credit <laughs> that he played in the SEC. So we'll see. I'm about to I'm about to uh I'm about to, you know, I'm gonna flip this. I'm gonna make this the best pick of all time. We're gonna talk about it. I'm excited. Get get, get this New England guy out of here. <laughs> they don't like me here. I'm they about don't to say like if me. anything, y'all just feeding into him and making him happier. <laughs> y'all might want to leave that one alone. Let me go look at Walter Football and see what he got to say. I'm just curious, man. Well, I'm gonna look uh, at all the it, grades. His site's been his site's been crashing. I had to go somewhere else. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure everybody and their mama on. Uh, you need you need a better server. It ain't got no helm on her. Let's see what this uh, hot Celtics game is is on about. While this little inf intermission is here, let's see. All right, let's see. Oh, close game right now. 98-96, Celtics way. Since 2020, no players have more interceptions than Emmanuel Forbes. I mean, it's like statistically, it's like all the right answers. Like, if you're looking at stats, he's everything you want. And if you're talking about attitude, if you're talking about competitive nature, the fact that he played in the SEC, it's kind of, all right, the best way to word it is he's kind of like the Bryce Young of corners. All of the stats, all of the traits you want are there, but he's little. That's literally it. Like, he's literally, the best way to word it is literally he's the Bryce Young of corners. Christian Gonzalez has the size, the speed that you want. Every These other guys, Devon Witherspoon has the crazy tape. But I'm, I'm going to, after this live stream, I'm going to dive into Emmanuel Forbes tape. And I'm going to give you all my honest opinion. It's going to be a lot of stats involved, though, because, again, statistically, he's the best corner in this class. But it's just the size, man. It's the size, it's the size, but if we're talking about level of competition, if we're talking about statistics, if we're talking about attitude, he it's him. It's him. If we can get him to gain some weight, the pick is probably going to be amazing. And we did need speed. We did need speed. We've been saying that. We have a lot of great corners, but we need speed. No, I was listening to The Athletic, and they were uh, talking about Emmanuel Forbes, and uh, it's it's – you said that he can't gain some weight, but what they were saying is that his body type, he just might be like that. Like, it's like Devontae Smith Well, at the same time. Like, they can, you can only do so much, like, for his body type. Like, he can't really add much weight to that body type, despite him being 6'1". Well, speak. oh, yeah, the server is crashed. My, oh, my mom just texted me something. I ain't even about to repeat that. I... It's just a, it's it's bad. It has to deal with what I said. So you're in the clear, but it's something. Yeah, else. yeah, I I know. I was aware. I was aware. <laughs> but oh, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, speaking of Devonta Smith, he's the type of guy that can shut that guy down. AJ Brown, we got Benjamin St. Juice for that. So it's just like I guess they wanted to make sure they had the guy that can cover the DK Metcalfs. We already have that. We have the guy that can cover the AJ Browns. We have the guy that can cover the uh we gotta play all these guys, I believe, this year as well. We gotta cover Drake London. Um, and then for the shiftier guys who were killing us, Brandon Cooks just got traded to the Cowboys. We gotta cover him. He was killing us last year. He killed Kendall Fuller, everybody last year. 
So we got Emmanuel Forbes for Brandon Cooks. We got Emmanuel Forbes for Darius Slayton. We got Emmanuel Forbes for Devonta Smith. And that that's that's what it is. That's basically it. And again, statistically, the best corner in college. So we yeah. I just hope the size doesn't end up killing them, man. I really do. I really do, man. I'm scared. And look at us. We got Garrett Wilson we got to worry about. We got Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle. We have um, Stephon Diggs. <laughs> so, yeah, we need – We I don't <laughs> care about tackling. We need someone that can cover. Who cares about tackling? We need someone that can cover those receivers. <laughs> y'all y'all would like – y'all would like his tackling a lot more if he would have went to Washington. I'll tell you that much. Now y'all don't like I mean, I've tackling. been – I've been saying that it was questionable, but it was something you can work on. And I don't prioritize it that much. Now, Emmanuel Forbes is the better tackler. But Benjamin St. Juice, who's our starting outside corner right now, our best corner, is a pretty poor tackler as well. So I, as long as you can lock somebody down and don't allow them to get the ball, you shouldn't have to tackle anyway. I mean, hopefully you can help in the run. But our defensive line and linebackers are supposed to handle that. And we have an extra safety on the field pretty much the majority of the time anyway that's supposed to handle that. So I personally don't prioritize tackling that much. So I'm like in between y'all where Christian Gonzalez is tackling is a problem. But I don't think it's that serious. You can work around it. Um, but Emmanuel Forbes, man, I'm about to, hey, I'm about to, hey, I'm about to watch some film. Matter of fact, I'm going to start watching now while we're talking, while we look at these other draft picks. And we're going to get to it, man, because this man, hey, I'm going to convince y'all that he was a great pick. We're going to get to it. Watch this. Watch this. I had to switch it over to this hot Celtics game real quick. It is really tight. So Is it really for real? Be, yeah, 104-102 with 10-27 left. Ooh, yeah, I'm going to have to pull that up at some point. Okay, okay, I'm going to have to pull that up. I need to pull that up. I know a little off topic, but did you see the Miami game yesterday? Ooh, they crazy. Jimmy Butler, but I, it's crazy because we always say playoff Jimmy, and we just be having fun with it, but it's really a thing. At this point, <laughs> man, after man, multiple years, yeah, after multiple <laughs> years, we just got to give it to him. He's literally that. Literally that. Ooh, the Bucks took somebody way sooner than I thought they would. I didn't think Kalaja Kansi was going to go this soon, but mm. I'm watching the game, too, pulling for the Hawks. I am as well. I didn't know the Hawks. I thought they were going to get swept. So the fact that we have a chance, oh, let's get I it. I am super shocked. Like, this might go to seven. <laughs> I am shocked. This I has been, a, this been a crazy playoff so far. The two, the two teams that were supposed to go to the Eastern Conference Finals, the Bucks got eliminated. The Celtics are having a hard time of getting uh, getting Atlanta out. Yeah, this this has been pretty entertaining. <laughs> Let me go ahead and pull that team up. Let me. I've been. Uh, I didn't know until like a few days ago that Jimmy Butler was a diehard, diehard diehard georgia bulldog fan i am now rooting for really? them to go all the way yes like there's clips of him like i never paid attention i don't really watch heat games but like when he's walking through the tunnel to go like get ready for the game he has georgia hoodies on georgia shirts and he's on. from like milwaukee or something he's from texas um or, oh yeah, so it's really texas, random yeah. um i had to look it up i didn't know either until i looked it up i was like where is he from he's not from georgia i know he's not from georgia so but he's from texas um i had the same question as you too i was like where is he from uh, and and then even like there was a clip recently that went viral on Twitter re like a couple of days ago of like him watching the Ohio State Georgia playoff game and when they missed the kick and everything he was running around yelling at people's faces and stuff everybody that was in the room so I'm rooting Jimmy Butler is my favorite player in the playoffs as of now with Anthony Edwards knocked out which we already knew that was gonna happen I'm surprised they didn't get throw, swept he has no help in chairs like a WWE wrestler he has no well. help don't 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 take that contract. Do not take that contract. Leave. Go to the Hawks. Go to the Lakers. I don't care. Leave. What you Timber mean Wolves. not take that contract? No, I, it's not look, worth nah, it. It's nah, not that, worth that it. That team's in shambles, but wait, he's gonna get paid absolutely crazy. He's in shambles, bro. No, he's in shambles. Take big money somewhere else. You'll get the super max after that, I guess. But don't, don't, don't do it now. Don't. He barely even made the All Star team. And he's he's easily the most entertaining player in basketball. He's averaging it, it, thirty a game next season. He is averaging. Well, 
might be 27 because I feel like that spacing on the floor is going to affect it's them. It's terrible. But on, on the right team, they'll average 30 a game next season because, yeah, in terms of potential, he's up there with anyone. Like, this might be future best player in the league. My pro- Exactly, and I agree. My problem with him and my problem with the Timberwolves, even worse than the losing and not making it out of the first round ever with the way the team is constructed, is that he's the most entertaining player in basketball, hands down, off the court. We can argue on the court. Off the court, interviews, and, play style, he's the most entertaining player in basketball. Why and, is he not that, marketed as much as John Morant? It's the Timberwolves. I, I feel, yeah, 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 it's definitely Minnesota. But then again, you could say Memphis is kind of a small market, but John but Morant Memphis, is At least you got rappers from there, though. People pay attention to Memphis because at least there's rappers there. Cities with famous rappers people pay attention to regardless, kind of. I, I feel like Anthony Edwards now, I think the next season, he, he's going to get there because, remember, this is only his second year. And I don't know. I think he probably got the vibe from people because, I mean, John Morant, even though he likes to act like he's about that life and everything, uh, uh, Anthony Edwards got the Atlanta accent, the Atlanta slang. Like he's, he's little baby's unapolog- friend in real life before basketball. Like he really, <laughs> they, he really yeah, from so, that. So 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 like advertisers might think like, oh, he probably doesn't have like the the right marketing fit. But now when they see him in interviews, see how professional he is. Like even super humble. Or him talking yeah. about you know, Alexander Walker. Like yeah, I think now he's gonna get these endorsements coming in. And that share thing aside, which is overblown anyway, yeah, it's stupid, to make yeah, it's a joke petty. about that. But like yeah, like I think I think he's gonna get commercials. He better. I'm like just... it needs to be commercials. It needs to be front page of Bleacher Report all the time because he does even the Carlos posters. Carlos Towns got commercials, so like yeah, I don't true. think I'm, I don't think the small market thing is a problem because Carl Cat got commercials. Is it? I just need more. I feel like if he was on the Knicks or the Lakers, he would already be. The oh, most. no question. Yeah, no question. But yeah, but I see what you're saying. Like he can still achieve it in in Minnesota, but it's happening way slower than it should be because he's literally the most entertaining player in basketball. Look at Dame Lillard. Dame Lillard's in Portland. He got <laughs> yeah, commercials right. everywhere. Portland. <laughs> I needed to I needed to kick up though. There's no player in the NBA more entertaining than Anthony Edwards. If we we can argue highlights, we can argue because the posters that he did during the during quarantine as well, like like um during COVID when they didn't have people in the stands, the one time he posterized that tall Asian guy, that was one of the best dunks I've ever seen. And he does it all the time. He oh, makes yeah. step back you- game winners. He's talking. Tra- you can hear him mic'd up like through the um like the refs mic like after he hits a shot. He'd be like, you suck, or, or ah, he'd be like laughing like he's like the most entertaining player on the court, talking trash-wise, interviews. He's like the Marshawn Lynch. Like, I just don't understand why he's not more marketed. So I want him out of Minnesota, but especially because they're not going to go anywhere with a poor guy having to carry the team. I, I just really I th- feel They're going to have to trade one of them, Gobert or, or Carl Towns. They're going to have to trade one of them. What was the point of trading spacing... for him? If you're yeah, going to so, do that, like, and, why? And you, know, and you know what's funny? The the center that they drafted, Walker Kessler. If you were to do that trade with Utah now straight up, they won't even accept Gobert back for Walker Kessler because Walker Kessler <laughs> basically Gobert is hooping. Look at his stats. Yeah, he hooping, he hooping. But 20, 21 years old. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord! Worst Somebody about to say what Levis. All right, let me get on my Twitter feed. I'm just going to keep it on the NBA feed on my TV, but let me get on the Twitter feed to see updated picks right now. Man, what's going on in the draft? I missed a few things. We started talking about Anthony Edwards, Emmanuel Forbes versus Christian Gonzalez. What's actually going on? We got... Wait, we're still on the Seahawks? We we did all of that talking. It's only been two picks. <laughs> that was like twenty minutes of talking. What 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 just happened? What what happened to the draft? Why did we slow down so dramatically? Oh, the Seahawks took Nolan Smith. Yes, sir, Georgia. Let's get Keely Ringo and Darnell Washington in there as well, so we can kill the first round. That's a recruiting Yo, pitch. Yo, a- AJ Brown made a great point because he said on his uh, Twitter, "Can we have some wide receivers off the board, please?" This hasn't been one wide receiver taken, Bro, which is wild because it felt like there was like, I don't know, because that's just been a big bud. Like, you're taking a slot guy this early. I don't, I, but the thing is, it was crazy because we had like, what, four wide receivers taken already like last year. 
at this they point. They were just better. Jackson Smith and Jigba is extremely underrated, though. I feel like people are really disrespecting him right now, but it's this but receiver would, class but ain't would, it. But would you take a slot only guy this high? No, I wouldn't. I personally wouldn't know. Even if we need a receiver, no, I'm good. So exactly. That's why Jackson Smith and Jigba just hasn't got drafted. Oh, wow. Jalen Ramsey says the Emmanuel Forbes commander's pick is his favorite pick of the draft. Okay. I guess maybe he knows something that we just don't yet. Maybe Ron Rivera and, and, and Jalen, and, uh, uh, what's his name, Jalen Ramsey on the same page, well, I guess. Oh, speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. We talk about Jackson Smith and Jigba. He got picked by the Seahawks. Oh, I th- somebody said, I thought somebody says uh, Nolan Smith. God, man, people keep pump faking with Nolan Smith. Go ahead and take my boy. My boy A-Rod, the guy with the super chat, man. Appreciate that for the donation. I'm super ecstatic. Dallas and Eagles didn't get Bajan, and I was livid about the Forbes pick. But after talking to a few folks, I feel way better. I'm telling y'all, after this live stream, I'm going to do a video breaking down why y'all should love Emmanuel Forbes. I, you will see. I got y'all. I got y'all. I, I think, well, I'm like reading comments that just about every play nowadays has a slot receiver. Folks don't run too much heavy sets. Slot guys are valid. It's just the thing is, I just feel like it gets slot. I think slot guys are easier to find than x and y receivers in terms of like good slot receivers they're easier to find yeah so drafting one in the first round they gotta be like almost cooper cup level okay on the slot or something okay at yeah. least that's how i personally feel like how you feel about that Rico? yeah i mean yeah you better go out there and ball out you better be cd lamb cooper cup you better <laughs> you better go out there and go stupid especially this early in the draft Oh, hey, he said he's the OAC competition picking people off left and right. I love Forrest, man. Glad we got him. Rico, I got you. I'm paying attention to Twitter. Appreciate that, Captain. I haven't been on it as much. Now I'm focused on Emmanuel Forbes. I'm, I'm like, literally watching stuff on him right now, and I'm taking notes, and I'm, I'm looking for more statistics because he is, I mean, if we're talking about statistically, he is that guy, but we'll see, man. And he played in the SEC, so... He is kind of a different type of guy, but we'll see how this goes, man. We'll see how it goes. Literally, my only problem is that he's underweight. He's literally the Bryce Young of corners. You can argue statistically in certain traits, and tape-wise, you can argue he's the best corner in the class, but but this man weighs 40 less pounds than me at basically the same height. And that, that does concern me because I'm chilling making videos for y'all. He's got to go out there and cover A.J. Brown. So I, <laughs> it's definitely a concern, but we'll see. It's the Bryce Young of corners. Does it say more about me or about, about him that I'm shorter and weigh 30 more pounds than him? <laughs> you don't look and fat. And that says more about me. I, I, don't say, no, no, I don't think you don't look <laughs> fat to me. That's just a, <laughs> it's just a little guy, man. But, hey, he, hey, it didn't matter in the SEC. We'll see if it matters at the NFL level. We'll see. And he does play the run well. If we had to say the three, the top three corners in this draft that play the run well, that are at the very least first and second round pick worthy, is Devon Witherspoon, Emmanuel Forbes, and maybe you could throw somebody else in there. So, I mean, I guess they wanted somebody that could play the run as well, but he's just so little. And, I mean, you can play the run as well as you want, but Derrick Henry coming up on the <laughs> – Derrick Henry coming around the edge, I mean. But we'll see. Somebody made a point earlier that you don't necessarily have to add weight. Just convert that uh, the weight that you currently have into muscle and you should be straight. So we'll see. We'll see. I just, I mean, we're going to have to scheme him into certain situations where he doesn't have to deal with that. But I just think, I think the parallels with Jahan Dotson are too perfect. Nah, Rich, I don't know, bro. I think at this point, I think people are trolling me in the chat. Ma, we have 324 concurrent viewers right now. Um... But yeah, I think Emmanuel Forbes, again, I'm even if even if I never watched a lick of Emmanuel Forbes tape, I would give the commanders the benefit of the doubt because everybody questioned the Jahan Dotson pick, maybe except for a handful of people. But most people questioned it, including me. And he turned out to be arguably the best receiver. And we're talking about on a per game basis. You could argue Jahan Dotson was the best rookie receiver last year, and arguably with one of the worst QB situations other than uh Garrett Wilson for the Jets. Um and so if we did that last year and people questioned it, Emmanuel Forbes might be the same thing. Same as Zach Pick, 16th overall. We traded back from 11 to get 16 last year. We were already there at 16. We'll see. Did you guys see Emmanuel Forbes when he recognized they were running a screenplay, jumped the pass, and ran it in for a touchdown? He's pick six guy. Like I said, he's the Bryce Young of corners. 
He's everything you want except for Little. That's it. He's the Bryce Young of corners. Statistically, the best corner in this class. If we're talking about, uh, 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 what's it called? Uh, QBR, allowed in man coverage, pick sixes. He has the most interceptions out of any corner since 2020. It's like he... He he gives you on paper everything you want. He's just so he's just so little. He blocks field goals. He gets pick sixes. He he's everything you want, but just tiny. Can we can we find a way to work around the tiny? He found a way to do it in the SEC. Can he do it for us at the NFL level? So that, that's it. That's my only. It's literally Bryce Young. Everything you want, but little. So we'll see. I'm excited. We'll see how it goes. I'm still a Christian Gonzalez guy, but now it's time to move on. Emmanuel Forbes is our guy, and Christian Gonzalez is Shay's guy, sadly. To be able to trade back and get Christian Gonzalez is an A-plus grade, in my opinion. Belichick doing his work. Let's go. <laughs> oh, wow. Interesting st statistic from Nikki Javale. Emmanuel Forbes is not the lightest cornerback Washington has ever had. We had Mark McMillan at 154 pounds in 1999. 154 pounds? Golly! How? And yeah, the NFL is clearly different from college. I'm not going to debate against that, but the SEC is the closest you can get. And for him to dominate the way he did in the SEC, I can't it means something. I can't be 154 if I tried. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't even know. I will have to not eat for a very long time to try to get the 154. It would be a crazy mission to achieve. Is Walter football still down, y'all? ESPN has them at 180. When? Really? ESPN he really has him at 180. You know what? That he makes probably me feel wait, way less bad about it. Wait that for a pro day or something. And yeah, just like, see, drank a bunch of water. Right he yeah. ate. He ate right before the thing. Gut probably all out. <laughs> he ate, ate as much <laughs> food went as he a could. Full buffet. Yeah, man. Yeah, I don't trust it, man. I ain't gonna lie. Let me see. How much does he weigh? What's his official weigh in? Yeah, this. I'm seeing. Let me go to the, his RAS. Hold on. Where's his RAS? His RAS says he was officially at, yeah, 166. I'm seeing 166 on NFL Network. I'm seeing RAS from the Combine 166. I've, if he's 180, that makes me feel a little bit better about it, but I'm still scared a little bit, but we'll see. But he he has the best ball skills in the draft. He, he's the best playmaking corner in the draft. Bryce Young of corners, statistically, like, I mean, what, what did I just say earlier? He allowed a 1.4 passer rating in man coverage last season in the SEC. With all of these receivers in the SEC, he's just little. If we can work around a little, it's a great pick. We'll see. If we can work around a little, it's a great pick. That's the only problem I have, little. But ball skills, he got it, man. He forced nine incompletions, 12 coverage stops, Two dropped interceptions and eight missed tackles last year at Mississippi State. That's not bad. Only eight missed tackles from a corner is actually pretty decent it's for an entire season. I, I can deal with that. I can take that. Let me see. Well, we see Gonzalez doesn't like contact. Yeah, I, I, he doesn't. He's built better for it, but Forbes mentality-wise is ready for contact. What, what, what did Deion say? Him. I don't get paid to tackle. <laughs> he, he don't get paid to tackle. We get he get he get paid to cover to lock down receivers. That's all we need him to do. We don't need him to tackle. We didn't need Asante Samuel to tackle. He he sure did it. <laughs> yeah, he but, avoided but he was it. Was a great cover corner. He avoided it. You know what? I just thought about one thing. We just let DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett, and Jackson Smith and Jigba play for the same team. That's Wild. actually pretty insane. That just that just Wild. settled in for me. And I'm looking at a picture of Gino, Emmanuel. Geno Smith is elated right now. He's having the time of his life. If they go offensive line in the second, he's set. Um, they might they could put Zach Wilson at quarterback. He might actually do a half decent. Like <laughs> yeah, somebody's open every play. You can't cover all of that. Um, that is crazy. I'm looking at a picture of Emmanuel Forbes right now. Let me just pull one up. He literally looks like 30 people I know in Atlanta. Like, I could go to any gas station and see five Emmanuel Forbeses right now. He looks so relatable, it's making me like him more. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Where's the picture they got on NFL Network? Yeah. 
Yeah, like, come on, bro. Like, I know about 10, 15 Emmanuel <laughs> Forbes's, bro. I could go same, to any quick the same, trip. The same hairstyle, too. I yeah. guess I got that hairstyle, the same, that too. But, I mean, that same hairstyle. I feel like I know him already. I feel like that's my partner. Like, I could dap him up when I see him. Like, you remember that time? Like, that's that's my <laughs> dog, bro. Like, <laughs> That's the most that boy. That is the most relatable guy I've seen us draft in a while. Like I look, I, it looks like I could get along with them way more than Jahan Dawson. I ain't gonna lie. He said, "Yeah, they all in YSL." <laughs> he does look <laughs> like he part of the YSL Rico. That's my boy, man. I feel like I definitely can run into him at Cleveland Ave at a gas station. I might have ran into him at Old Nat to get these wings. That's my he award somebody said he an Atlanta water boy captain. <laughs> he does look <laughs> I definitely can find him on full to the dust trucks trying to get some water, trying to sell that water, man. Put on his highlights. I don't want this stream to get taken down. If y'all could give me some all 22 access, I'll easily do it. He like he could be Rico's cousin. Now nah, I'm not gonna lie, I literally know 10 people that look like that. Like, no exaggeration. Like it's crazy. All right, Boston up three with 330 left to go. Let me, oh yeah, I was supposed to be turning that game on. I'm tripping, man. I need to be rooting for the Hawks right now, man. Rico ran in there. Yeah. Bro, I'm telling you, that man was definitely a quick trip with three other people just like him. For sure. Being, being that they're both my home teams, I'm pretty indifferent to who wins. I'm not as strongly as I am to Boston Celtics as I am to the New England Patriots, so I really don't care if they win or lose. I feel it. I feel it. I ain't mad at it. I think the part of the Emmanuel Forbes pick that makes me the saddest, though, is that what are we going to do with offensive line now? But, you know, I just felt like it was smarter to go offensive line in the first corner, second. But I do think he'll end up being a really good corner. It, literally, he just Bryce won't be Christian Gonzalez. Yeah. All right, we'll see. We'll he see. Won't be Christian Gonzalez. We'll but... see. Because if we're talking I mean, you about. Said it, you said it yourself. He won't we'll be see. We'll, I mean, we'll see. We got the better defensive line in front of him. We'll see, you know? If we're talking about pure tape, Emmanuel Forbes is better than Christian Gonzalez. But I wanted Christian Gonzalez more because he has all of the build and tools that you want. Like, every bit of it. The size, the hips. I think my, I think Christian Gonzalez's hips are my favorite part about watching them. Like, the way, like, when people hey, do yo. double moves, yeah, it's a crazy sentence. But <laughs> hey, at least I'm not Chris Sims that be talking about people's butts and stuff. Like, I love his, and, like, I don't even want to say it. But you know how Chris Sims gets. Like, he has a really good A word on him. Like, he be talking like that crazy. I'm not going I, that far. I feel like Chris Sims got to be trolling at that point. No, he's dead serious. And then, you, and then what was Buddy? It always goes viral around draft season. The one that ended up being the, the GM for the Raiders. They said, look at this, look at the quads. Like may look at the yeah. look at the bubble butt. <laughs> <laughs> like, <whatever. laughs> no, no, football football guys really be heavy on that. Like hey, for man, it's a certain it's a certain stuff demographic. I heard, I heard football practice in high school, man. <laughs> it's a certain demographic, but um <laughs> but yeah, no, my favorite part about Christian Gonzalez, if you watch him, I, I don't know if you've seen it yet. Go look at his highlights. When people do double moves. His hips, like, it's not like a stiffness. It's like a droop, droop right with him, like, locked on like a video game character. And I just feel like that's just so scheme diverse if you have something like that. You just can't find hips like that. You know what I mean? Yep. So yep. I, I think Christian Gonzalez is going to be great, but I, I'm I'm starting to I'm starting to feel something with Emmanuel for. I'm starting to feel it. Wait, Jason Tatum's going I, I, crazy? Yeah, he had a put back dunk. Oh, okay. And then Jalen Brown just packed DeJounte Murray's layup. Oh, now Lord. it's an eight-point lead. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Lord. That's... So we got the NFL draft and a great <laughs> Did Trae game Young going on. just do that pickup that pick uh, ball move where he just hit the ball off uh, uh, Marcus Smart's leg? Talking about like how about. Russ did the Derek Devin Books at the end of the game. Yeah, it was like it was on an inbound. So he the save from violation, he hit the ball off Marcus Smart's leg. Hey man, you so gotta, gotta go do what back you gotta on do. the bell. You gotta do what you gotta do, bruh. All right. Um, okay, another interesting point about Emmanuel Forbes, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do a whole video on this. I'm gonna watch some more film, and when I end this live stream, expect the Emmanuel Forbes video immediately. But 
He owns the FBS record with pick sixes. He's the FBS active career lead in overall defensive touchdowns. He broke the FBS record shared by three other players, most recently by Oklahoma State's Darren Williams, 2001 and 2004. Yeah. He has six interceptions this year, 14 total picks in his career, a total that makes him the active career interceptions leader in the FBS. He leads the nation since his career began in 2020 and is now fourth in Mississippi State uh, history. Forbes is also fourth among active FBS players in career interception return yards. He set an MSU single season record for interception return yards in the 2020 season. And, um, and he doesn't miss games. He doesn't miss games. This is a guy that you can depend on. Hold, hold up, though. Uh -huh. Wacky, wacky rapper. That name is crazy, by the way. But he says Gonzalez seems too slow for what they wanted. They're about the same speed. They ran the same forty. What you mean? Look, <laughs> I, I get y'all and take Gonzalez. I get y'all missed out on Gonzalez. But don't be boohooing. Y'all know if y'all took them, y'all be over the moon. Y'all be swooning for him. But because the Patriots got him, the good guys got him. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not going to say the good guys. No, 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 no. That he can't tackle, nah. that he's slow, even though they ran the same. They basically ran the same 40. Come on now. Just, just say we got the better player now. The good guys <laughs> got him. That's not not good guys. And I see, uh, should we double dip on D DB? If we want to go slot corner, cool. Brian Branch is falling. I love uh, Jatavius Quan Martin. I would love that. Other than that, nah. It's got to be a slot guy, though. Like, a really good starting right now slot player. But we'll see. But I'm, I'm leaning towards O-line. What do you mean it's 40 sub? This 40 was a 4-3-8. <laughs> <laughs> um, if we get Anton Harrison in the second, all is well. I A-plus draft to me. That's arguably still the draft. I love Anton Harrison enough. I would have taken him in 16. If we can get him in the second round. I don't care what happened before, after, whatever. That's that's huge. Emmanuel uh, Forbes is 0 .002 seconds faster than Gonzalez. <laughs> 0 .002 seconds. That's basically the same speed. He'll Forbes will have a 96 speed rating on Madden. Gonzalez will have a 95. That's basically it. That's basically it. Yeah, I'm gonna convince everybody on Forbes, man. Watch out, man. I got y'all. I'm already working on the video right now. I got my notes. I got my stats. I'm watching the tape right now. Don't worry, nah. y'all. I got y'all after the stream. You were saying what, Shane? Oh, I'm about to say not point zero zero two, but no, it is point zero two. So yeah, Trey Sign Gaming is right, but it doesn't make any difference. It doesn't make any difference. Basically, the same. One is very fast. The other guy is very fast. They're both very fast. <laughs> One guy's There's very no... fast. Other guy's very fast. Uh, <laughs> um, just we having a little run on receivers. You talked about receivers. We yeah, a I, was little about, run. I, was about, I was. I was about to say like, yeah, the twenty first pick, another receiver. Three in a row. Quentin Johnston. Oh, another Three. one. Zay okay. Flowers after that to the Ravens. Oh, Boston College represent. Okay, I like that for the Ravens. I like that for the Ravens. Get some speed. Good. Get some receipt. Get some help for Lamar Jackson. For I mean, the they love got of Odell God. too. Hey. Odell healthy. I, Zay Flowers. O Odell. I mean, yeah. I mean, he was still producing for the Rams before he got hurt, though. Yeah, like two years ago. I yeah. Off the ACL tear. He, but he's a rare know. athlete, though. I think he still has it. He's one of them guys that can play soccer, baseball. With I think he might still have something in him. Okay. I mean, it's gonna be better than what they got. I'm not saying he's gonna be a oh, pro yeah. bowler. But he's going to be better than what they had. Zay Flowers is going to be arguably the number one receiver. Odell, second to him, I think, in my opinion. I, I, I like Zay Flowers a lot. was good before he got hurt. Yeah, I mean, we'll worry about that later, though. We'll worry about, well, I, I, if I'm a Ravens fan, Rashad Bateman is in the back of my mind. We'll figure, well, it's like, it's like I got to see it for him. Even though I liked him a lot coming he, out of the no, draft. He was looking like a number one receiver before he got hurt. He was, was he like one of the leading receivers, like receiving yards? Before he so, got hurt? I'm not sure about that exactly, but... So, Rashad Bateman... I mean, healthy, he had some big games. Yeah, Rashad Bateman healthy and, and playing well. X, Zay Flowers in the slot, Odell as your third option. Ultimately, is that what you're hoping for as Ravens, I guess? Much better than what, what Lamar had his whole it, career, to be anything, honest. Anything is better than what they had. Important reasons why Forbes is needed on defense because of those turnovers for this defense. Hard time creating turnovers and getting off the field on third downs. That's a great point. That's a great point. We 
Our defense does not create turnovers. We have the one of the worst turnover defenses in the NFL. We're always top 10, top five in regular defense statistics. And a lot of advanced statistics, we're always bottom five, bottom 10 in turnovers. And only reason Kendall Fuller was getting them last year is because people kept trying them. Benjamin St. Juice, the one he had got called back. The, our defensive line doesn't get strip sacks. Uh, it's it's got to be somebody. So I can see why Emmanuel Forbes does matter for this team. I, I get, I'm telling y'all. Y'all going to see? Yeah, I'm going to convince y'all. For anybody that's not sold an Emmanuel Forbes pick, I'm a, I got y'all after the stream. I got some statistics. It's crazy. Crazy comment, statistics. A comment said uh, for the Chargers that they are allergic to giving Kerbert a fast receiver. Um, drafting Quentin Johnston. What? It's like they... They're they're allergic to giving Herbert a fast receiver. Quentin, when the Chargers drafted Quentin Johnston, <laughs> just a bunch of big Mike Williams, Keenan Allen. Yeah, yeah just... so like so they now so now they have two Mike Williams. But yeah, that, that's always been the Chargers. Yeah, they never they strategy. always get like the big receivers. That's their strategy. Like out of the three, is Keenan Allen now the shortest? How tall is no Keenan Allen six four? So I think Quentin Johnston might be the shortest of six three. Six maybe. three. Yeah. If you ever need backup, I got you. Appreciate that. You Rich. you would think with a guy with the with a quarterback with an arm like Herbert, they would give them give him a fast receiver. He's not Phillip Rivers now. He can actually throw the ball a little bit far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a difference. That's a difference. You would think they would give him a speed receiver, but I guess not. Man, I got some crazy statistics for y'all, man. Uh, let's see how it goes, man. What we doing, Vikings? Talk to me. What we got going on over here, Vikings? Oh, that's my dad's team. Let Let's see. Let's see. Wait, where did Where did that come from? How do you end up with the Vikings? Oh, I thought I didn't tell you. Well, uh, it's the first. It's the first day uh, my dad came to from Nigeria. You, oh, I think you and did he went mention to, that. Okay. And he went to University of Minnesota, so. Back oh, the, even more. Back in the 80s, early 90s, it was okay. in Minnesota, so. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. I rock with that. Yeah, so you got, like, the old Minnesota Vikings football, like, I think from, like, the late 80s. Got that Got that in the house. So, yeah, he's a Vikings fan first. He's really only a Patriots fan because of us, really. But he's, he's, a, he's a super diehard Vikings fan. Bet. So, uh, he hates Kirk Cousins, by the way, just to let you know. So, you and him got something in common. <laughs> Anybody that's had to deal with them hates them, so that's just how it goes. <laughs> I understand. I know. I knew some people that hated them. Um, some other people that hate them too. Yeah, it's just that's just how it goes. That are Vikings fans. I just thought about the fact that Seahawks got Devon Witherspoon and Jackson Smith and Jigba. That's insane. That's insane when you think about it. The Seahawks it. are just stacked overall. Yeah, that's insane. Bobby Wagner got, came can, back. Can, Kenneth Kenneth Walker out the backfield, yeah. This team, they can really just draft a project quarterback next season, or probably even later on during this draft. Let them sit behind Geno Smith. They can just walk into a full team. Will Levis? <laughs> Will Levis? No. I mean, Will Levis? Wait, don't they, don't they got another first round pick via the Broncos next year? They should, unless or, that was included in some random trade. Let me look. I got you. Yeah. So. If yeah, the they Broncos don't. are I still think it was garbage. included in a trade. It was? They yeah, because oh, okay. it's Jaguars, Giants, Cowboys, Bills, Bengals, Saints, Eagles, Chiefs. So yeah, they did. I don't know what happened to it. Oh no. It was oh, it was in Jigba. Remember it was in Jigba. That yeah, but it. don't they have another one next year? I was Oh, thinking. next oh yeah, yeah. My fault, my fault, my fault, my fault. I'm tripping. I'm my brain. I'm Emmanuel Forbes mode. I'm sorry. I could I could be wrong though, but they, I think they have a number one next year from the Broncos which is wild <laughs> in a while yeah boy that's about to be a top 10 pick boy top 10 pick boy I mean, they do got Sean Payton as coach now but ah. still <laughs> he don't even like he, Russell Wilson he might be in there for just the payday and that's it <laughs> tell me one good reason why we should take it back well if we're talking Deontay Banks or Emmanuel Forbes I'm probably taking Emmanuel Forbes straight up but we'll see We'll see.
That's a good point about Daryl Green. Daryl Green was just as li well short. But he was 180. I'm about to he say was he was 180. Shorter. 5'9", 180 is, is six foot 200. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Slightly different build, but still fairly undersized, but different build, yeah. Like, Emmanuel Forbes is worse on the size wide, but we'll see. Let me, I just got to watch more tape. I've already watched a lot of tape, but I want to rewatch it again. Imagining him on this team behind this defensive line. I mean, I just feel like with a defensive line that we got and how great our defense already is, top five, top seven in the NFL, it's just, you got to assume the player is going to be better than what he was in college, except for the fact that this man is little. <laughs> he is tiny. He is so tiny. Can we trade back up into the first round so we can get Anton Harrison so I don't have to worry about it? So I can go to sleep knowing that we got Anton Harrison? Please. Please. And appreciate you uh, pulling up again, Shay. I had to let you know that. I don't know if I already oh. said it already. Oh, appreciate it. Anytime. Good. Oh, but Vikings just drafted a receiver. Who? Jordan Addison from USC. Wow, boy, that was a run on receiver, boy. Do we just go straight. four receivers in a row? Yeah, wow. Four straight. I think you jinxed it. I ain't gonna lie, Shay. I ain't gonna lie. I think you jinxed <laughs> it. Literally said it right before. Well, AJ Brown jinxed it. He said it, and then all of a sudden, just a home run in receivers. <laughs> I mean, I like the I like the pick. Uh Adam Thielen. Uh they they let him go. He's on the Panthers, right? Yeah, yeah. So they need an uh the need another receiver outside of Jefferson. So I like it. I like it. And I, and I, and I like Jordan Edison as a player. How do you feel about Jordan Edison, Rico? Uh, I mean, I don't love him, but like you do got to replace Adam Thielen. You got to. And I they didn't do anything in free agency to do it. So go ahead. I mean, I don't. I'm definitely I'm way higher on Jackson Smith and Jigba. I feel like it's a gap, and then like oh, other of people. Oh, of course, yeah. But, Jackson Smith and Jigba is the best one. But if if it's a need, they it's still a got need. that other receiver that's good. I forgot his name. He has dreads as well. His name escapes me. He was he was hitting it on late for the Vikings. Hitting it on late for the I gotta remember. Cause they were having some crazy come. From KJ Osborne, with. yeah. KJ oh Osborne. yeah, yeah, yeah. That is. Yeah, him. he's decent. Thank you, Jack Tup too. Appreciate my boy Jaden L in the chat with the twenty dollar donation, man. Appreciate that big time. Y'all are going crazy tonight with the donations, man. Big time, big time, big time. Really, really, really appreciate that, man. Been a while, just been really busy doing good. Who have we picked? What's good, Jaden L? Appreciate the donation. Appreciate you pulling back out. Welcome back. And um and we got Emmanuel Forbes, man. We're gonna we gonna make something shake though. Will Levis is that has nothing to do with nothing, Rich. Where'd that come from? The Giants traded up. Here we go. Oh, looks like this Atlanta Hawks are officially eliminated. Oh, 128, really? 120. How much time? Oh yeah, the game's over. Never mind. Oh, yep. we're closing that. Closing that one. Ba -ba -ba. Nah, if I you know, just, huh? I was saying, you know how big the NFL draft is when it forced the NBA to have four games yesterday with two of them overlapping? <laughs> just, <laughs> just because they know they couldn't put multiple games today. They only had to put one. <laughs> and that's a good point. Ravi makes a good point. Devonta Smith has not missed an NFL game yet. This is true. Being a small guy, this is true. It's work. I mean, linebackers are getting smaller. Corners are getting smaller. It just, it can work. My boy Ravi, my boy Ravi with the suit, man. He ain't playing with y'all, man. My boy Ravi with the suit always pull up. I don't know why people are making a big deal. But wait, see, small suit size. I'm sure a corner will be just fine. Yeah, that's, that's the point. That's the point. We'll see. I'm just saying, like, that's literally, like, my only worry. Other than that, if we're talking about he has the best ball skills and statistics out of this cornerback class, easily. And he's not afraid to stop the run, which some corners are. I'm just, we just got to see about that weight. But, I mean, first of all, one, one positive sign that we got to take from the pick as well 
is that the commanders put that pick in immediately. There was no wait to see if we could trade back. There was no, the clock didn't run all the way down to 30 seconds or something. They were on it like, thank goodness this man is here type of thing. And, oh, good point, Mexter. If he can be our return guy, even better. Because, boy, we need one. I'm hoping we bring in a draft free agent to be one, but we'll see. Uh, Trey Young was one of, yeah, I, I, I couldn't really watch a game in depth, but Trey Young was one of 12 in the second half. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my God, man. Oh, they about to get on his head. You saw he was ranked the most overrated player in the NBA. <laughs> it's about to only get worse. That, that, that poll is so disrespectful because, look, it's one thing the media says. You can just shrug it off because it's like the media, they ain't played a game. But your own, it'd be your own peers. Your own peers People told you, you you're overrated. Mm -hmm. It could be your own teammates. You, that's how is Trey Young supposed to feel? Like you don't even know if your teammates even voted for <laughs> voted for you as overrated. <laughs> that is such a disrespectful poll. Like how are you gonna let the so, players vote for who is most overrated? So disrespectful. Is, they had so many other topics they could have done. They could have said underrated. They could have done a whole bunch of positive stuff. Really? They did they even have an underrated? I don't even. If they probably, did, nobody they talked have. about it. That is wild. <laughs> that is wild. They 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 let them have that. I remember the NBA ban in the All Star games where, I guess the last person, the person that gets selected last, gets they they change it whatever gets selected first or something. Or they'll set the bench players first because they didn't they didn't want the person selected last to feel bad. But you have the most overrated <laughs> player in the NBA. That's worse. That's, that's way more, worse. That's more disrespectful than anything. That's way worse. Oh, the Giants got Deontay Banks just to let y'all know. So now it's going to be Emmanuel Forbes versus Christian Gonzalez and Deontay Banks. It's going to be that for a while, especially for the Commanders fans, because some people prefer Deontay Banks over Emmanuel Forbes. I'm probably leaning towards Emmanuel Forbes, even ignoring the fact that we got him. I'm just leaning towards Emmanuel Forbes. And then, I mean, I was a big Christian Gonzalez fan. He was arguably my favorite corner in the draft. Commanders fans are going to compare the three for a very long time coming. It's going to be really interesting. My boy Rich, appreciate that. Got a ball hawk, dog, scheme fit, and physical in the run. Great points, man. You're not lying. You're not lying. Rico, I need the he's so little shirt. <laughs> he is less of a ball hawk that won't looking at it. says most of his picks are bad and throwing balls and tips. We'll see. I mean, we got a defensive line that can force those things, so we'll see. If there's any defensive line that Emmanuel Forbes wanted to play behind, it's this one. That, I mean, that's plain and simple. Um, let me see. He said <laughs> Rico chilling the stats. Now nah, Shay over oh, there eating good. Say so Shay is yeah, we got good. We got the number one corner. Even over Devin Witherspoon, we got the number number one corner. What you mean? <laughs> we we straight. Only way I could feel better is we get an upgrade at cornerback, but that's another story. I mean, but we good. Well, actually, you know, we need some playmakers now on the offensive end. Now, <laughs> we need to get some receivers later in the draft. Um, probably a change of pace back. I like Ramondre uh, Stevenson, but we need some speed. Yeah, I, I think we. But, but I like I like our number one pick. I like I like our number one pick. Now we just need to get some playmakers. Dang, bro, Emmanuel Forbes is sixteen pounds lighter than Jahan Dotson. Hey, man, he just he's got to work his tail off. I mean, if there was a defensive line that he could find a way to make it work, it's behind ours. Trying to think of the running backs. Like, let's say. Um, Okay, well, Ezekiel Elliott is gone. I was about to say, like, what if Ezekiel Elliott is bouncing to the outside and then Emmanuel Forbes got to tackle him? Do you expect do you expect him to tackle him? Nah. I mean, even Jalen Hurts, but, I mean, he's physical. He's shown that he can. Oh, yeah, y'all but... got Jalen. Oh, oh yeah, he ain't tackling Jalen Hurts. <laughs> he ain't tackling Jalen Hurts. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> he's shown that he can do it, but we got to see. NFL is different from SEC. The SEC is the closest thing to the NFL, but we still got to see NFL. I got to see it. See if I'm happy about it. Man, Bailey Zappi, he's a decent backup quarterback. I mean, it was fun for like two weeks, us uh, hyping him up and everything. But yeah, he's a decent backup. We better not take Will Levis in the second round. We better not. Yo, the, the Giants must really like him to trade up to get him though, man. I wasn't, I'm not really surprised Will Levis. This is falling. I felt like all that hype about him 
shooting up draft boards is re- really overblown. Because I don't know if you've been listening to Bomani Jones, but it's basically like Bomani Jones said. <laughs> what did he say? Um, I haven't listened with, to him this past with, week. With, you know I listen to him with, all the time. Yeah, we kind of straight with not taking too much in the race into this, but they basically said like, look. You got you get basically got your quarterback right there. You got three black quarterbacks over him. And even everybody's universally saying that no, no, they're better than Will Levis. Then that's a problem. Because even <laughs> Zach Wilson got over Justin Fields. Yep, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Richard Trubisky shot up draft boards. Will Levis do gotta be a certain type of terrible for them. <laughs> for them for them to not even be able to hype him up. That's a good point. Emmanuel Forbes, they talked about him. Um, he, I mean, he talked to the commanders, and he said the commanders do not care about his weight and the fact that it was never an issue in college. So we'll see. We'll see. That's so let's crazy that we got let's virtual. See, let's see if we'll get the fifth-year option. We'll see. Yeah, that's that's what makes things interesting. That fifth year option stuff. We we would have never thought that Chase Young wouldn't have, but we'll see. Yeah, there goes Rich but, uh, again. In case you didn't know, Will Levis sucks. Still, he keeps saying it over and over again. But they also did the same thing with the Ron Payne, apparently. So maybe it's just how the the commanders do things. Before they, so instead of giving that fifth year option, they got paid them more if they have a breakout season. Pay them right now, so you don't have to pay them more later. Uh, you would think, but that's just not how we've been doing things. <laughs> we we challenge them to the very end, boy. You're on your last year. Do something about it. My boy Jay Nell with the donation. Appreciate that. Got you a replica Lombardi trophy and replica trophy about a little smaller than the original ring, about 87. Okay, my boy. Appreciate the donation, man. Big time. Trust me, we are really overstating this weight situation. It hasn't showed up on tape. It's just we just got to see projection-wise going to the NFL. And Martin Mayhew is talking about him right now in a press I, conference, and they love him. I ne- Ravi Ray, I never said Derrick Henry. I was saying the other backs. I mean, no one can tackle Derrick Henry. I'm just saying say, we can't expect anybody back. to do that. I'm scared of Jalen Ramsey trying to tackle Derrick Henry. That's just yeah, that's bad for anybody. Thank goodness we not in that. He's not in the division unless the you know the Eagles. Them reports happen. Let's see an update on the draft. Let's see if we got any more picks. JPA football has been very reliable so far. He's been usually uh, ahead. Yeah, Bills have traded up with the Jaguars and are drafting Dalton Kincaid. Oh, tight end from Utah. There he goes. I like and they that traded a lot. Pick, they traded pick twenty-seven and one thirty for pick twenty-five. So Jaguars get pick twenty-seven and pick one thirty. Wow, I like that. I like that a lot. I like Oh my goodness. Dalton Kincaid is the best receiving tight end. Oh my goodness. In like they got, two, three drafts, bro. That they man got is different. Another pass catcher. Oh my. You can argue he yeah, has the best that, hands in the draft out of all receivers and tight ends. Uh, Him on the Bills uh, is crazy. Good thing we drafted defense, because we were sure gonna use our Christian, defense. It's, it's about to be Christian oh Gonzalez and Dalton Kincaid for a long time. <laughs> About to be them too. Don Kincaid gonna be right in the slot, just like Mike Gusecki, but with a higher ceiling. Oh yeah, I talked about it earlier, Rich. Jalen Ramsey loves the Emmanuel Forbes pick. Like he loves it. That was like his favorite pick of the draft. So, I mean, Jalen Ramsey says it's good. It's good. I guess he like it. I love it. I think. Uh, I think Patriots gonna be fourth in the division this year. I mean, I don't think that's really a bold prediction, Dolphins, but I think we're gonna be fourth in the division. Yeah, I. And I wouldn't be surprised if the Jets end up being number one with all, bro. They're, they're the most talented team on paper, bro. That team. Is yeah, insane. I think I think I would want to switch divisions. Hey, we'll take. I don't know how the Cowboys are gonna be looking like next season. I'll take your division. Take I, 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 yeah, I don't. I don't want. I don't want. You might AFC, have a point. So. I, I think. I think you. I mean, conference easily, y'all. I I would not want to switch with y'all easily. Division, I think it's a little bit closer, but I think y'all got it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we cool in the NFC that East. We cool it. Oh my we cool goodness. it in the NFC East. We cool it. I'm about to be stressed. <laughs> These are some dark times to be a Patriots fan. My goodness. We in the slums. Bruh, bruh it's going to be all right, bro. We got Christian. You traded back and got Christian he, Gonzalez. He's how, 
this is how a commando fan feels like like this is this is the feeling <laughs> mediocrity oh my goodness i'm not even logged in on twitter this is tough how do y'all do it how do i how you log into that? this thing that was mr beast or something i don't know this is not my twitter i don't how do i log in why am i not logged in and how do you log in oh there it goes Oh yeah, and by the way, on your Instagram page, or at least on your street street scores Instagram page, I sent you uh the profile of Lit A Wings. So oh, you get appreciate to see your it. wings. Appreciate it, appreciate it. They also got a chopped cheese egg roll. Crazy, right? That like, is remember so the New, the New York chopped cheese. Yeah, yeah. New, oh yeah, I get I, man, I go to New York all the time still and chopped cheese got Wait, to. what's the last time I've been to New York? Couple of weeks ago, our family went to North Carolina. Really? And then I went to New York, bro. I go every chance I get. Hey, my you boy. didn't even tell me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey, man, you going to Brazil? You got... <laughs> I mean, true, true. Now that's really fine. Wait, what are you doing though? Like, why, why are you being sent to Brazil though? Um. Okay. So, like, my job, we have we're a remote job, but we'll have some. We'll have quarterly meetings and like my boss he likes to have quarterly meetings in person so we get to know each other like uh great team building activities and stuff i, I love it because like i'm about yeah, to say like, man so, and then some of my co-workers i got since a lot of us like we're having a, we have an american team we have a uk team we have people based in south america so i met a lot of my brazilian co-workers and like Argentine co-workers like they're pretty cool and they found out like soccer they were surprising American like soccer so like yeah they they it's like they became my best best buds overnight so uh some of them gave me like, I'll go with you I mean you know we going in August uh I'm not going to a wedding August so oh, okay hopefully hopefully it's in early August yeah, Let I know. know. Like, man. why you have to have the weddings in August? Oh my goodness! <laughs> Shout out to my cousin, though. But why you gotta have the weddings in August? <laughs> so he likes a lot of the picks, but he, he like really big on the Emmanuel Forbes pick, just to show you Jalen Ramsey. But I want to go back to where I was with the uh, where was I at? Oh, so we're talking about the team sale. That's cool too. That's cool too. Yeah, Chase Young is not getting traded, especially not today. Not not anytime soon, so. But yeah, here goes an Emmanuel Forbes play if you want one. This is gonna go to his little pick six. He read the route, saw him going in, jumped it, got the speed. I mean, I mean, I don't know how often you're gonna be in these situations at the NFL level, but you know, there's a guy that can do that. Shouts out to uh Mark Bullock. You already know he always has Shall we get so many? I just need that access somehow. But man, let's get it, man. Let's see how we do. Let's see how we do. Uh, I guess I could just type in Forbes. Hopefully, people don't just think I'm talking about the business, and maybe we can just scroll down and see what's going on, see how people are reacting. Yeah, Josh Allen and Dalton Kincaid is actually quite insane. Not gonna lie, that's actually like quite crazy. Like quite crazy. I'm actually like I'm scared for Shade, but you got Christian Gonzalez, so if anybody could deal with it, it's y'all. Because he's definitely going to be like, I mean, he might be in line sometimes, but I think he's just going to end up being a better Mike Gusecki. So Christian Gonzalez is probably literally going to be matched up on that man in the slot directly, like following that man, not playing with him. Like you not going nowhere. Uh, without then who's him. worried about Stefan Diggs? Uh, you better you better ask somebody else because you better worry about Dalton Kincaid too. I, I, I'm telling you now, you better worry about Dalton Kincaid. That man is to me. He's literally better, Mike Gusecki. So I, you got to figure something out. You work. And they just extended Dalt, Dawson Knox. Hey man, they not playing, bro. Two tight end sets, one in the slot. Defend something. There's no excuse. At that point, there's no excuses. Josh Allen, like you got all these receivers, all of these tight ends. It's no excuse. You better make some shape. Okay, Connor JPA Rogers. football kind of slow. Who did who did Cowboys take? Connor Rogers said, Christian Gonzalez being drafted at Man of course, the biggest surprise of the draft of me so far. It is really interesting. I'm not going to lie. I don't think Cowboys were expecting all these running backs to be taken so early. They probably would have looked at Jameer Gibbs. <laughs> yeah, they're probably sick right now. Like, wait, what? Jameer Gibbs didn't even make it to us? I still remember a long <laughs> time ago in the offseason. 
Uh, second year in the league, Chase is riding Haskins to the moon. Biggest A. <laughs> oh, yeah, you did say I'm riding Haskins to the moon. I did not say that. That's you classic. did. I forgot that about that. Classic. Appreciate that, hell. Appreciate that, that, that hell. That is, that is blasphemy. <laughs> he said I'm riding, <laughs> I'm riding Dwayne Haskins to the moon. You that, that did is, say that. That is, that is asinine. I did not say that. Wow. That, I did not say that. Rest in peace, Dwayne Askins. I did not say that about you. No. Wow. That is crazy. Oh, Martin Mayhew just said that they didn't get any calls for a trade back. I mean, I don't know if I believe that if that's a lie or not, but that is cap. it can make sense, I guess. I mean, I was saying even before the draft started that it takes two to tango. Somebody's got to want to trade up for it to work, so we'll see. And Ron Rivera just said that he wants to, uh, we're going to see in camp who's going to play in the slot. Between Benjamin St. Juice, Kendall Fuller, and Emmanuel Forbes, it can literally be any of the three that can end up being the two outside corners and the one slot corner. I mean, once you take Emmanuel Forbes in the first round, 16th overall, when I still feel like you should have found a way to trade back, he better be starting outside. I, I, you better figure it out between Kendall Fuller and Benjamin St. Juice who's going to be in the slot. I, Emmanuel Forbes better be outside covering Devonta Smith all day. I don't care where Devonta Smith is. Outside slot, he's following Devonta Smith all game. Period. I don't No, I don't want nobody else on him. Cap, I wasn't riding anyone to the moon. Cap. That bro, is Cap. Bro, Shay, you got to chill out, bro. You be wild, no. man. No, I did not. I don't remember you be, that. You be out of control, bro. I be trying to, you know, I be trying to keep it low key on the stream, but you be tripping. Sack Sons, I hate, I hate when people say this. Ohio State had produced Justin Fields. Justin yeah. Fields is a dog. And the thing is, like, when people say a college doesn't produce quarterbacks, a college doesn't have the same staff for 30, 50 straight years. Yeah. Yeah. That hey, I, I I don't believe in that a certain team can't produce a certain thing thing. I really don't. I mean, I can admit that when you're going from an Ohio State offense, which is gimmicky, to an NFL offense, there's a learning curve. But I don't think it's just automatic the player can't work out. I just I don't believe that because you got to remember Joe Burrow was technically an Ohio State quarterback up until the point that he went to LSU and finally got a chance to start. Um, and then you got Justin Fields balling out. I think C.J. Stroud is going to be great, but it just depends. Yeah, it, it, it depends. Yeah. It depends. You know the convenience of that. If Justin Fields balls out, they're going to say, oh, he's a UGA product. But Burrow, Burrow is an LSU product. Yeah, <laughs> they can't have it both ways, huh? But, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm really excited about the rest of this draft. I'm curious what the Cowboys are doing. It better not be a Georgia Bulldog player. That's all I know. I want Georgia Bulldog players to go in the first round. But it better not be one of them to the Cowboys. I know that. Or the Eagles at 30. Other than that, I'm cool. Like, Darnell Washington, I want him as a commander, but just don't go to the NFC East, man. I'm I'm fine. Wait, they got Mozzie Smith? Who is that? Who is that? <laughs> Mozzie Smith. Who is that? Did I miss something? I know a Cam Smith at corner. I know a Nolan Smith at edge rusher. Defensive tackle at Michigan. I don't really know that guy. But then again, I was not scouting defensive tackles. I made sure I was pinpointed on either the top players in the draft or positions of need for the commander. So I looked at all of the offensive linemen, all of the DBs. I looked at um, uh, uh, interior offensive line and linebacker. But like defensive tackle, boy, I didn't look at nobody but my Jalen Carter. Nobody. Because, I mean, I watched Jalen Carter live. I, I, I on, watch. Huh? On, on next Next gen stats, he has 91 athleticism, 69% production. So basically, he's just an athletic freak with not much production. High potential. So they're trying to take, uh, what's his name? Same thing as, uh, what's his name? Remember the number one high school recruit when he was coming out? Then he went to Michigan and then he ended up, where's his name? Oh, uh, I think Defensive I know. Defensive lineman. About, it, it they, we got to the NFL and wasn't me. as good with the little, little locks or little braids or whatever. Big guy. There's kind of a tweener. I know I know what you're talking about, but his name escapes me yeah, right now. Rashawn Gary, thank you. Yeah, yeah Rashawn Gary, go. yeah. Is, Does he is play that the him? Packers right now? I, I lost track of him, man. That man, I wanted him so bad coming out of high school. I remember he was coming out of New Jersey. He was the number one recruit in his class. Unanimous. It was crazy. It was crazy, but it just didn't work out. Oh, am I out. still on the screen? Oh, my fault. You are right. Hold on. You are right. My fault. 
I went to the Twitter to show the Emmanuel Forbes stuff and forgot. Because I could see you. I've been looking at you on the top right, but I okay. forgot they couldn't see you on the left side. Um, Somebody said they spelled Nolan Smith wrong. <laughs> and now the NFL's nope, no take backs. No take backs. You said Mozzie Smith. You said Mozzie Smith, not <laughs> Nolan Smith. <laughs> no take backs. No Marcy take backs. Too Smith. late. I'm mean, the me. No, Nolan Smith. Nolan Smith. No. <laughs> too late. Too late. Too late. Nope. Sorry, Cowboys. Sorry. Yeah, I'm glad they didn't take Darnell Washington or Nolan Smith. I don't want anybody, Georgia Bulldogs, going to the NFC East. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if the Eagles take Darnell Washington or Nolan Smith or something because they love Georgia Bulldogs, and they're just trying to make me into a fan at this point. It is really making me mad. I wouldn't be surprised if 30 overall they get like somebody that is going to make me, or Keely Ringo or something. Keely Ringo, Darnell Washington, Nolan Smith. I forgot Ringo's still in this draft. Like, he didn't get drafted yet? <laughs> I just, I, he just, boy, them double moves kill him, bro. He don't, what, what yeah. Christian Gonzalez has the best of, Keely Ringo has none of, and that's him. So, change the direction. He's just really, yeah. He just got like a lot of physical tools, but like, yeah. I remember yeah. when he was getting cooked in Alabama. Was it? I guess Alabama he was getting cooked. Against anybody. It, it was Sanford State he was getting cooked. Like, yeah. Anybody. Like, anybody. He would lock up Jalen Hyatt from from Tennessee, like it was like it was just the easiest job to do, and then go against a random receiver from Georgia Tech, and now here can't cover him to save his life. I don't, Keely Ringo's weird. Keely, he's very scheme dependent. You got to put that man in a straight cover three only scheme. You got to treat him like a Richard Sherman with speed. Like that's it. You can't do nothing else with him. Don't ask him to man cover. Don't do nothing. Like like nothing. Uh, let's see. Uh, Brian Brzee destroyed my high school in every game. Oh, my Lord. I wanted Brian Brzee so bad coming out of high school. He visited Georgia like six times. I thought we had him. I think him and Justin Lowe were the same draft, the same uh, 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 recruiting class. And we got neither of them, even though both of them were talking so highly about Georgia and stuff. So it was just so beautiful when we started going to win back-to-back -back championships because it showed that they made the wrong decision because they were talking about Georgia and how hyped they were. It's the place to be. They were just sweet-talking us, and they would just end up going somewhere else. And then we won back-to-back -back championships. So, hey, yeah, shouts out to Brian Brzee, Justin Lowe, all them top recruits that came to Georgia over and over again. Wait, Anton Harrison went to the Jets? Well, that's it for that. That is it for that, man. Oh, my God. No, that was my favorite player left in the whole draft. Oh, man, I don't know what we're going to do. Jaguars got a squad. Well, I guess I guess we gave up on tackle this draft. We just, at this point, I'm assuming it's like Osiris Torrance or John Michael Schmitz or something. Or, or like, I guess I guess Rest we're going guard until Sam Howell. Somewhere. I know you well. <laughs> yeah, he, man, he loves fried chicken. Eagles draft Jalen Carter, and we don't draft a first round offensive lineman. Nice. Doesn't doesn't he love fried chicken? It was something about that. With Sam Howell, they only eat fried chicken something or something like that. I, something okay. like that. I, he, I was would love, he, he was a good dude. He he was a it was good while we knew him. Good man. Good man. Good man. <laughs> Darnell Washington, I would love Darnell Washington more than anything else. Like I said, coming into this draft, getting both of the Darnells, it would be my best case scenario by far. So oh, he, I would love to get Darnell Washington if we could. Oh, yeah. He's never had a steak. All he eats is chicken. Yes. Yes. Yeah. My man. My man. I'm about to say that sound like me. Diet. I'm about he to say it. that sound like me. People out here paying all that money for steak I mean, when wings I, taste better anyway. Yeah, I ate steak, but I never paid for it. Nah, Ah, wings is better, man. I've had steak, but wings is better, man. Easy. Oh yeah, same here. Ain't even close. I. That's crazy. Fried chicken, everything. Uh, bro, you know Justin Flo is in Arizona now. Y'all saw him transfer. Yeah, yeah. How that work out? I mean, I don't want to be petty against a little nineteen-year-old, but <laughs> I mean that man was really leading Georgia on. Like, yeah, I'm coming to Georgia. Georgia's great. Of course, I'm coming to Georgia. I love Georgia. I'm gonna visit Georgia eight times and then not go there. Oh, I think Matt never had a steak as in just like steak. Burger is different. Burger is just beef. Yeah, he didn't say beef. He said steak, yeah. He yeah, we had burgers. Chicken to team functions. That's my guy right there. He takes his own chicken to the team function. That's my guy. Oh, my man. Knew you well. Rest in peace. 
Oh, so I oh yeah, Cam Robinson is potentially suspended. You got Anton Harrison, who's honestly to me should take over as your starting left tackle. I'm that high on him. You move Cam Robinson at that point, but who knows? We'll see what they do. But either way, that's a good problem to have. I think Anton Harrison was the third best tackle in his class. He's the fifth to get drafted. It is what it is. I'm sad. Where's the 70? Nope. Where's the 71 just like Trent Williams at Oklahoma? Same school and everything. He may not be Trent Williams, but he's still really good. I think the most likely scenario for Will Levis to go to right now, looking at the rest of the draft, is second round LA Rams. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I mean, hey, second round is like, hey, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But then again, I think Rams got a lot of holes for, oh, yeah. to address. Before. Everywhere, boy. Yeah, so uh, probably not. Probably not. Maybe Seahawks. Seahawks is like, hey, we could just have an understudy to Geno Smith for a few years. Rico, would you but trade? But he's not going in the first round. That's interesting. Would you trade for Jonah Williams? That I mean, what is he going for? Didn't didn't the Bengals release one of their starting tackles? What was the other one that they released? I thought they didn't release someone. Throw up Jonah Williams. Uh, I was not think of. If Phil Mathis was a reach from us in the second, Mozzie Smith is a super reach. I agree. That's what I'm saying. Hey, I'm so glad. Shouts out to the Cowboys for that pick, man. One of the I think them and the in the Jets have the biggest reaches in the draft so far, easily. Yeah, Charles Leno is definitely happy, extremely happy right now. Charles Leno is the happiest person on the planet. Uh on the Cowboy on the Commanders team right now. He's probably even happier than Ron Rivera is about getting Emmanuel Forbes. That man did Sam, not immediately get replaced. Sam Howell is the Chick-fil-A mascot. <laughs> no, no beef. Eat more chicken. That's He's my literally dog. the Chick-fil-A mascot right that's there. My, that's my dog right there. Sound like me. He, he took that slogan to heart. <laughs> oh, wow. It just There's a video that just came out that Ron Rivera said this morning that if Emmanuel Forbes is there at 16, we're going to go get our guy. Yeah, they, they love him. They they love them. They, oh, you know they they probably had like two videos and said that like oh we <laughs> over really over again. wanted Christian <laughs> Gonzalez. Ah, uh, if Christian Gonzalez let, is let, there, let's let's, let's, let's let, yeah let's <laughs> just put this one in there. We got like ten of them ready. Whoever we draft, we gonna put that yeah. video out. We gonna act like we just said it. That's hilarious. I ain't gonna lie, that is hilarious. I hate you for that. Really, we wanted Devin Witherspoon. We just didn't know he would go that high. So uh, we just had this backup in Mayo Forest video ready. <laughs> it's literally him in the car driving chilling 30 second video they could have easily have made eight of them in five <laughs> minutes <laughs> all, all right all right ron rivera we got that video now now do the devin witherspoon bit spoon bit video <laughs> do the christian gonzalez video like, if darnell Wright is there we gotta go get our guy <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid bro if Jalen carter is there we had to go draft him how does that sound <laughs> It sounds good. All right, let's, let's do it. <laughs> That's so stupid, bro. That's so stupid. That's crazy. Last year, we got all kinds of calls to move up in the draft. If Martin Mayhew was telling the truth that we didn't get any this time, that just lets you know what this draft class is like compared to last year. Yeah, now the yes. Cowboys, I, I don't know what's wrong with them. Are they okay? That pick was terrible. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with Cowboys in general right now. They uh they need to address address their running back situation. Tony Pollard is hurt. Ezekiel Elliott is out. Who is their running back? <laughs> I, bruh. Yeah, oh, just to let you know. Walter Football is having to tweet out his grades because his website has been bombarded yeah, by so many so people it crashed. Get some new servers. Why he has to? His websites look so old. Like that man serves a paperweight that. under a microwave. For real, right now. <laughs> he got his sprite sitting on it. Ooh, the so Bengals getting Miles Murphy this late is actually one of the biggest deals in the draft. I forgot he was available. That is crazy. And I, you know, I'm still mad at you because he's from Atlanta and he chose to go to Clemson instead of just like Brian Brzee. Y'all thought y'all had it. Y'all like, oh, Clemson's winning championships. Trevor Lawrence, we're going to keep doing it. You should have went to your hometown team, the Georgia. You would have had two rings. Where was he going to play if he stayed in UGA? 
He be straight. He didn't get the plants. Are you good? Well, actually, last year, we had an edge rusher deficiency. Nolan Smith was hurt. And even then, I love Nolan Smith, but he's not a great edge rusher. That's why I also am one of those people that feels like he needs to move to linebacker. We had two true freshmen playing against Ohio State at edge. We had uh, Michael Williams and uh, what's his name on the outside? Like, he could, he would have been the starter easily. I mean, I'm glad we got to see Michael Williams. It worked out in the end. Our true freshman got, you know, beautiful experience. And ultimately, it was better for us not to have him. But still, you know, I hate the fact that I see somebody wearing a Braves jersey behind him. Like, and you just betrayed <laughs> him. Like, come on now. You could have easily have went to Georgia and got two back-to-back -back rings. Now you're going to go to the Bengals not win there either. Adam Anderson was a beast. Said he's a bad person. Oh, sad he's a bad. Oh, yeah, Adam Anderson was crazy. I forgot about that. I ain't gonna lie. I forgot about Adam Anderson. Joey Porter is still there. I'm not surprised. I thought maybe the Steelers would take him, but he's scheme dependent. I mean, it's got to be a strong man cover team, and teams run less man at the at this point in the NFL than ever before in history. So you better, boy, you better know you got something. But, yeah, uh, just to let you know, the Patriots got a... I got an A plus grade from Walter Football, of course. I'm that's, pretty sure it's pretty sure it's A plus is across the board. Of course, we got a B because I think that's what it. I would, I I'll see because at first I felt like it was a C plus with Christian Gonzalez there, but now I'm starting to warm up and think it might be a B plus. But we'll see. But Christian Gonzalez A plus to trade back and still get him is insane. So I agree there for the, for y'all. I'm not gonna lie. How would Naughty Asamoa fit in today's NFL since now it's so – now a lot of teams are playing zone, and he's been strictly a man cover guy. Yeah, pff, struggling. Scheme dependent, come out on obvious passing downs only, like bad, like real bad. <laughs> oh, Emmanuel Forbes is crying in this video, man. I always love that. I always love that. I ain't mad at it, my boy. I ain't mad at it. Do your thing. Go out there and go crazy. Oh, this is sad for Walter Kropinski. Well, Walter Football. Like, yeah, how do you pronounce just... that last name? Please. You're the first person I think, I've ever heard of. I, I, I think it's... I don't know. I, I, I was just guessing. That man, I don't is, know. that man is a Russian spy. It has to be. That is crazy. Oh, a Quaison Steelers fan talking about how they gonna get uh they're gonna go they about to get uh what's his name in the second round? Uh Joey Porter, like we were just talking about. He like we about to get him. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> it was like dad, you could have got me the first. Why you wait to the second to get me, dad? <laughs> I forgot about that. That's just crazy. That man's dad is literally working for that team. <laughs> and they need him like they nah, need they, corner obviously. They, they might not they probably shouldn't even draft them just for that reason like so you waited this long to get me this is how you really feel about me dad <laughs> i was projected to be a first round pick and you skipped over me that is terrible bro that's a bad look man i ain't gonna lie <laughs> it's like uh what uh, doc rivers trading his son austin rivers <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy <laughs> Doc Rivers in the GM, and he traded Austin Rivers. That is insane, Austin actually. Clippers. That, hey, man. It's, a hard, it's hard on the boulevard, man. It's hard on the boulevard. Is it just me? Is this draft going a little bit faster than last year's draft? It feels like it, yeah. We normally be like, are we going to finish before 12, 30, It'll 1 a.m.? Like, yeah. Like pick Last year at this point. <laughs> yeah, they – and I was scared too because the beginning of this draft, they were milking it before the Panthers picked. Super. Super milking it. I was like, oh, yeah, we about to be up to Brought Mahomes out, Travis Kelsey out. Yeah, boy, it was looking dangerous. I ain't going to lie. They need to have uh, this draft. I, I understand why they want to have it in Atlanta, but they need to have the draft in Atlanta. They got to, bro. It will be the best draft ever, bro. It would, but I feel like they're having it in these smaller cities that don't got nothing else to do instead because and people are gonna go regardless, doesn't matter what yeah. city you're in. Yeah, true, true. Oh, he said it's my boy Washington Command said it said it's pronounced Cherapinski. Cherapinski. Why do you know that? Did, did Walter actually say that? Like I was saying, like how do you actually know how that? How do you know that? 
I mean, hey, shouts out to you. I believe you, but why? Like, what what experiences in life have led you to knowing that? <laughs> why are you ready? Did you just look up the pronunciation god, or were you just like ready? Like you just had that in your back pocket. Man was man's was repaired. He was Maybe prepared for that. Maybe watch the command center's Russian. Or, you know, Polish, something. Some Eastern European, maybe. I don't know. Cause that was that was too quick, boy. You had that one in your back pocket. <laughs> he was waiting his whole life to, for somebody to, to, to ask. Bust that out. <laughs> Somebody's gonna ask. Well, I'm glad. Well, I'm glad you asked. It's actually terrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you asked. That's so annoying. That's so annoying. Any scenario, if you got to talk like that, is bad. I don't like it. No. Well, I'm glad you asked. It's so ugly. So, oh, huge MMA fan, global sport. Oh, okay. So you probably, oh, he's heard that name before. Okay. Okay. So is, wait, is Walter related to an MMA guy? Because no one can just have that last name and not be related. Like, he must, he must watch somebody else's last name. He must have that, I guess. Somebody else must have that they last gotta name. They got to be related. Ain't no way they can just have that last name and not be related. It can't be like Johnson or something. Like, they got to be related. <laughs> yeah, it's not common at all. So, okay, there goes. So, back to back, Miles Murphy and Brian Brzee. Ha ha, Clemson, Georgia, how did you? You suck. Um, what's the over under if the Eagles draft a Georgia player here? It, the over under is me walking out and in, in the stream. <laughs> Nolan Smith's still on the board, right? Bro, chill out, bro. Nolan Smith. Nolan <laughs> bro, Smith. Bro, chill out, bro. Chill out, bro. Chill, just let, let's just chill out, bro. Let's just be civilized. Let's be civilized, man. I gotta figure out how to spell Emmanuel correctly. Let, let's start there. Hold on, it's two M's. Okay, two I just M's. gotta remember yeah. two M's. Yeah. Okay, I've never known an Emmanuel in my life. Like that's a crazy name. Bro. Emmanuel Sanders. I mean, I'm saying in real life. Like I've heard oh. the name a lot. I've never known. I an felt Emmanuel like I met person. one person named Emmanuel. I felt like I met one. I just assume somebody one. named Emmanuel loves Yu-Gi-Oh cards. It's one of our favorite. I feel like there's just a certain type of personality. Is it just me? Or if a name with Brian Brzee, I didn't expect him to look like that. Was it just me? I've just, I've known him since he was a junior in high school. So that I just, I don't know. I, Is he from, he's from Georgia too? No, no, no. He's. Not Georgia, somewhere southern though, yeah. Okay, because like since he knew him from junior or high school, I was trying to say like like if he was from Georgia then. No, 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 no. He was just a big time recruit since even before he was like a senior in high school. Like people knew about him junior, sophomore, things like that. I mean, like again, I'm already looking at 2025, 2026 recruits. It's just, you know, that's just how I go. Oh, he's from Maryland, they're saying. So yes, he's from somewhere, you know, somewhere that produces a lot of talent. Oh no, Brian Brzee, I just I don't know. For me, that sound that almost sounds like a black sounding name. That's a like, wait, that's that's Brian Brzee. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and post this while we chilling, y'all. Man, I gotta do some. I gotta do some. Yeah, he's from Maryland. I I can't believe I forgot that part about him. I remembered a lot about him, but I don't remember. I didn't remember him being from Maryland, but it rings a bell. Get this. We better get offensive line tomorrow. Yeah, man. I, if it ain't offensive we, no, line, we we better get offensive line. Yeah, I'm, we. I guess us and the Steelers have the same exact needs: offensive line and corner. Clearly, we need offensive no. line and wide receiver. That's that's what we need. The Eagles oh, did, got did, Nolan did they get Smith, Nolan Smith? Bro. Yes, let's go. The Aren't NFL is weird. The NFL is so Are you gonna end the stream, weird. Rico? I should end the stream. I should. Now I got all my Georgia Bulldog uh, people in, on Yo, Twitter. Yo, they got Jalen Carter and oh my god, Jalen Carter, the Nolan best team Smith, get the best players, no Jordan, matter where they're selecting. <laughs> Jordan Davis and the Kobe Dean. I hate this. I hate it. I hate it. My Georgia Bulldog fans are elated right now. They're all saying we're Philly fans. We're Philly fans. I can't. I'm a Commanders fan. I can't say that. Maybe if I was. 
if I was Shea Yee and I was a Patriots fan, maybe I could say, okay, I'm an Eagles fan second. But as a fellow NFC East division rival, people going to look at me crazy rooting for my Georgia Bulldogs. So I'm just in a stupid situation. I hate the Eagles. Y'all weird. But at the same time, I'm happy because at least they realize Ow. talent when they see it. They How realize they doing talent this? when they see it. How do they get this guy number 30? Uh, football's weird, man. I, I'm about to give up on it, honestly. About time to go ahead and what's what, what, what we doing in hockey? What we drafting in hockey? <laughs> I'm sick of it. I'm sick, brother. Eagles. Are what making what is bad. our team name going to be? What is our hockey team name going to be? <laughs> you know, we have no anything idea. ice related. I have no idea, honestly. I, <laughs> I ain't got nothing for you. Wow. Well, we got one more pick and then we're out of here. But yeah, y'all, uh, y'all make me mad, man. It, it life doesn't have to be like this. Why do I, they have Jalen Carter, I, Jordan Davis, and Nolan Smith and Kobe Dean? Washington Commands, and I guess that sounds right. I don't know. I just never heard Brzee before. So like, I don't know. It just I'm about to say that know. doesn't sound Italian, but he said he is Italian, but his name is Dutch. Okay, I'm about to say because Brzee does not sound Italian. It just sounds as white as possible to me. It, I don't know. I looked at that name. I was thinking something else. Oh, that boy Tech got his flights. Hey! Hey, me and Tay, hey! I think he got the same flight as me too, didn't he? Did he got the same flight? Is this Delta? What flight I got? Hold on. I put my flight in uh, seven. Uh, oh no, nah, we may not have the same exact flight. By the way, man, Tuck got his flight. We official. All right, so we know this it's ain't the flight to New York, is it? Yeah, yeah, that we talking about August. Yeah, he got his flight. He got Already? his flight for New oh, York trip. Wow. I mean, I've had mine since. When I booked the Airbnb back in like October, I got my flight. I've had my what? What my flight day is like it exactly in late August? The hold on, I could send it to you just in case so you can keep it. I literally just, we was just talking about it in the Xbox chat like two days ago. So I that's got what I'm saying. Y'all y'all keep y'all discriminating against PlayStation hey, people. Brother, you can join the party for free on the phone, man. Pull up, man. We there every are, night. That is discrimination. I feel discriminated against. Like, <laughs> yeah, you're I'm PlayStation, PlayStation and Android, so you're like nowhere near in the loop. Like, no iPhone, no Xbox. You have like no way I to feel, communicate I with us. I feel discriminated. <laughs> you got green bubbles and you PlayStation. You don't fit with us at all, boy. Golly, I didn't even think about that. Mm. But I said that the That's why I'm to the super city. out the loop. But that but yeah, I gotta like go out the way and be like, oh yeah, Shay might want to hoop today with us. That's, yeah, that's Let exactly like y'all don't be telling me when y'all gonna hoop until I, like I, it's the day of or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, that uh that green bubble stuff is but again the Xbox the, the Xbox app on the phone is free to join the party, so if you just have a board that, that sounds like they so in much there right work, now. Though. Like I got I gotta download it. Now then I gotta make an account strictly I just you for that. You should have an account though. But yeah, I mean No, I do have an account, but like now we gotta download it on my phone. Hey bro, go ahead, man. You have it ready, man. We be in there. They in there right now, like ten deep, I think, or something. Seven. It's not all of us, but one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, it's only six of them right now. Some people left. Lyric left hey, I, and them left, but I got the I got know. the I got the best phone known to every human being on earth it is the samsung galaxy s23 ultra i will never go to iphone at all so y'all can laugh all you want but i got the premiere i i am the superior species right now with the premium <laughs> phone do you see this premium phone right here i got the premium phone if i was a phone person i probably would consider it but you know i'm laptop and computer so but what's it called it um i have you i remember you break was that the same phone you broke down a while ago and like the specs was just oh no nah. oh, oh no nah. that that that's one plus nine i literally just got this like a month um two months ago and that one's better yeah this is yeah this is an upgrade over the one i just broke down yeah oh, that was yeah. two years ago i'm a tech nerd so like i i like getting the latest and greatest even though like i know it costs a pretty penny but i'm like but when it comes to tech i'm an outlier i got a 34 inch widescreen monitor um got a gaming laptop like yeah i love tech so i like getting but the latest and greatest when boy. it comes to that all right what are we doing for the chiefs man can we go ahead and knock this out because eagles making me mad and i just want to get out of here man 
They they see the green. They know you got green. You know what I'm saying? Eagles making me mad, bro. That's all it is, bro. That's all it is, bro. I think the Eagles are cheating at this point. I think they told everybody before them, don't pick these guys so we can get them. I think it's scripted at this point. It's got to be scripted. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say, remember four was locked down, Jamar Chase, Jalen Waddle, Jamison Williams. The only receivers to really have a great game against him was Devonta Smith. That's interesting. I forgot. I didn't. I haven't gone back to look at his previous year's tape. So that's that's noteworthy for sure. I'm going to have to go back and look at that. I'm going to have to go back and look at that. I mean, even if Emmanuel Forbes ends up being the All-Pro, I'm still going to be a little sick about uh, what the Eagles did this draft. Like, this is, like, really, like, making me sad. How, how did we let this get to this point? How do we let them get everybody from Georgia? Like, golly, man. And they still have a chance to get more if, they, if people slip around and let Darnell Washington fall. This can get real ugly for Rico. Devonta plays in the division. How much is the Airbnb? Unless you want to say it out loud in this It just uh, literally stream. depends on how many people are going is the question. So now that touch How much official, is the total? It's 38. 3,800? Yes, sir. And how many people are currently in this Airbnb? As just right now, including you, would be fifth confirmed, but we have three possibles. So five divided by 338, that is 700 and some change each. Okay. Yeah, so, we'll all right. see, though, because... We'll see, because them boys... We'll see about the confirmed. Yeah, that, that, that might be a pretty penny right there, but we'll, let's see. And then, I, again, I've been trying to get people to get their flights as soon as possible, because I got mine for 100 and something. I'm pretty sure Tut just got his for, like, low 200. People wait until after July going to end up getting theirs for 400. See, if y'all didn't discriminate against me, <laughs> I, I could have got mine a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, the, I mean, the green bubbles is one thing. I can work around green bubbles, but, yeah. I mean, we do most of our communicating on Xbox. You know, we don't really, uh, that's our whole lifestyle right there, man. We do business deals on Xbox, man. You know where to catch us. Wait, where was the comment? I gotta, I gotta write down the Ravi comment because I'm gonna have to go back and look at previous year's tape. I didn't go back Devonta Smith all the way back to other years for him to cover Jamar Chase and stuff like that. I did not do that. I can admit that. So I'm gonna have to go check that out and see how that went because, like, that's crazy. Hmm. Let's see. So that's a Friday. I'm trying to see how I'm gonna incorporate work with this. Hmm. This might be my vacation. I don't know. We about to be I might, I might use this as a vacation. We about to be inside. But then again, I got a remote job anyway, so I don't know. I could just work gone. Yeah, I could just yeah, I could just work at the same time. But yeah, price is not too expensive. I see two sixty something. All right, now I just gotta see what time this wedding is, and then I'll make the proper adjustments to this flight. Yeah. When is this wedding? Watch them draft Ringo is. round two or three. If the Eagles get Ringo, I'm like, nah, I'm for real done. Oh, my family members need to stop getting married every single August. Okay, August 4th. All right, we good. August 4th. <laughs> <laughs> so, All man, right. That's so, early. Yeah. So you super good. That's super out the way. Yeah. I need to go to Jacobs again. I haven't been there in a minute. Bro, Jacobs is still Jacobs, too. That is good. It is really good. Man, we need O-line. Brian Branch slipping out the first. Got me sweating. Hey, yeah, I'm not going to lie. That would be our slot right there. Even though Ron Rivera already said that they're going to decide between Kendall Fuller, Benjamin St. Juice, and Emmanuel Forbes, who's the slot. So they may not even want Brian Branch, even though I would love to take him. And you get a certified starting slot, Buffalo Nickel, arguably the best slot Buffalo Nickel in this draft class. Uh, I think actually it's maybe not even up for debate. So I would love Brian Branch. I'm just not sure if Ron Rivera wants him is my point. But it's o, it's O-line of Brian Branch, honestly. I, I can't really even... Interior offensive line, tackle, Brian. At this point, I don't even really care about any of the tackles. So it's interior offensive lineman or Brian Branch at this point. If we get Branch, you think Fuller could get cut? It's a possibility. Would save us over $10 million in cap space, wouldn't it? 
Imagine if Branch had our second round pick. Now, Brian Branch is our second round pick is a huge steal. I would be elated, but I'm just I'm letting I'm just warning y'all now. He could be available at the 47th pick, and we may not take him because of that. Somebody said Momo sauce is a combination between Polynesian sauce, sweet and sour sauce. Look up Momo sauce, watch the DC where Oh, we know we know where it's from. I've had it, but I just, you know. Me being from Atlanta, I'm honey lemon pepper above all levels. But I do like mumbo sauce. I just haven't had it in like 10 years. Thought Forbes was going in the slide. Ron Rivera says we don't know yet. I, we don't know. Check out this dude, Command Center, put me on to name Marte Mapu from Sacramento State. Okay, Command Center. Okay. I'm going to have to peep him out. Hold on. I'm trying to uh, get this video uploaded while we chilling. I didn't finish the thumbnail yet. Man. Come on, man. We By the way, uh, how many rooms is this uh, Airbnb? I know this is technically he's still off top. Oh no, you good? We chilling. Technically two bedrooms, but it's like five or six beds, and then like two couches or something. I was about to say, like, who gonna get the two? <laughs> I say two bedrooms. Like, well, two, each bedroom has two beds in it. Like, okay, we still we about still to say, like, are, are, are we gonna? A fight to the death to see who's gonna get the the beds, the actual beds. Um, <laughs> well, people like Harvey and Tut don't really be caring. They'll take a, they will take um a couch or whatever. Like they literally don't care. Like really don't. Especially Tut, cause Tut don't really sleep much. He'll like wake up four o'clock in the morning and just head out by himself type of thing. He really don't sleep. So it's either way, we good. Plus, we still got to see if everybody's still going. Because right now, we only have four confirmed. You would be the fifth. We have Courtney, Z, and then Kyle was talking like he was thinking about going. But I don't know. Now, Forbes is outside. I think Forbes is. If you take a corner, 16th overall, he's outside. Just like people were saying, well, Jahan Dawson's going to be only in the slot because of his size. But you saw he played outside more than anything with us because we took them 16th overall when you draft certain guys they're not going to play a small role they're not slot either those neither those guys are slot they're both going to play on the outside and i like emmanuel forbes on the outside as long as he's not having to cover drake london keenan allen uh and and uh and dk metcalf and, and aj brown as long as it's like devonta smith and those guys i'm good i'm i'm chilling benjamin st juice can cover the tall guys he can handle the faster shiftier guys and we're straight i'm i'm perfectly cool with that so scared about Forbes and press coverage. We don't really, I mean, we don't really run it that much. We run a lot of zone. I mean, we might occasionally, but we run more zone than anything else. That's what Del Rio wants to run at least. Side right, y'all. What, what, what did the Chiefs pick? From 2002 to 2015, Georgia had a total of 12 first round picks. The Georgia have 15 first round picks in just the last six years. Remember, we set a, we set a, a record. For most picks in a draft and most first round picks in one in in the first round ever taken in NFL history last year, so you know it's hard to it's hard to repeat history. It, it seems like it's easier to win back to back championships than it is to repeat history. But you know what do I know? What do we know? You know what I'm saying? We just chilling. We just do our thing. You know what I'm saying? What do we know? You know what I'm saying? Look Setting a this. record. You know that's you know that's cool, but. You say Look what? at this Eagles defensive line. Look at this Eagles defensive but chill line. Out. But chill out, bro. We ain't got to hear. I'm Reddit, in a good mood. I'm in a good Josh mood. Wet. Fletcher Cox, Brandon Graham, Jordan Davis, Milton Williams, Jalen Carter, Nolan Smith. Yeah, Lord. What can you do? Oh, what can you do? Lord. I, it, there is no O line for that. So that is that is the monsters on a football team. Like, what can you do? <laughs> And when you draft the, the main contributors to championship teams, that's what happens. I mean, the commanders had that logic with Alabama. I don't know why we don't have that with oh, Georgia, but it is what it is. Get Quan Martin or Brian Branch. I will if we can get Quan Martin or Brian Branch 47, I'm happy. But I just I don't think Ron Rivera is going there because he already said in his press conference after we took Emmanuel Forbes. That's how you know we were done with the first round. We were not trading back up in the first round because we were on, like, pick 19, and him and Martin Mayhew were having a press conference. They were no longer in the draft room, so I already knew we were done today as in Thursday. But uh, Andrew Wiley did delete Hassan Riddick out the game in the uh, thing, but I, I don't know what we're going to do about Jalen Carter and Jordan Davis and all those guys. We'll see. We'll figure it out. Um, But, uh, yeah, um, I, I just think he said it in that press conference that uh, – that basically we got to see who's going to play in the slot between those three. I don't think we're going to draft another slot, but I would like to. 
got Quan Martin and Brian Branch at 47. I, arguably, both of those guys are steals. Um, it's, it's between them or like Osiris Torrance, maybe John Michael Schmitz. That those are my only options at 47. Or Darnell, Darnell Washington falls that far. I'm taking him. He's my number one. Darnell Washington falls there. He's my number one. Okay, okay. The the Chiefs took Felix uh, Uzuma. That's an interesting pick. That's a decent pick. I think it's a slight reach, but not like that. Not anywhere near as bad as the Cowboys taking Mozzie Smith and the Jets taking Will McDonald. Uh, and it's crazy that people are reaching on defensive line, if anything. That's insane. But then, I mean, you could argue maybe the Colts reached on Anthony Richardson. I don't think they did. I think he's going to be dominant. Oh, Steve Avila is really good, too. I think you could probably get Steve Avila maybe in the third round. We'll see. Uh, where we at? I need to post. Can we get an L for the Miami Dolphins for not having a first round pick just because Stupid. they try to get Tom Brady and Sean Payton? Stupid. <laughs> Stupid. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to spell Emmanuel correctly this time. Hold on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I spelled it right. Yeah, let me go ahead and post this real quick. I'm going to put that page 47. Give me them. Give me them. Give me them. Where we at? Where we at? Let me see. Commanders. Ooh. What was? Oh, I'm, I'm messing up. Let me see. All right, now I gotta learn how to spell M I crooked letter, crooked letter I, humpback, humpback, I. No, crooked letter, crooked letter I, crooked letter, crooked letter I, humpback, humpback, I. Okay, got it. Cornerback, wait. Cornerback, E M M U L Forbes. All right, oh, let me put, put 16th overall first round i gotta post something i'm live streaming we gotta post something rico your bulldogs are arming the enemy <laughs> why you gotta worry it like that man why 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 the philadelphia bulldogs the georgia eagles why leave me alone man i'm already struggling mentally as is bro don't make it worse man i'm uga eagles this is terrible bro i'm not having fun it's basically what if the uga football team was quarterbacked by jalen hurts <laughs> Leave me alone, bro. I'm still co I'm still coping, bro. Let me see. Have you watched on App State's Edge Nick Hampton and cornerback Steven Jones Jr.? Not a lot, but I like you see Abdullah way more than Hampton. Both are gonna be linebacker converts. Literally says you didn't want this to happen and it did. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. Christian Gonzalez went to the Patriots. It happened. It happened. Man, I I want Darnell Washington so bad, I will trade up for him. Like it, I want him so bad, but we'll see how this goes. Remember our third round uh, pick. Dar Darnell Washington is a Patriots player. Hey, <laughs> that, hey, chill that's basically out. the Patriots profile of what a tight end is. Is Darnell Washington? Chill out, my so he, he is going there. Chill out. Can we chill? A, a tight end that that is extremely huge. I know that might sound crazy, but also boy, very fast. Boy, boy, tweet that. It can catch. Like, that is Patriots through and through. That boy, tweet that, bro. Leave me alone, man. Let Darnell Washington fall to us. Honestly, though, I would prefer for y'all to get him than for the, the division to get him easily, by far. I would easily prefer for y'all to get him out of the division. To have to go against Darnell Washington twice a year is crazy. Crazy. Great. Like, I... Please, anybody but. Please, 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 anybody but. Yeah, I definitely got to record a video at the end of this. Oh, just to let you know, the most five-star players um, have been drafted in the first round of the NFL draft ever in this draft, which is ironic because it's 31 picks instead of 32. So basically for all of my recruiting guys out there, it sounds like 247 and on three and all of these recruiting machines are starting to get it right more often. 
they're giving guys five star ratings and they're actually panning out to be five stars more often now so these recruiting rankings moving forward are starting to be a little bit more accurate just to you know put it in perspective i thought that was a really interesting random statistic there five stars actually go in the first round now it's not people just giving people five stars for no reason so let's see how this goes man my george wow. bulldog's about to come through with the best recruiting class of all time you say what? well did you did you see this so uh will levis said a few months ago that he wasn't going to show up in the to the draft if he thought a slide was possible just a few days ago levis was a favorite to be the second overall pick now levis is the only quarterback left in the green room heading into the second round he, Stupid. I, I know he just hired his agent. He might need to fire him if, yeah, if they told him that, to come man. to the Green River. <laughs> oh, man. I know he is pissed off. Get rid of him, man. Get rid of him. That's bad. Yeah, the agent got to go tonight. Like, tonight. So before I sign my rookie contract, you got to go. And P man, um, I mean, I'm gonna do a whole video breaking it down literally right after I'm done live streaming, which will be soon because the draft is over. We're probably about to, you know, start wrapping up soon, saying our goodbyes. I don't know if you're gonna pull up tomorrow, Shade, but of course I'll be live streaming rounds two and three. You just let me know. But I'm gonna put my thoughts on Emmanuel Forbes and that. But basically, the best way to say it is he's kind of like the Bryce Young of corners. If we're talking about statistics, if we're talking about a lot of his tape, he's one of the best to do it, if not the best, especially in specific ways, like as far as passer rating the out pick sixes interceptions period is being a playmaker ball skills and he's good against the run the only worry is his size if we would can you, work around that we're good would you say that that christian gonzalez is like the patrick mahomes the cornerbacks you could because all of the tools all of the tools not playing in the best conference like not a very competitive conference technically it's you can say it. I I think Christian Gonzalez was made in the lab, and you can say Pat Mahomes was too. You, I can see that and I, Bryce Young of corners, Emmanuel Forbes, and he could. You can see it. You can see it with uh. I mean Christian Gonzalez. You can see it's either gonna be Pat Mahomes or Trey Lance. Like, <laughs> but I, I can see a lot of Trey Lance in there. If, if if going with the Bryce Young of Emmanuel Forbes format, I can see that. To be honest, Levis is the pick of this draft. The difference now is that there are not a lot of teams desperate for quarterback. I mean, I could kind of see it, but Pickett has a higher floor, and Will Levis easily has a higher ceiling. But out, I don't like Will Levis. I'm gonna tell y'all that now. I kind of liked Pickett. I don't like Will Levis at all. So. As another SC, as a Georgia Bulldog fan, a guy that's had to play against them, I don't see it, but it is what it is. But as a second round pick, I feel like you could take a flyer on him then. First yeah, round, yeah, no. why not? Yeah. Because I feel like a backup quarterback to me is, is worth a third round pick at the very worst. Oh, no, not, I would say at the very best, you could get, get a backup quarterback in the third round. Even if you draft a guy, he's straight going to be your backup i think that's a third round pick because you need a good backup quarterback for if or when your quarterback gets hurt so hey if you draft a potential start in the second round you're good yeah yeah i can see that you can see that i'll watch the or you might have to speech. pay them a little bit earlier like Jalen hurts yeah get that out the way bad thing. get it out the way early before it gets worse someone please tell me Tell him Darnell Washington can't even help him from Brad. Somebody please give me Darnell Washington. Command Center has a point though. Julius Brents, Corey Trice, and Darius Rush better built in the lab corners. I can see that, but Christian Gonzalez comes with a certain floor to where he's not going to be. A oh, boss. how good he Christian becomes Gonzalez is different. Ain't good just because he. No, I think he's just saying not the commandos. I think he's just saying better built in the lab type, like like super freak. Even though Christian Gonzalez, I feel like is still built in the lab, but no, Christian Tyrone Gonzalez has Johnson. the floor. Said that he ain't that good. He ain't that good of a corner. Oh, he I think he has he a floor. He I ain't he that good floor. just because like he ain't drafted by the commandos. But if he was drafted by the commandos, y'all would be flooding these comments like y'all doing with Emmanuel <laughs> Forbes. Y'all be drinking the Kool-Aid, but because he wasn't drafted by the commandos and the good guys drafted him instead, y'all just want to hate. Hey, man, Shame. feel free to attack Shay if you want. I'm out of it. <laughs> But I'm, I'm happy. I, as long, especially if we get uh, one of the best guards or interior offensive linemen in the second round, or Brian Branch or Quan Martin, I'm very happy in the second round. That would be great. I would love to trade back up into to get another second round pick. Or Darnell, Darnell Washington. I'm like, I'm even happier than even the Emmanuel Forbes pick for sure. Yeah, um, not. He's, you're right. He's not a Pat Mahomes equivalent. He's a Jesus Christ equivalent. I hate him.
I'm saying Pat Mahomes because I'm talking about potential, but with some floor to it. Because Anthony Richardson, you know, I love him as a quarterback, but there's a floor there that we got to worry about. Where I feel like Christian Gonzalez has a safe floor. I don't. I can't see him being a bust. How great he ends up being is, you know, we'll see. But I just, I see him at the very least being a good corner. Um, just off of this tape and then the measurables just add to it me personally but i'm i i think emmanuel forbes if we put him in the right position can ball out i got videos of none of them mention cg with the spoons my guy before i went in for trade back yeah i, I man, i really wanted he said yikes jesus because i really wanted with the spoon but i, I knew he, it felt like he was gonna be the first corner taken we can see it from draft odds we could just feel it from the tape we have two options with our picks. Gaslighting us and thinking our new guys. Go be depressed as Packers fans right now. Wait, what are the Packers fans upset about? What did they take again? Who did they? Who did they take? Did I they completely take? forgot. I completely forgot. Who did the Packers take? I mean, y'all know they weren't taking receiver. Y'all should have. I mean, they got Christian Watson though, but you know they weren't going to take that. We we not we, in the first it, round. That's that very well documented, by the way, that they're not taking receiver. Who did the Packers get? Wait, what? Who? What did they do? Wait, wait let me scroll down. Oh, they got happened? Lucas what Van the Ness. Pick? They're upset about Lucas Van Ness. Yeah. I didn't think that was a bad pick. If anything, the Cowboys with that Mozzie Smith pick and the Jets with the with the Will McDonald pick need to be the most upset. Lucas Van Ness at 13 makes sense to me. My Poo Torres pick, but when he heals, he's going to be crazy. They got... Yeah, I... I don't see the hate for Lucas Van Ness. I, me personally, I don't know why Packers fans are upset. Maybe they just didn't want to go edge rusher, maybe. But as far as edge rushers go, I think he's solid, good. He said, yo, Shay, I love your spirit. You, My guy, you good with me, bro. Invited to the cookout. <laughs> appreciate it. Appreciate it. Even though I, I should have already been invited to the cookout. Am I black? <laughs> <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that isn't that already the rights of passage? I don't know, but appreciate it. <laughs> you thought that's you thought that was the only requirement. You thought <laughs> you thought that was the only requirement. But I guess we do need to go ahead and do it about it because I do need to knock out this video before I'm up till 3 a.m. editing it. So, um, first of all, appreciate you, Shay, for pulling up again. I'll be live streaming. He said, no, sir, it ain't. Um, <laughs> first of all, thank you for pulling up. I will be live streaming tomorrow if you wanted to pull up for any time. If you don't want to stay the whole time, whatever, just let me know. All right. Um, Because things might get a little weird tomorrow. Darnell Washington, Key the Ringo still out there. I'm scared. Uh, oh, yeah. Trust me. I'll tell you. I'm probably not going to know any of these players as they go on later. I'm going to let like you know that. right now. It'd be like that. I mean, we still got some stars out there, though. We still got some really talented guys out there. So you never know. But, um, yeah, just let me know. Um, appreciate you pulling up as always, man. And shouts out to everybody in the chat. Shouts out to everybody that donated, especially. Shouts out to all of the channel members. Really, really appreciate it. My hopes for tomorrow, and I may do a video about that when I wake up in the morning. Dream case scenario, Darnell Washington. After that, Brian Branch, Quan Martin, or an interior office alignment like Osiris Torrance, maybe Steve Avila, or uh, John Michael Schmitz. I like him a lot as well. Uh, so yeah, that, that, that's me right there for tomorrow. But yeah, man, I appreciate all of y'all in the chat. Leave a like on the way out. Really appreciate it. We had a lot of people in the chat. We got up to 300 and something likes. So I really appreciate all calling. You know, I know you, you know, I know all the guys. Yeah, that man, hey, watch the command center knows everybody all the way through the seventh round. That's why I always tell y'all subscribe to him because that boy does not play. The time I spent on recruiting with high school, going to college for my Georgia Bulldogs, he's spending all of that time on draft. I, you know, I kind of, I'm like 70-30. 70% draft, 30% recruiting. He's like 100% draft, it seems like. So, man, make sure y'all stay tuned with him as well. Thanks for this. Appreciate that, Mexter, for you pulling up. Well, Mexter Danley. I just, Dexter, man, I just got it. Um, Appreciate it. Uh, appreciate y'all, man. Really, uh, I'll be streaming tomorrow. I think tomorrow starts at 7, so I'm probably going to start at 6 p.m. So if y'all want to pull up again tomorrow for this 47th overall pick, the 97th pick as well, maybe we'll acquire some more second or third round picks. Um, I will see y'all tomorrow. Really appreciate it. And Shay, again, thank you again. Let me know if you're pulling up tomorrow. All right, will do. All right, y'all. Appreciate y'all chat. Nice talking to y'all. And uh, go Pats. This guy. Go Commanders. I got to make sure it's the last thing we say. End, 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 end,